Anyway, uh, that out of the way, we are going to be talking about a very interesting person tonight. So this is continuing my, uh, my, you had my four, four locales of the apocalypse that came before the 4th of July. And we are now going to cover a person who is very, it's a very interesting story to me. It's about this gentleman named Fed Smoker. And I, I consider the dude to be like the last American action hero. And you'll, you'll quickly see why this guy's fucking over the top. Our people call him everything from like a dog, the bounty hunter with more energy, <laughs> more bravado. Um, what else? Just, I think he's got a little bit of, uh, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. He's got kind of like an Alex Jones vibe to him. In my opinion, he's just a very interesting person. And he actually comes from the middle of America, like myself right now. Not too far from me, actually. And parts of the story crosses over even into Iowa. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a long, long single subject stream. We are going to go over the entirety of the story as presented by Cecil McFly because it's by far been the best comprehensive version of this story that I've seen of Fed Smoker. The last American uh, action hero, in my opinion. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have Jim Jones will be joining. Uh, he's actually helped by kind of watching some of this stuff ahead of time. And so he's going to kind of maybe help me with this stream. But other than that, um, we're going to get through this because this is a story that I want you guys to see. This guy is just fucking over the top. But other than that, we're going to get right into it. We're going to start out at the beginning of the Fed Smoker story. I'm also going to put this playlist out there. The reason why I'm putting this playlist out there, not that Cecil doesn't have, you know, a fabulous playlist or anything, but I did find a couple other things. So Nick Nobody, somebody else whom I've covered as a victim of uh, Nate Dog, the furry kid that threw a fit and apparently had some exploitative shit going on in his Discord server, was actually kind of a low-cow uh, low hunter, so to speak. He uh he was involved with uh Nick Nobody. Well, Nick Nobody has recently, and I mean recently, as in two weeks ago, put out kind of miniature coverage of the drama. It's only 38 minutes. Depending on how things go, we might get into that. Um, and then the last bit is I found this linear compilation of Fed Smoker videos. These have no, and I mean no like uh direction or anything to them. They are just videos as Fed Smoker would have put them out there. But you're going to see that this guy, he probably was one of the more long-term internet locales that come to mind. I mean, this guy started before YouTube was a thing and continued well into just a few years ago. So let's get into the Fed Smoker story. The years who have left their mark on the world of the internet. One of those people is Conald Eugene Peterson. Now you listeners may have never heard of Conald, but he is in fact one of the most prolific eccentrics on YouTube that has ever existed. He has gone by many names and has been making hundreds of videos across countless YouTube channels. Since the beginning of the website, his activities of cross-country adventures date as far back as 2002. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. Let me introduce you to Conald Eugene Peterson. Like I said, fucking early, before YouTube. As far as I understand it, YouTube started... Oh god, I'm gonna date myself here. YouTube started when I graduated high school. Uh, 2006 is really kind of when it started kicking off. I think there might have been some, like, beta platform type stuff uh, in 2005. But 2006 is when everything really started with YouTube. And so the earliest people would be like people that i could think of would be like boogie um dsp was one i mean i'm trying to think of people that i've covered or looked into um i don't even know if felix went back that far uh um oh what's his name uh god i know his first name and i can't think of his other name uh pewdiepie pewdiepie felix so I, I don't know if he even went back that far. Oh, God. I'm trying to think of people. Let's see. Early YouTubers. Um, Filthy Frank probably would be back that bad, far. Idubs. Uh, but, yeah. When did... 
So YouTube became a thing, yeah, December of 2005. And earliest YouTubers. Oh. Oh, these are just like the oldest channels or I should go like earliest popular YouTubers. Still active. Let's go that. Uh, I was hoping you'd just give me a list. Tuna fat. I've never heard of. But these look like they're probably fucking employee accounts. Oh well, we'll we'll get away from it. I gave you a couple. A uh, kid with behind the camera. Okay, a McJugger Nuggets. All right, perfect, perfect. There's a couple more. So you got a kind of a timeline for this. Anyway, apologize for derailing so early, but let's get into it. I just wanted to give you a timeline of like people that are still streaming that go back that far. Like most of them are even retiring at this point. So it's it's kind of. It's kind of like a dying breed. I mean, really, when you get to it, the, the people that were earliest on YouTube are kind of getting to the point where they've spent 20 years doing this. They're, they're fading out. So I just want to preface that to give you kind of like the type of videos that you're going to see. Um, I don't know if you know any of the earliest videos, but for the longest time, like YouTube had limits on its videos. So you're not going to see long videos. I think it was a three minute limit or something like that when it first started or some, some terms like that, but yeah. Better known as Fed Smoker or Herc as he calls himself. I want to let this you Americans know there is a God. There's no Jesus in this book. I've read it. So, wing. <laughs> I am the greatest healer in all mankind. I am Dr. Herc Dealing with he's out of your life. Daddy, I'm big daddy. How you been, bitch? I'm Rick. Look at you, you're Rick. You're Rick. The babies. So right off the bat, you get a little taste of the taste of the sampler that we got going into this. It's this is gonna be five hours of content like you just saw. Like this guy is fucking over the top. Fucking beyond anything you've ever seen. And I would put him in the in the rankings of beyond a lol cow, he's more of a schizo cow. You'll see why. So, but it's just a fabulous fucking story. And it's just, God, it's so interesting. He's such an interesting dude to me. You guys are in for a wild ride with this one. You know what could really make this viewing experience even more fun? Today's sponsor. Yeah, we're not. We're not. We're not. I'm sorry, Cecil. Love your video. We're not doing that. during that ad read because you're going to miss out. Into the video. This video will be told in a timeline fashion. The problem that arises with a timeline of Mr. Smoker is that he uploads videos out of order, uploads duplicates over many channels. He's had hundreds of YouTube channels, daily motion, and this is this is not exaggerating either. He literally has had hundreds of YouTube channels. There's even thoughts that there is still YouTube channels out there of his that have yet to have been even found. So you may, if you're a lucky soul, after looking into all of this, come across a Fed Smoker channel someday. But yeah, it's 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 insane that the, there's still shit out there that has not even been found by this guy. And live league accounts. And a lot of these are gone to time. So he's hard to document. 
Not only that, Fed Smoker does not exist in the same reality as most of you listeners. Telling a narrative from his point of view is difficult because it is often hard to understand his motivations or reasoning. But someone said that they were making a Fed Smoker movie, and another person wanted to make a Fed Smoker documentary. Neither of those things happened, so I am here to construct the tale of the Smoker of Feds to the best of my ability. Fed Smoker is basically a legend, a myth, and an icon. I hope to do him justice. Hello, all you stupid f***ing Americans out there. How you doing? Let's get started. Introduction to Connell. <laughs> so who is this Fed Smoker fellow? Well, according to him, he's a retired CIA double agent tasked with the job of taking down dirty cops. You know who you're talking to? A retired double agent there, you f***ing reach. Who's lost you're talking to a man style. that just ruined your f***ing life, okay? But others may see him as a bizarre homeless man who likes to harass the police and business owners. Kill goddamn Uncle Sam this food carts for cigarettes and booze, because it's for me, it's all about me. As mentioned before, Bedsmoker has hundreds of online channels and usernames. Here are his known YouTube accounts, the platform where he uploaded Okay, all right, be ready for this list, because first of all, it's extensive, and second of all, Herc has no fucking filter, <laughs> so yeah the most do. Bigsby Smoker, Brent Miller, CIA Panetta, CNN Corrupt, FBI John Cavanaugh, FBI Smoker, Fed Smoker, Fed Smoker Forever, Fed Smoker Gear, Fed Smoker Herc, Fed Smoker Herc but not in all caps, Fed Smoker Now, God's News, Grassclaw, Herc Force, Shemail Training Church, Wilbur Nebraska Werewolf Wilbur News, Chamley Steve, Chief Wes Kuseld, Chief Sellers, Club 69 Thieves, CNN Fed Smoker, Crow Nation, Deme Herc, Estes Park Baby Rape, Fed Smoker, Fed Smokin, Fed Smoker, Fed Smoker, Fed Smoker, Herc Peterson, Herc News, Herkster, Herkster CNN, Herkster, 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 Jeff Sad, Laguna Beach News, Laguna Pigs, Mayor Hanavan, Mayor Pinkham, Officer Sir Leal, Peta Miller, Puke Killer, Ray Fisher, Richard Clark, Saint Herkster, Steve Justa, Ward's Fed Smoker, and you Zuck. And there's more. One I found was Rec Omstef Fed Smoker. I'm sure there are even more than that. Early life. Herc was born September 17, 1967, in the state of Nebraska. A lot is not known about his childhood. He had a mother and a father and siblings. I believe he had two brothers, and at one point he did mention a sister, who got married to her DUI lawyer. This is going to be a stepping stone, because my sister happened to marry her DUI lawyer. So you're going to find you a female lawyer and marry the woman, okay? Herc, in videos, claimed he got into his line of work early. What is his line of work? He's a wire man. Please understand he doesn't know who dad is with these wires I carry. I got more wires than their freaking entire force. He wears wires to record people on record to catch them being dirty. He mostly does this with cops but he didn't start out with wearing wires on police officers. His first smoking job was his father. According to Herc, Herc began wearing wires at nine when he recorded his dad threatening him. Cops out of a badge and taking their badges and I have uh, worked undercover most of my life, mm -hmm. uh, off and on since my teens. And I uh, wore a wire on my own dad when I was nine years old. Police recorded him trying to threaten to kill me and shit like that. So. I've had, I got zero tolerance for people trying to be evil around me. I, uh... The validity of this, or any of Herc's claims, is unproven, but this is Herc according to Herc. Apparently at some point, Herc met a man named Steve Justa, the author of Rock Iron Steel, The Book of Strength. Steve Justa was a strong man who could lift cars. The two would become friends for years to come. And according to legends from the bodybuilding forums, Steve had actually written an article on Connell Peterson back in the 90s. It was published in Milo, a magazine dedicated to strength sports, about how Connell would only train with heavy wrist curls so he could efficiently knock people out. 
I could find no trace of this article, but diving in deeper to the world of Fedsmoker, this tale on the forums is very likely true. Conald worked as an artist, a tattoo artist, among many other trades. In a video posted in 2019, Herc explained that he was living in Key West for a while until he got kicked out by his landlord for partying too hard. Florida. Key West has bought out. Okay, first of all, I want you to I want you to look at the date on this video. This video is from 2000. So that just goes to show you like how long he's been recording and documenting his own life. So it's just uh either that or he, he didn't know how to change the gear on the camera, but I doubt it cuz he is actually pretty savvy. He's pretty uh pretty interesting dude when it comes to that kind of stuff. But yeah, so what uh I would love to know what you guys think so far of this guy. His, uh, <laughs> here, what I'm going to do, I'll leave this up for uh, probably the whole stream. Uh, we'll do a, a simple question of, is Bed Smoker the, hmm, let's see what we can do for a good question. Should we do, is Bed Smoker a lol cow or schizo cow, or should we do... Is Fed Smoker a genius or insane? I think we might do is Fed Smoke or what is Fed Smoker? Here. What is Fed Smoker? Oh man. Fed Smoker. What do you genius? Do a genius taking down the police? Oh, I cannot type save my life today. Or is he insane? Homeless man with a camera. <laughs> and we'll just leave this up here. For you guys to answer it at, at your leisure. See what you think. I was losing it. Fucking too many bitches down there. And my landlord and I, uh, well, he didn't appreciate it. All my parties and shit. He then returned to Nebraska. Come back to Harvard, Nebraska. And... So, so to start off the timeline, we got he was born in Nebraska. We have no idea how he made it down to Key West. But we know that really his videography story kind of starts in Key West, right? So he's, he's kicked out of his apartment by his landlord who said that he partied too fucking much. Just couldn't take the Fed Smoker parties. Turned myself in for breaking some guy's jaw. He eventually got out, but something important happened in 2001. Herc was living in Harvard, Nebraska at this time, probably just released from prison. In 2001, the police chief of Harvard, Nebraska, Jeff Sad, was arrested for arson. A short article from April 2001 detailed this by writing, Harvard, Nebraska. The city's police chief was arrested for allegedly planning to burn down several buildings in and around the city. Nebraska State Patrol investigators arrested Jeffrey Sad, 39, on Tuesday after a six-week investigation. A tip to the patrol indicated Sad had tried to solicit someone to commit arson. Sad's bond was set at $10,000. If convicted, he faces up to 20 years in prison and a $25,000 fine. Now, what does that have to do with the subject of this video? Notice the line that a tip was made to the state patrol. Who do you think tipped them? It was Herc, aka Conald Peterson. According to Conald, he was a CIA double agent working with the state patrol. While he was working with the state patrol of Nebraska, he wore wires on Jeff Sad and went in for sting operation. Undercover, Conald got Jeff Sad to try to hire him to burn down some houses. The kind of buildings Jeff sent Connell to burn varies depending on who Herc is telling the story to. 
but according to a 2002 article, it was a few vacant houses and a garage. The case against Sad was dismissed in 2002, according to articles. This was because the confidential informant, aka Connell Peterson, was a convicted felon on probation. This is directly what the article had to say about the dismissal. Sad appeared in court for a preliminary hearing on June 6. During the hearing, Alexander argued that the confidential information used to aid the Nebraska State Patrol in obtaining evidence against Sad should not have been used because the informant was on probation for crimes committed in Florida. In November, Alexander presented a transcript of the preliminary hearing. He said the transcript of the preliminary hearing showed that it was clearly known the confidential informant in the case was on probation for crimes committed in Florida. He quoted a Nebraska state statute that reads, a person placed on probation by a court of the state of Nebraska, an inmate of any jail or correctional or penal facility shall be prohibited from acting as an undercover agent or employee of any state of any law enforcement agency of the state or any political subdivision. Alexander said this meant the confidential informant in the case was not allowed to act in that capacity. Another article from the time went further into this dismissal, writing, Sad was arrested by the Nebraska State Patrol in April 2001. He was accused of paying someone to burn down two unoccupied houses and a garage in or near Harvard. The patrol used a confidential informant as part of its investigation. Defense attorney Richard Alexander of Hastings argued in district court that any evidence provided by the informant was inadmissible because of the informant's past criminal history in another state. So basically, Herc was on probation for crimes he committed in Florida and was not not allowed to act as an undercover agent per law. What did Herc do in Florida that got him on probation? I don't know, probably disorderly conduct or something like that. Jeff Sad sent him on a mission. Something about the Jeff Sad case triggered Herc into a lifelong journey. Whether Herc was attempting to smoke feds before Jeff Sad is unknown, but when talking to people, he always brings up the Jeff Sad case as his origin story. Americans, I took Jeffrey Sad down in 2001, April 3rd. Yeah, they were supposed to smoke him on April Fool's Day. They arrested him on April 3rd for burning houses down, kids. Hired me to burn houses down on Rec Rec. That means I'm one of them tape recorder my bobbers. Not much is known of what happened to Herc between this time and 2005. He might have been living normally at this time, but YouTube did not exist, so he was not filming every moment of his life. But the next point in history, so I'd like to start off by saying, like, I think he actually is, like, legitimately he did start off as trying to actually take down or maybe help out the police. It could be like, hey, you know, he went away, he did his time, he came out, changed, maybe he did time for something. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that Cecil ever expressed or Cecil ever covers his uh, arrest history or why he went to prison or anything like that. Just basically that he went to prison for this. Um, I, I mean, they've discussed, you know, likely likely reasons for it. But I, I think he actually, like, had well intentions about him for taking down this Jeff Sad dude. And, like, this guy was actually looking to do something that was kind of shady. I mean, at the very fucking least, it was very fucking shady. And, you know, he uh, he tried to do the right thing by telling the cops... And, you know, whether he actually wore a wire on the guy or not, I don't know. But I, I kind of think it he did because this kicks off and it's such a pivotal point in his story. This is where the whole wire man aspect of him starts and where everything begins for him. So it's it's really just... I don't know. I think he had good intentions starting out. I think he wanted to actually be a, a good dude. Like, I, I don't think he's a bad dude at all. As you'll see, I think he's a bit insane. I think that uh, he, he goes through bouts where he's unmedicated and sometimes he is medicated and stuff. But, and I think that's where you see like the, the differences in time frames and maybe state of mind and stuff like that, that we're going to see throughout the story came May 4th, 2005. Connell was not the main focus of this, rather a victim. Herc was mentioned in an article posted this day titled, Man Sentenced to at least 18 Years in Prison for Attempted Murder in GI. 
GI stands for Grand Island, a city in Nebraska. The article speaks of a town drunk in Hall County, Nebraska, becoming violent and randomly attacking multiple people, including Conald. The man got convicted of attempted murder. Conald was mentioned in this paragraph. Peterson, a tattoo artist, was attacked by Bragg on July 19, 2004, for no reason, Hall County attorney Mark Young said. Many times in Connell's online history, he mentions being a professional tattoo artist. He even tattoos people and has invented his own cordless tattoo machine that works. It is easy to assume that before he became an internet entity, he was actually a successful tattoo artist. At one point, while reminiscing of the time he was an artist, Herc tells a story of owning his own shop. We're good. We've always been. Yeah, I'm going to just try to try to behave this time around and uh, maybe try to get another life down here someday. You know, I used to have a tattoo shop here. So. YouTube beginnings. Herc eventually made his way to the internet with his first YouTube channel, Jeff Sad. I believe this channel started while Herc was living on the streets of Laguna Beach, California. He of course named the channel after the first Fed he smoked. This was started December 2007, making Herc a very early user of YouTube. The first videos to the channel often involved Herc selling his paintings and artwork to randoms on the streets of Laguna Beach. He also filmed other homeless people and drunks. She's always getting drunk. Guys start f Guys, the cops on you, good, good. I can't ahead. wait. You drink and you're going to jail. Time to go to the drunk tank, slut. Time to go to the drunk tank. And it was all an interesting picture of. And by the way, I'm gonna forewarn you going into this. He uh, he does use graphic language. I, I mean, if you listen to me, you know I will say all sorts of shit. So. I don't think anybody listening to me is going to be very surprised by the things he says, but like, yeah, he does actually say some uh, very uh, uh, antagonistic terms to women and just all sorts of people. Like, he is, uh, when he doesn't like you, you are enemy number one. He will go at you as hard as he possibly fucking can until you leave or he has no more reason to, whether it be something better came along for him to go after or whatever or he may leave the area so and that's that's a big part of this because he is a homeless guy to some extent i mean he has he has a mother and father like you heard uh may have siblings and like has a has a home that he could return to but he is otherwise homeless and just is always on the move lives out of his car and stuff when we get to the car point um as of right now i think he's more like the hitchhiking hobo, hobo style of homeless. Of life as a vagrant in a beach city. On December 25th, Christmas, Herc posted a video of him relaxing on the beach, his home. Merry Christmas to you too, brother. But a day after Christmas, Herc started posting videos about busting feds with a video titled, Nebraska State Patrol, Here We Come Re- Mike Sellers. This video shows the start of many themes of Herc's that will play out over his channels for the next 13 years. Herc is playing a recording of him calling someone. Yes, yes, he is speaking in a voice very similar to Christian Bale's Batman voice. Joe and Buck be available or I can speak to him. He asked for someone named Buck Dewis or Do It. Herc tells the woman that he is Buck's old partner. Is he still working the canine unit? The little doggy in the back seat? Yeah, he works a canine. How's it? I can't get out of his car. No, it's my old partner. I need to speak with him. We have a buck went after drug dealing fools together. And to leave a message about duct tape strapped to boots? Could you ask Buck if he's got any extra duct tape? By the way, this is going to be an ongoing thing that I don't think we ever get a fucking explanation for that you're going to hear a lot of times in a lot of different calls going forward. I have not, I've not been able to find out any reasoning for the tape on boots reference that he does. Like, I just don't get it. Tape, I need to duct tape my boots together. It's very important. The significance of the duct tape is never elaborated on. After some confusing conversation, Herc asks the woman on the phone to think of him while she pleasures herself. The woman is upset by this, and the call ends. What are you doing? Are you banging yourself with a magic box or anything like that? Or f***ing yourself with a dildo? Or how's that going? Please, don't talk to me. Are you fucking with yourself? Please, don't talk to me. I'm going to talk to Buck or Captain Buck. I want you to start playing with yourself as if tonight and start thinking about the Herc's okay? Thank you. 
as mentioned, this behavior will be very common in Herc's fed smoking career. Not the pleasuring part, but the strange calls to Nebraska State Patrol asking for people. Also recording an audio recorder is a common theme. He continued to post videos, seeming to be drunk over the next two days. Can't be letting drugs be dealt on these streets. But on the 26th, Herc made a video to his Jeff Sad channel called FBI John Kavanaugh. Where are you at, boy? We need to talk. I believe John Kavanaugh was a special agent for the FBI located in Omaha, Nebraska. Whether Herc had ever spoken to him is unknown, but a lot of his ties to federal agents originate in Nebraska. But it is established in this video that his bike is named Fed Smoker. Give up the Fed Smoker, you dirty feds. So this is his first real meaningful mode of transportation that we see out of all this like yeah he does have a driver's license and everything else but the bike becomes a big thing before we get into his car arc like the car arc i'm sorry it's just amazing there's so much reason and purpose behind the car arc that it makes it even funnier and he plays audio of him calling the fbi demanding to interrogate john kavanaugh I like to sit his down, have a talk with him, man to man. When do you think that could be arranged? Where I could stare into his beady eyes and have a little talk and see his eyes dilate while I chatter with him. Is he still on the FBI? So you're not even answering the questions right now. The hell's he gonna answer the questions right at the table? You're not staying square, so I talk to you and ask you a question. You speak clearly. A video posted at a later date informs listeners that Herc got this bike by teaching a young man to tattoo. I'm giving Herc Pierce in this bike for teaching me how to tattoo. This bike right here, right? Yeah. Turn that f on, kid. Anywhere you touch, it works. Also on this day, he started his channel, Herkster CNN. One thing to note is that according to Joshua Connor Moon, the owner of Kiwi Farms, which is a website dedicated to talking about interesting people online, well, Joshua Connor Moon mentioned that each Fed Smoker channel was its own individual Fed Smoker movie. Uh, uh, is he would make different ones for each, for I guess for each state he went into, but he more or less saw himself as the main character for for a movie he considered himself like a movie star and he's very performative uh he's crazy he's genuinely crazy he's not like an act but he also in his craziness saw himself as the the main feature of a big movie and so what he would do is he would make different youtube channels for his different movies and the movies would be composed of clips from uh, his interactions with people. I have not heard Herc mention this, but Joshua Moon is a trustworthy source for correct lore for eccentrics on the internet. If each channel was a movie, the Herkster CNN channel was a movie about Herc trying to break a story to the news network CNN. There is a series of videos on this channel posted on December 26th of him calling people, and the theme of these calls is that, according to Herc, he has tried to get a story to CNN, but black people, and he uses the N-word, have been answering the phones and trying to block the story. I uh I just wanted to say that I I think Fed Smoker was raised he's born and raised in a different time in America and at that that time that things were a bit more loose as far as like uh phrases being accepted in the general public and I think that's kind of why some of uh Fed Smoker's words are what he chooses here so it's it's really uh he's a product of his environment let's just say that uh that's the best way i can explain him and again not excusing what he said but yeah i i find this guy funny to laugh at and like i said uh i i think he's he's one of those people that he wouldn't mind you laughing at him he would actually laugh with you probably in most cases as long as you're not a dirty cop or some other some of the other people that he goes after later on down the road but yeah 
about this abuse of the law. He called the FBI, Sheriff's Department, State Patrol, CNN, the White House, etc. These phone call videos were both on the CNN Herkster and the Jeff Sad channel at the end of December. What was Herk's goal for these calls? Well... Hey, I want to know how trying to get a story to CNN there, Glenn, and I'm dealing with nothing but black people answering the phone. Well, you need to talk to CNN, not the Sheriff's Department. Now what probably happened for real was that Herc was probably calling these places and confusing the operators. And when these operators said um in a way Herc did not like, he began to call them n-words. You see, Herc is a man who hates people saying, um, or what? He believes this is people on the phone preparing a lie to him. A lie for the cops. And Herc takes down dirty cops for breakfast. As you listeners will see as we progress into the life of Connell Peterson. Apparently Herc was uploading other videos around this time, except a live leak. Live leak is no longer around. And the only remnants of this is from a Kiwi Farms post by user Vlad. Like mentioned, there was a lot of activity from Herc's homeless adventure from this time. A video from December 27th. Now, if you don't know, Lively got taken down because of, uh, a lot of people didn't really like some of the stuff that was getting posted on Live Leak, uh, just to give you a heads up. Um, Live Leak was, it got a real heavy following with a lot of the gore, uh, community and everything else, like actual, like, true life violence and stuff like that. Um... It was kind of a shock and awe uh, type page. And a lot of those got in trouble slowly over time um, and have been getting shut down. I believe Live Leak actually went down with the Christchurch uh, shootings that occurred down in Australia. And uh, they actually had a copy on there. And due to uh, the sensitive nature of the violence in that particular situation, apparently... It was not okay to have. Um, I, I don't understand totally why that was any different than some of the stuff that had been featured on sites like that for years. But um, maybe call me maybe call me a bit of a uh, um oh I don't even know what the word would be uh, cynical for it. But like I think it was just a political. Uh, movement that decided that it no longer wanted to have this kind of stuff out there and they were trying to gain uh, political uh, support in different groups and that's why I didn't want this kind of stuff out there and that was a extremist in it um, I don't believe that the uh, the video was in any way shape or form any different than anything I could find on um on Twitter or any other public pages right now that where it's, I'm not even having to go into like the deeper underlying murky waters of the internet to find like it, it's, you know, you can go on fucking uh, Twitter and all sorts of things and to see that shit right now. But yeah, I, I, I kind of wish it was around because I would have liked to have seen more. I'm wondering how many other people kind of like Herc and early lol cows we missed out on because we lost out on this site because you know, um, that situation. Showed Herc on one of his street adventures and how he bothered the citizens of Laguna Beach. In the video, Herc sits with a rambling drunk homeless man that appears in his other Laguna Beach adventures, while Herc yells, welcome to America at passerbyers. Food establishments are the satanic rockers. Welcome to America! The satanic welcome to Herc's News. Everybody in those establishments that work there are the ones who wrote the satanic book. They're the slayers. Welcome to Herx News. Welcome to Herx News. Welcome to Herx News. Hey ya! Welcome to the world of Herc. Connell would create his third channel, CNN Fed Smoker, on December 27, 2007. A lot of the videos on these channels involved the homeless life of Herc, where he was talking to other people on the streets. <laughs> Oh, Yelling at people on the beach. You know, I will say there is an element to all of this that just really speaks to like to me and why why I chose like okay. So if you want to get into why I chose to name my stream what I did, why is he the last American 
uh, action hero? Well, I mean, look at him. Okay, first of all, his looks alone portray, like, that Americana-type, like, freedom, whatever-type aspect. He he kind of oozes that. He, he I don't give a fuck personality. Like, I just, I don't think that there's any more free person in some cases than a homeless person because what are you going to take from them? You can genuinely only improve their situation. You can only make their day better. Odds are you can't even make their day worse by going to jail or something because they have a house over their head. They get food. They get a break. They get to sleep on a bed that's comfortable. They don't have to worry about their stuff. Like, it's it's kind of like ultimately freeing in a different way. When you, you've really got to think about it. Like, yeah, you know, everybody looks at everything around them and you don't want to give that stuff up. I don't want to give my shit up either. I don't want to be homeless. So, <laughs> but... I just, there's, there's a different level of freedom with some of these people. And I think Herc is a unique, um, example of that where it's like, he is a truly free person. There is nothing you're going to take. There's nothing you're going to do to make his day worse. So he is free to pursue what he wants. However he wants, whatever that is. I am a movie producer. Are you all my famous girl now? You are 12 and do a bow. You are a movie star now. And getting thrown out of stores for belligerence. What's going on around here? I'm going to call a corporation. You have their phone number? You can call, call the police. I'll talk to them. You're, you're stealing right now. Okay. Okay. See ya, gangbanger. See ya, gangbanger. But a narrative was being crafted in the chaotic world of Fed Smoker. And this narrative started December 29th, 2007 with the channel Chief Sellers. This channel was named after Chief of Laguna Beach and Herc's next target, Chief Sellers. His first video to the channel, Leal, details this new mission he's on. Officer Leal, you dirty fucking bitch. Look what you've done. Look what you've done, you fucking dirty bitch. Now I've made a web page on Chief Mike Sellers, you dirty c At some point, Herc had been in jail. In the video- By the way, there is some funny, like, to give you boomer language, like, going on with this. It is kind of funny, because, like, he refer- Instead of referring to this stuff as, like, different channels and pages and stuff like that, he, he thinks they're, like, almost different web pages. Like, they're almost different sites that he's doing on all these things, which I, I think maybe speaks to, like, some of his, uh, why he has so many channels, so many different areas to see this content, because he thought that maybe in his mind, however, however muddied that mind is, that once I have this channel, it's only for this thing. And like, if I want to do something different, I have to create a new channel. So I think that's a lot of what feeds into why there's so many channels, why there's so much content out there put out by this guy but it's like so diverse why videos repeated because he thought, well, maybe this applies to both of these channels at the same time. So like, I just, I, I think it's, I think it's a unique, <laughs> uniquely older American way of looking at it. Um, older generational way of looking at it. So they, it's not that separation of like understanding that, like just because it's, it's your page you can put whatever you want on there. And I think if he ever understood that, you might've seen a bigger, um, bigger, uh, a mass of videos in one location. But I think he really genuinely had that understanding of like, I can only do this this way. Video, he talks about how he was attacked in said jail. Mikey, you're just as dirty. You should have let the bitch come and talk to me about them dirty f at OCC jail. That's why they won't let him talk to me. Check that out, Americans. I was attacked at OCC jail. That fucking c was a witness, weren't you, b And he is mad at Sellers and Leal because apparently three deputies saw Hurt get attacked at the OCC jail and Leal had witnessed this attack but was not being honest, whatever that means. That is why Chief Sellers and Leal were being targeted. You gotta stop and smell flowers, Leal, you dirty c. I'm gonna expose your whole, whole system out here. She witnessed OCC jail Americans attacking me. Three f***ing deputies from the sheriff's department. That's why the bitch is hiding, isn't it? Leo, that's why all you f***ers keep ending up in my f***ing 
Little skits. One thing to note, Herc refers to channels he creates as pages, and in these videos he mentions because of what Leal and Sellers did to him, Sellers gets his own page. Now I've made a web page on Chief Mike Sellers, you dirty c He posted multiple videos to the Chief Sellers page, raging at both Leal and Sellers. We're gonna expose you, Leal, you little b You take it easy, kids. I'm looking for some cops, kids, now. He also started doing one of his repetitive behaviors, posting videos of random nonsense while in the description writing essays about people he's targeted unrelated to the footage. The video, Can you feel your grime, Mike Sellers? It's common. All of it. Posted on December 29th, had a video of Herc filming mannequin boobs while screaming nonsense. Oh, You got some good ones too, baby! Woo! You gotta get pumped up, though, you're a little shy! Woo! But you like the guys! Woo! Yeah! Pop, pop, pop. But the description read, Officer Leo, you're a dirty pig. Now look what I'm doing trashing the chief out because you're involved in some dirty sh**, bitch. You're a dirty cow, Leo. Another repetitive behavior appeared on this day, but to the Jeff Sad channel, Herc films himself rambling about cops, as usual, but then recalls a time he busted Jeff Sad and he shows the news article about Jeff Sad's arrest. I once knew a chief of police Americans that was out fertilizing baseball fields in Harvard, Nebraska. He's out doing all kinds of great things for the community, including burning down houses. Herc will relate everything he does to the Jeff Sad case that was eventually thrown out and not successful anyways. Herc also carries a cutout of the news article about Jeff Sad everywhere he goes, and at some point, he frames it in his car. Herc started a fourth channel on this day as well, Laguna Beach News. A lot of other videos were uploaded on this day, mostly to the Jeff Sad channel, and they involved Herc rambling about Jeff Sad, but one video stood out. This one was called Herc News, where Herc is filming inside a movie theater and introduces us to the crew he has working on his films. He shows the chief editor of his film and goes on a very amusing rant. When you got an editor like mine, you better get some popcorn and a Coke or Pepsi and get ready to watch a hell of a movie. You get your ass in there and you buy some candy at the theater. And you make me a goddamn millionaire, you son of a bitch! 2008, Laguna Beach investigation. 2007 ended, and Herc went into 2008 a lot of the same, posting to various channels and trying to smoke Officer Leal and selling. He posted a handful of videos on January 2nd, 2008, talking to the camera as if it were Officer Leal and asking her to come speak with him. We need to talk now, do you understand me? You're going to see a com common thing continue here, too, where, like, when somebody crosses him, he does not stop. He has a pit bull mentality where he will not let go. He cannot detach from that person unless he leaves the area or ultimately they leave the area. But more than likely, it's going to be him. You'll see most times leaving the area uh, just from the sheer fact that he's, you know, that, that wandering spirit, so to speak. But, yeah, he's just... Uh, Man, this guy is just so fucking interesting to me. He's just so interesting. Leal, you are a witness. But Herc wasn't only trying to improve the town of Laguna Beach through smoking dirty pig. He also was an advocate for keeping the area safe. On the third of the month, Connell posted various videos. This is going to give you some very interesting insight onto or into the kind of guy Herc is when he's not fed smoker. Like he is he's a different person almost that's in the same body and it's just it's kind of unreal it's almost surreal it really is just the way he uh he can switch between these personalities he has you know the the for the ferocious fucking pit bull mentality of like going after these people that he declares are dirty cops and stuff like that or or people that wrong him and then there's this other side that you're about to see. Lamenting on the state of the public park and public restroom. I want to show you how the, the good citizens of Laguna treat their, their tourists. Here's their bathroom system. And it looks like somebody over here has got a little carried away and splattered all over the fuck. 
This is how Laguna Beach treats their people. Doesn't even look like they got any toilet paper. He also calls out alcoholic homeless people for their public intoxication. Truly a man of the people. Hey, we got us some gang riding on the fucking the fucking thing over here. It needs to be washed off. And you can always find Peggy drunk off her ass. Drinking and drinking, drinking, drinking right next to the playground. Drinky, 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 drinky. Drinky, drinky. She don't care, cops. She drinks right here. Yeah, at, at one point, Kia, so Laguna police, he was arrested by them. While in custody, he got injured. And while he got injured, he said that there was three police, th three corrections or sheriff's department officers that were that witnessed this and so because they didn't do right by him in his eyes he's like you know what i'm going after these fuckers these people like i'm i'm fucking taking this system down it's dirty it's broken and that's like his mentality that you're gonna see a lot here but this is this is just a different side of him right next to the kids playground so they can watch so he's calling out, you know, he's called out the graffiti on the kids' playground. He's called out the homeless people sitting right next to it drinking, which he finds disgusting as well. You know, the public facilities here are just disgusting. Like, he's he's calling out the whole thing here. So this is just, this is interesting. Watch should be a drunk. Hurt even oversaw the cleaning of the bathroom mentioned moments ago and thanked the worker who cleaned said bathroom. Hey. Give it up for George Americans. Give it up for Cowboy. Hey, goddamn Mexican, too. That's right, he's a good brother. That's right. And thank you, George, for cleaning that mess. Her kind of seemed like a staple of the Laguna Beach Street Society, one of the regulars to appear on the Laguna Beach News Channel. He's a whole broken person. Honestly, Kia, he is, he's just, uh, he's what, what would be qualified as a schizo cow? Like, he's... He's more schizophrenic, and I believe, like, when I say that, I'm not being uh, disingenuous. Like, there are points where, like, it's believed that he actually got back on medication. You'll see him go through different phases of look, like, where he'll look, like, just insane. Like, genuinely insane. And then there's parts where, like, when he starts on these, at these different points throughout the, the 20 years that you're going to see him go on here for, that, like, he looks normal. Like, he, he looks somewhat like, you know, a guy you could find, like, living next to you anywhere. So, it's just, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of insane as far as, like, the drastic, like, sways in his personality, in his look, and everything else. And just, uh, yeah, he's an interesting guy that's been homeless and traveling all around America and all was a drunk by the name of Cowboy. Herc would often film him singing, and Cowboy always sang the exact same song. I said, slow down, slow down, let me tell you about what I might do. All my lifetime I lived in your cartoon. I said, time after time, life after life, said, Give me a good reason, I will take your wife and I say, Lordy, Lordy, let me tell you about one of my two. The early day Herc videos did not have as much smoking of dirty pigs as they do later. It was a nice little view into life on the streets, where Herc flirted Yeah, it's, it's, he's a really interesting cat. Like, you'll just see, like, he goes through these these interesting points he remains forever like a homeless man and like i i can see the freedom in what he's doing but he's genuinely just a uh interesting person because there's these kind there's the kind of gentler human sides of him and there's the more like out there deranged um you know fed smoker side of him and fed smoker must be ser like separated from herc the man Herc the man just seems like I would almost categorize him as two totally different people. It was ladies. She's 18 and I'm in love with her, you son of a bitch. Do you understand me? You scooter fuck. 
and rode his bike around the beach town. But Herc's rebellion against the corrupt system did begin in these early years. On January 5th, 2008, Herc announced in a video on his Chief Sellers channel that his plan to fight injustice involved him filming the women of Laguna Beach's breasts and butts. See what you've inspired me to do is to zoom in on these hot mamas asses and boobs because they're the son of a bitch that hire you suckers and if they can't keep you under control then I gotta keep them under control and study their asses and boobs and figure out what the fuck makes them tick. Yeah. <laughs> On the 5th of January, Herc started another channel called Graz Kala. Herc uploaded all the videos to that channel on the same day of creation. The channel mostly consists of Herc's version of flirting with women in Laguna Beach. Yeah, I just want to do some weird shit to you is all. I want to make you feel all warm inside after I blow some gum in you. It tickle you. <laughs> and he says some really heinous stuff. Keep your goop pussy clean, okay? But surprisingly, the women take his advances kindly, as Herc, despite being a giant man, is harmless. Kiki, Kiki and her friend bought me these, and they bought me this too. They bought me this. Yes, and you love Herc News. Because I, I gotta tell you, there's angels in town, and you two just got caught as being angels in Laguna Beach! California, cause you know why? You know why? Herc, get us together. Get you know us why? together, Herc. I love Herc. He's Mwah. sexy. He's definitely a little local celebrity. These early videos help get a taste of the world of Herc. There are also a lot of videos on this channel of Herc being annoying in businesses. Did you steal my? Hey, yeah. All right, brother. I think this guy took my stuff at the library. Hey, All right, well, I'm gonna call the cops if I don't find my stuff. I think he stole my drugs. Oh, also some videos involving Herc <laughs> singing his original songs. One of Herc's most these original songs are something else. Like, uh, it, it it's just insane. Like, he actually has talent. He's a very talented man musically, and like just the insanity uh, at the same time is just. It's so bizarre. Most well-known songs was posted to his Jeff Sad channel around this time. It's a song telling Herc's tale as the Wire Man. Connell began to attempt to find a job on the seventh of the month. He posted a series of videos to the Chief Sellers channel of him in a Taco Bell speaking to workers. He makes claims he cannot get a job because the Mexicans get all those jobs, but also says he believes the white men are enslaving the employees. So yeah, dude just wanted a job at Taco Bell. I'm gonna tell you what, Americans, it's not the Latinos' fault that I can't work here. No, no, no. It's Uncle Sam. That's right. Kirk eventually took his mission against Chief Sellers and Officer Leal further. He began holding a sign against the two in front of the town hall. <laughs> Mikey boy, is this what you wanted, buddy? This this gets you a taste of like just how fucking how fucking um just out there he can be at times. Like this is probably one of the more um more early early things. Yeah, he's definitely he definitely would fall in the sovereign citizen uh sphere of stuff, but like even beyond that, he's just he's an enigma. He really is, Kia. Is that what you wanted, Mike? Is that what you wanted, Mikey? Your name's all over the place. All I wanna do is chat with you, Mikey. See it says chat, boy. Yeah. There's the nicest cop in town right there. She's actually cool, Mike which eventually led him to get a ticket. He filmed the event of the officer taking a sign I violate my civil rights uh, as an American. and posted it to his chief seller's channel. It. The police have just stole my sign, Americans. Call the cops. Call the goddamn cops. They we are only on January 8th, 2008. On January 8th, he posted a video of him at a town meeting asking to have a conference in order to show his evidence that will put Officer Leal and Sellers away. I need to speak with uh, Mike Sellers and Officer Leal. I have evidence to put them both in jail right now. 
if you guys could arrange for me to have like a news press conference with them, since you guys do pay them, right? Mayor? You, you, do, you do pay them, right? Well, I want to know, you do pay them, right? I want to talk to your chief since I got a history of putting chiefs in jail, okay, already. I've got the goods to put him away and Officer Leo right now, okay? The council denies him this conference and denies to get him an audience with the officers. I want to speak with Mike Sellers and I want to sit down and have a long talk with him for about an hour. And when I'm done, I want the feds to put him in prison with uh, Leo, Officer Leo, okay? Can you do that? Can you do that? He can't do that, huh? When he was rejected, Herc began to threaten the council board, saying he was going to make the town change because they were running out artists by letting corporate run out the little guys. And Kenneth Frank, you're next, buddy, for mafia tactics on Michael Avery's artwork, okay? You guys have been pushing out real artists, okay? Kenneth, you, under you listening there, Kenneth? Whatever you pulled on Michael Avery there, the guy don't even paint down down anymore because the big money shut the little guys down. I'm going to tell you guys something. There's going to be some rules changing all of you people because I am geared up, okay? You understand me? Herc posted more videos from the meeting. These videos involved him calling various council members dirty. This is like these pretty good Americans. The lady next to her, she's dirty. <laughs> this guy's all right. To this lady's all right. She's all right. She's all right. Yeah. <laughs> this lady here, one turning away, she's dirty. I think you can. And Kenneth's dirty Americans. Look at him. The abrasiveness of Herc towards the members is pretty comedic. They are obviously annoyed, but Herc soldiers on in his mission to take down dirty pigs. He also says one of his catchphrases for the first time at this meeting. He will repeat this often throughout his many years of activity. The rules are, kids, when the bike's blinking, you best not be stinking, because we'll be putting you in prison forever. Years and years and years and years. On January 10th, 2008, Herc would open another channel entitled CNN Corrupt. Another Hercism should be noted. That is, Herc referring to those who help him as angels. But the angel look is still very popular, Americans. On the left, blonde, white shirt. You heard it, Herc News, that's an angel. He tends to speak of the common appearance of the color white in relation to God as well, often referring to people wearing white as angels. He also refers to white cars as chariots. The importance of these white chariots will grow over the years. On the 14th of January, he starts... This will play in big later on in the story as we get through it. But yeah, the whole uh, white versus black and all that, like, he really views, like, even in just simple colors, like, that there's a good and evil like just to what you what you choose to wear and all that like it's just kind of this gets into some of the more out there vibes on this started a new channel god's news one of the first videos posted to that channel involved her oh teddy teddy buddy you would love this fucking guy this guy's a goddamn schizo cow uh so let me introduce you to fed smoker a homeless man who travels america taking out the corrupt police of this nation um, while talking about the angels of the world um, and the injustices of uh, done against him. Uh, you know, as you see in KSA, he's a, so a sovereign citizen. So it's just, he's a, he's a ball of interesting. <laughs> yeah he's a dog the bounty hunter but he bounty hunts only only federal agents Herc thanking one of his angels for help there are angels in town what's your name again brother my name is david david what o'brien o'brien just come up and threw me that you are an angel brother God bless you, brother. God bless you, too. Thank you very much. Give me some knuckle, brother. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. January 17th, 2008, a layer of the onion that is Connell Peterson was peeled back. He posted a video to his Jeff Sad channel filming a house saying he used to live there before he decided to take his bike on the road to smoke feds. 
Americans, Big Daddy gave up that gray house up there on the hill, right there, to take this bike around the country and smoke you dirty pigs out there. Because there's a lot more pigs to be smoked. Jeffrey Sad, all you suckers out there that think you're bad on record, you're going to get a camera stuffed in your fucking face, and you're going to be trashed if that's what you need to be. Whether Herc ever owned that house is unknown, but if it is true, at one point he had a home and something had caused him to hold onto a delusion and lose his living stability. Herc began to post videos about his new target, specifically on his Jeff Sad channel. This is the 17th of the month. This was Officer Bigsby. According to Conald, he had caught Bigsby kissing his old neighbor Richard. Bigsby tell the world, Bigsby, why you really hate old dad. I saw you kissing Richard. Richard. This is so fucking funny and out there and just demonstrates just how out there this guy can be. And just like, uh, he's just a, a unique person. From the grocery store mobile. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't like me, huh, Bigsby? And I want to note, apparently Richard stole cable because Conald has to point that out and it's important to him for some reason. It was these right in front of Richard, and lives right up there, my old neighbor, stealing cable, Americans, for 20 years. So, because Herc caught Bigsby being gay, Bigsby has decided to turn against Herc. He posted a video titled, Herkster. Officer Bigsby took the bait kids. He's a dirty pig. The video consisted of Herc talking to a kid. The kid says, Bixby had called his parents to tell them that he should not hang around Herc anymore. Told him that you were a bad guy, Herc. <laughs> very 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 good point yeah yeah he, you know anybody that does a kindness to him is also an angel so like if you are kind to her he will call you an angel it doesn't doesn't have to be that you're wearing the color white so i, I just think he automatically associates that with uh like a purity of soul so like he goes off of that but yeah the, the last guy that helped him out on the beach wasn't even wearing white. <laughs> told, told him I was a bad guy? Yeah. And what else? I meant they're probably going to try to bust you if you come around. Just coming around? And how long have I been coming here? For about a year, huh? Well, I've known you for like what? Four years. Almost oh, four years now. And we've got nothing but have fun chase pussy, huh? <laughs> the description of the video also revealed more details of a conspiracy Herc was uncovering, which read, Herc News, I knew if I posted that I bath at the Riviera, Bixby would pull this sh bush. Mike Sellers is a puke. Kids officer Bixby is mad because I seen him kissing Richard, the old man that works at Mobile Gas Station in Laguna Beach. Officer Bixby, you should tell your wife what you're doing at that station, freak. And Richard stealing cable from Fox Cable Kids. He gets away with it because Officer Bixby dates Richard from Mobile. He stole cable for over 20 years. Bixby, why are you letting that boy steal cable? Go give him a big old kiss, Bixby. You Laguna Beach kids know I tell it like it is. And this guy knew they'd bother his folks. Bixby, I'm suing you, prick. Herc created two new channels on January 18th titled You Zuck and Bigsby Smoker. He started posting immediately to both channels about Bigsby, revealing in one video, Bigsby ruined the place Herc would shower. Ruin my f***ing little place to take a shower? No, I don't think so. That's my friend sucker from the Riviera, boy. Yeah, yeah, Bigsby. He posted a lot of videos trying to intimidate Bigsby on the 18th over all of his channels. A fair chunk of these Bigsby-focused videos were posted to his Herkster CNN channel, and all of these videos were titled Herkster CNN. That is a very common habit of Herk in the early years, posting a bunch of videos with the same title, often just the title of the channel he is posting to. Between posting videos to go after Bigsby, Herk also uploaded a series of videos to his USUC channel over the next few days of him and his friend Daisy going on an adventure to the city. He posted a video on the 18th where he is saying goodbye to Laguna Beach. His sayonara to Laguna Beach here seems to be only temporary as he and Davey visit the city. Herc will eventually venture out of Laguna Beach permanently, but it seemed that either this goodbye was only for his temporary visit to the city or he had more videos to upload of his adventures in Laguna Beach after his exit because on January 22nd, he started another new channel called Laguna Pigs with a Z. This channel had an arc where it was Conald versus a Starbucks. Basically, Starbucks had kicked <laughs> him out from sleeping next to the store, so he started to protest Starbucks. Anybody supporting Starbucks is going to end up on the internet now. 
Because they're trying to set me up, Americans, and when you try to do business like that, get ready to be exposed. Hi. These guys keep calling the cops on me for asking for food. Hurt goes between somewhat lucid but fun homeless loon and horrifyingly offensive, depending on the day. Though, he's always harmless so far, except to phone operators. Herc posted a lot of videos on the 24th of January to his Officer Leal channel, some videos reaching over 1,000 views, which is decent views for some random schizophrenics uploads from 2008. Is that possible? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm kind of jealous of the views that fucking Hurt got in 2008. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he could just shit bombs a bunch of fucking videos like this on the fucking internet. And he gets fucking views for days. But again, he is an interesting fellow. Like, he's just... We haven't even gotten into, like, the fun shit. Wait till we get to the dogs and the cars and stuff. Like, this guy's got so much story left. We are just in the early arc. Remind you, like... This is the beginning of the story. This is just the tip of the iceberg that is that is Fed Smoker, Herc, uh, Connell Peterson. Like, this is just, this man is just going to get better and better with time. He's like a fine wine. What's up when I call you guys? You start stalling out the line and that can, like, retard it. Someone get a little sick of that shit. Herc's uploads would disappear. I mean, just to give you some idea of the stuff to come up, there'll be a point where he'll call a dog a pedophile. ...appear for the next few months. It is most likely due to Herc traveling from Laguna Beach and not having access to the internet. That or he was arrested or ran into trouble with the law. It could have been anything. I believe he traveled to another city in California at this time. Herc resurfaced in April and created two more channels at the end of the month, Club 69 Thieves and FBI John Cavanaugh. The description of the Club 69 Thieves channel read, Grand Island, Nicky boy's a thief, kids. Jay's gonna really put you out of a bar now, punk. To all you Nebraskans, Nicky boy's a thief. Rosie's going on the net. Nick, if I don't get my movie back, Nick, you need your teeth knocked out. Punk, see you soon. Nick, soon as I get my chips, I'll take it all down. You wanna f around, though, with my movie. So you'll become the movie. Rosie's going on the net, punk. I already screwed your mother, Nick, 15 years ago. I fucked your mother, Rosie, Nick. Rosie has a nice pussy, Nick. Don't be a thief. This can still have a happy ending, Nick. Email me club.69 at yahoo.com. Nick, you're a thief. The tank's going to ruin your life. You need to give the Herkster his movie back, punk. Nick's working for the cops. And the John Cavanaugh channel's description read, John, it's time to be exposed, cunt. You should have come to the phone, bitch. How do you like me now? It's time to play hardball. I'm going to expose your entire team on the net cunt as being dirty FBI cunts. Obama needs to clean Whitey's ass up a little. Whitey's been lying for just a bit too long. F*** the FBI. I'll go to the table with a thousand of you dirty cunts. Let's go, bitch. It's time. The Nebraska State Patrol stole records, America, and the FBI covered it up, right, Johnny boy? It's time to expose the FBI in the Nebraska State Patrol. You just can't go around thieving Johnny boy. On the 28th of April, he uploaded a video to the FBI John Cavanaugh channel of him answering his phone and then being convinced it was the FBI prank calling him. You know the prank call, Americans. Check it out. Hello? <laughs> Are you prank calling? Well, he doesn't discriminate against people of color, and he just discriminates against people of object stupidity, Kia. So, in his mind, in his mind, so, like, if you are just sitting there in your um and uns and all that, he will not tolerate that he thinks you're lying to him. So, as long as you can articulate your point, answer his questions, you are a good person in her size. Call me FBI now? You don't like my sign, huh? It's right in front of the courthouse. Yeah, it's going to be here for a couple years. It's going to be here for a couple years, okay? Bye-bye. Things began to change in Herc's content with a change in location. It really is. You know, I had the FBI prank call me on 4th of July and like, I was like, look, fuckers, this is America's birthday. You can't be doing this shit. It's illegal. I will contact the Fed smoker. He began to confront <laughs> more cops on camera or on record, as Herc likes to call it. He started accusing cops of- This is the thing that like escalates this to a point. So he starts actually targeting police. Like he, he really- <laughs> <laughs> discrimination based on clothing color. <laughs>
he actually starts targeting police to their faces. Like he actually goes up, does the, what's been associated more so with the sovereign citizen bit of filming the police. But he was the originator of it. Cause remind you, this is in 2008. This is before he's called CNN, um, bad people before Trump ever would. So Trump stole that from him. Um, he called, he's been filming the police longer than any sovereign citizen on YouTube to date. He, he is the originator of so many concepts that you see nowadays. Destroying his evidence against them. On April 28th, he posted a video talking to several officers who are obviously uncomfortable, accusing another officer of hurting his bike and dropping his camera and threatening him. Push my bike over. Can I show you him pushing my bike over? He said he was FBI and he dropped my camera on purpose. Then he said he's going to kick my ass on record with the tape recorder. He reminds these officers he's a celebrity smoker. I want to know who to turn this guy in for breaking my camera. I put a chief of police in jail already for burning houses. You guys are messing with a celebrity smoker. Look up Jeff Sad on the internet because that's where that guy's future's going to hell. He later reveals that the cop who <laughs> dropped his camera and pushed his bike over was of Hispanic descent. They drops my camera, then coerces a witness to say I dropped my camera. Okay, here's like a, here's like a good point where I would say here is Fed Smoker looking substantially more normal, more next door neighborly. Like compared to sometimes when you'll see him in the future. Um, I I just I don't know how to explain the insanity that you guys are gonna see later on. But like he actually looks like a guy that you wouldn't mind having live next to you, like or that you know, is just a person in your neighborhood. Like he looks normal here. And I I don't like using that term a lot because you know what is normal, but like he looks fucking normal here. He looks like your average everyday dude, like he's going to a job and everything else. And this is a point where I think that's why there was such a big break in videos for a period of time around this time is that he got back on meds. He was taking care of himself and everything else. And that's where you see him kind of like actually genuinely take care of himself. He looks, he looks cleaned up. He looks, you know, again, I hate to keep using the word normal. After he dropped it on purpose. Yeah, that's another beaner cop. Says he's FBI. Remember Steve Justa, the bodybuilder who wrote an article on Herc? Well, on May 14th, 2008, Herc uploaded a video of him talking to Steve in a car about how someone had stolen his memory chips and his movie. With author Steve Justa, Harvard. Steve, what do you think? He was with me. That's the only place it could be. He stole them, right? It's the only place that tapes could be. He stole my uh, my fucking memory chips of my entire movie, The 69 Club, Grand Island Americans. I used to bounce this dump. Things were getting slow, but Herc popped up again around June 18th, 2008, with another new channel entitled Gene Peterson. This channel has gone from you. Hi, Belinda. You're going to love the content I'm going over. <laughs> YouTube terminated. But thanks to Alessi Warrior on Kiwi Farms, the videos were archived. And the videos on this channel show a mark of a new paranoia from Herc. Herc believes the cops are trying to stop him from his fed smoking ways. And one way he believes this is done is by stopping him from accessing Wi Fi. Your Wi Fi is not working at, at uh, Denny's here, folks. Herc posted a series of videos accusing a Denny's of turning off the Wi Fi to stop his investigation. He's not working at Denny's, Americans. Let's give these guys a baby paper stamp right on their f***ing face. I do not know if he was in Laguna Beach at this time. He was more likely in the Midwest, specifically Colorado, as in another video from this channel mentions Cortez, Colorado. But back to the Denny's. He believes the Denny's is dirty, and he starts baby raper stamping the Denny's employees. What is baby raper stamping? Well, Herc's way of exposing cops. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Love, love, love this. So he doesn't actually call people uh, pedophiles. He calls them baby rapers. And it's just going to be an arc that will continue throughout this entire long story. It's by baby raper stamping them. What he does is if someone is dirty, he films them and then later takes their image and puts the word baby raper over their image and posts them online. This 
is Herc's work. A lot of the beginning of this video you are currently watching is laying out the origins of Conald Peterson Fed Smoker, but it is also establishing behaviors that define Herc and what will be repeating factors in his mission from God to smoke dirty pigs across America. And one of the videos posted to this new channel shows a few key points in Herc's journey. In one video, Herc shows a car. I am unsure if it is his car because he continues to ride a bike for the upcoming time, but the type of car is important. It's a Crown Vic, a police car, or an ex-police car. Remember that. Another important trait displayed in this particular video is Herc's obsession with the color white. Herc has an infatuation with the color white. His obsession with white manifests more and more over the years, and this video shows the beginnings of that. Herc believes that white cars are a sign from God. He believes them to be white chariots from Jesus himself, sent to him to either give him support or show him the way to go. This pattern begins in this video from June 18th, 2008. I'm going to show you how weak you are. After the red flash, the white. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how pussy is. Put your lives together. Council Bluffs. Herc would post another series of videos in July to his now terminated Herc Force channel. These videos took place in Council Bluffs, Iowa, where his mother was living. It seems Herc had traveled from Colorado to Council Bluffs to film his adventures. In these videos, he shows a variety of his Council Bluffs adventures. He made phone calls, he filmed himself yelling at buildings, he made a spectacle of himself in stores, and he did some tattooing. While he was visiting his family in Iowa, Connell got arrested. An article from July 20th, 2008 tells of this arrest, writing, Title, YouTube video lands CB man in jail. A Council Bluff man is in jail after his YouTube video got him in trouble. According to a Council Bluffs Police Department report, Connell Peterson, this is the other thing that you guys are going to see that is going to kind of like, uh, uh, you know, punctuate this story throughout. There are periods where, unfortunately, Herc goes to jail for different things. It's kind of part of the life that he lives. But I think that's where you see Herc when he starts these downward trends, why he looks as well taken care of as he does. I think it's because he comes out of these situations where he's been in jail, where he's probably receive proper medication, receive proper care to some extent, you know, well rested, um, showering, taking care of himself. And like, he actually, and that's why he looks so well taken care of when he comes out. Um, I think that it's a lot to do with these small jail stints. 40. Screamed a profane and derogatory comment to a female Pottawatomie County janitorial employee as she worked outside on January 15th. Peterson allegedly taped the incident and posted it on YouTube, the report indicated. He was arrested on the charge of disorderly conduct and disobedience to a police officer and taken to the Pottawatomie County Jail, where a magistrate set bail at $1,000, according to the report. He was eventually released and he immediately started uploading videos accusing cops of mistreatment in jail. This is July 21st, 2008. On this date, he posted videos of him playing a recording, a recording that one could presume is audio of him being arrested. Herc believed that these recordings proved that he was mistreated, but they merely contained police officers trying to be calm with him as he behaved belligerently. August came and Herc was posting videos accusing cops of crimes that are hard to understand out of context and sans a schizophrenia diagnosis. But on August 19th, Herc created another YouTube channel called Peta Miller. This channel was to focus on Lieutenant Miller. This was the description of the channel. Peta Miller's been playing with little boys wee wees, right, Lieutenant Miller? You're going to prison her. I'm taking it my power to expose you, you council bluffs, white trash motherfucker. I'd like to slap the fuck piss out of you, Lieutenant Miller, going to prison for kids. He rapes little boys. He fucked his neighbor. Eight years of age. Take a good look at the motherfucker. Miller, you think you're fucking around with the law? <laughs> uh, yeah, Kia. He he really uh he really is ahead of the game in some ways. <laughs> You're going to be feeling pretty stupid from here on out in the law. Watch and see, internal punk. 
all 27 videos on this channel were posted in the next three days. None have any audio, but seem to be detailing Herc's adventures in Council Bluffs with women. The videos, however, were titled in ways that conveyed that Herc was trying to prove that Lieutenant Miller was a kid diddler. One of the last videos uploaded to this channel was titled, Americans, this man is a registered pedophile right across the street from a daycare in Council Bluffs. Lieutenant Miller don't mind because he's f***ing his neighbor eight years of age. Right, Miller boy? Meet Tommy Americans. The video for this title consisted of no audio and just footage of some resident of the town, but a look into the mind of Herc. This is what the description of the video read. Herc News exposes these pedophiles. It seems like every day that Council Bluffs is a great city, Americans. It just seems like that meth has ruined all the locals in one way or another. Almost every woman I like out here is on the or f***ing around making the shit. Look at Creepy Tommy. I seen him pretending to zip his niece's zipper up and taking his time doing it while the mother was in the house. This f needs to go to prison again. He has no right to even pat a child on the back, let alone zip a little girl's pants up. Not to mention, I don't even think the little girl's pants needed to be zipped. Social services best get in there. August 21st, 08, this f is done. The little girl's parents were already in trouble for having their kids around this man. He's still touching them. Herc would post more videos in September to his now defunct Herc Force channel. The videos took place in Council Bluffs. The adventures here mostly did not add to the Herc narrative, but he did spend some time making anti-drug videos. He thinks meth is bad. People who stumble upon the adventures of Herc often think he's a burnt out meth head or crackhead. The lost Herc Force channel was very similar to the adventures in Laguna Beach, but this time in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Herc, during this time, was very coherent for Herc. He was obviously a wild guy, but he was more like a functioning member of society with a quirky personality traveling the land. He could have been a movie character. The videos posted over this period of time to this channel really are interesting and almost cinematic. This strange guy on the road living day to day. He eventually left Council Bluffs on a Greyhound, and that goes a bit sideways. Herc's bike, the original Fed Smoker, gets lost on the trip. He makes it to his new location and starts filming the beautiful sky. So he loses the original bike on the way there. Like, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is kind of a downturn moment for him. So he's back just on foot, hitchhiking, whatever he can do for travel, but he's not going to be down for long. These are some pretty tricky f guys out here, kids. Pretty tricky. Let's go see if we can see down. It kind of looks like a beach town. So kids... Let's hope Obama raises these little kids a little better this time around so we don't have to put cops in prison for burning houses down like Jeffrey said. While Herc travels, he oftentimes relies on the help of strangers. And in these videos posted in September 2008, Herc reveals he frequents soup kitchens for charity. And he's quite a player at these soup kitchens. This is the woman I'm gonna marry in Vegas, kids. <laughs> Within a year, we're gonna be married, playing in the casinos. Yeah, Herc News. Herc continued to post his travels of the country to this channel and spoke of his family for us to learn more of. In one video while he cycles by a river, he speaks of his mom. Wait, is that guy saying Americans earlier? Sometimes I tell you I'm I think that might have just been a friend of his. I don't I don't understand who the dead guy is. I don't think we ever really well, I know we never really get an explanation for, like, who the dead guy was. I think it might have just been a friend of his that passed. The biggest mama's boy in the world. My mom uh, means everything to me. She gave me all my strength. In another video, he mentions an important name for further plot lines. Leo Berez. Remember that name. The uploads on this particular channel have Herc traveling from Colorado to New Mexico. The archiver on the Kiwi Farms did their best to organize this Herc Force saga by general dates and events, but nothing seems to be quite in order. One important term I haven't brought up about Herc yet is that he refers to women by the word Twinkie. Twinkie refers to the vagina more specifically, but Herc will call women as a whole Twinkies. He filmed a series of videos featuring Twinkies in his October adventures to the Herc Force channel. This included him telling romantic prospects how the cops plant weed on him to try to arrest him. He also tried to ask a Twinkie to marry him. But more interesting from these uploads, sometime around October, 
Kirk uploaded a series of videos for his mother, who is living in Council Bluffs, Iowa. He shot a bunch of videos speaking on how he's a mama's boy and how dearly he holds his mother in his heart. If one were to make an educated guess on why Herc can no longer be in Iowa with his mother, it's probably that there was a warrant for his arrest and he was fleeing. Herc seems to party a lot during this time. At one point, Herc seems to be in a house hosting a party where he talks to one of the guests at said party. This evolves into a series of videos that kind of tell you why Herc traveled to New Mexico. Herc went to New Mexico to help a man named Josh. Herc posted a series of videos that look like a house party. He must have been staying with these people. Herc films a man at the party. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's uh <laughs> Yeah, Belinda, there's not going to be a whole lot of sense made here. Just roll with it. <laughs> you'll you'll love it. He speaks to the camera about hearing voices and being suicidal. Herc seems to be acting as this man's therapist, who claims he's messed up his mind from doing too many hallucinogens. Now, you may have guessed this. This man is Josh. Josh possibly has schizophrenia. Herc cured him, though. Throw it up there, bro. Now, this, I, I cannot whole, like, so wholeheartedly get behind and recommend. But, yeah. You, uh, <laughs> you're going to hear about how Herc cured, helped cure this guy of schizophrenia. It's Josh. Josh possibly has schizophrenia. Herc cured him, though. Throw it up there, brother. Throw them f***ing voices out of your head. Tell them get the f*** out there. Down, now hold that candle up in the sky, brother, and burn them voices, brother. Burn those f***ing voices. Burn, burn them. them burn them. Burn, b***h. Get rid of him. Tell him get the fuck get out the of your head. Get out of here, motherfucker. You got it now, brother. Throw it up there and mean it. Oh. Get that shit out of your head. Now, he's never going to hear voices again, brother. Because I said... Herc didn't just help out poor Josh. He also partied with the people in the house. <laughs> you got the lighter. Okay. He got fired up. <laughs> what is interesting is how Connell introduces all of his friends at some point. You're with some of the most craziest bad you've ever seen in your life here. These people have tried to kill themselves mult not only once, but multiple times. Sometimes daily on pills. This was pretty telling of the sort of people Herc rode with. They weren't your regular people who work nine to fives. It's a bunch of people living outside of formal society. The party got pretty wild if Herc's uploads are anything to judge by. The Herkster don't drink kids usually, but tonight I'm gonna hammer down. Now you may be wondering how Connell was able to upload his content while he was traveling cross country in the year of 2008. In a video titled DSCI940, posted to the Herc Force channel sometime in October, Herc is in a library thanking them for their internet access. I'm really gonna miss y'all and I wanna thank you for helping me load Herc news on the internet. I'm sorry if I was rude to you at all. I think you're one of the nicest. <laughs> you weren't expecting him to introduce friends like that. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, he's just, uh, he, I, I don't think it registers the same with him like it does with any, everybody else. Like, anybody, you know, like, who would normally introduce a person, like, He's like, here's my friend with schizophrenia. Here's people that have killed themselves multiple times or attempted to. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's a very strange life that Herc lives. Ladies, wish me luck on my next dirty cop I smoke, okay, kids? Okay. And I'm going to miss this place. America, these people have helped Herc News. Don't you forget it. El Paso investigation. November finds Herc in El Paso. He announces this on a video from November 1st, 2008. Okay, kids. It's November 1st, 2008. What is Herc doing in El Paso? He's trying to expose a new cop, this time Officer Downs. And what is the reason he's exposing Officer Downs? We're still looking for Downs. What I'm going to do with him is just expose him as being a dumb... Motherfucker. Yeah. 
but the rest of the videos uploaded through the end of 2008 generally depict a man on an adventure. Well, a man who sees the world in a different way than reality on an adventure. Uh, editor, or good, am I a news man? Am I a good news? I just want to keep putting cops in jail and tattooing people and meeting hot babes all over the country. Now, although Herc seemed more coherent in these videos, I mean, he was able to have a conversation that had a logical back and forth, I'll bet a bit weird, there was still a good deal of videos where Herc word salads. Pretty soon, Bush will have his terrorists come over here and irritate me and they go, What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing, Gorbachev? Lovers? True, true, Belinda. He doesn't see it as a bad thing because they survive. But yeah, it's uh, he's an interesting person, as you're going to see. Like, it's going to be... <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a wild ride you've missed some of the some of the fed smoker lore where he he is a big he views himself okay I'm trying to articulate this well he was involved in an investigation on a actual um chief of police at one point he has now made that such a large point of his personality that he calls himself fed smoker and so he's he considers himself like the apex predator to police and he uh is now living in new mexico but he had a small stint uh for a while in laguna beach where he started going after people there you're gonna slowly start you're still early in the story so we've only gone over the first chapter of a four chapter story that we have coming up but this is the first chapter and it's just his early life and this guy actually predates YouTube, he started all the way back in 2000. So he's been easily going for 20 plus years. But he uh, he actually does get involved on YouTube. He's made hundreds of channels and everything else. It's just an insane story from a truly, genuinely, potentially, actually insane person. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this is Fred Smoker. Huh? If you don't know what a word salad is, it is by definition a confused or unintelligible mixture of seemingly random words and phrases, specifically in psychiatry as a form of speech indicative of advanced schizophrenia. He also began to speak. I think you'll genuinely enjoy this because of that, Belinda, because of your past. You're going to probably enjoy this more than other people then. More politically, it seemed the presidential election was approaching and he began to rant about the current president, Bush, as well as Obama. It almost said Gore W. Bush. That should have been our president actually until they falsified the election. That's what they're gonna do with Obama. They're gonna probably give it to Cheney. So he can put some more of this shit around the country. And by political, I mean Herc was beginning to make accusations about people in power, as usual. Now, George, I know you and your terrorists work at night mostly, and that's when your boys will come in and irritate me. But my fucking recorder still blink at night, boy. And these accusations were strange. Uh, you definitely document Edward uh, Martinez is the one that, uh, Touched my arm, pushed my arm anyways. He, sh he shoved it over like this and I took it right up like that. He, you're, you're saying that he said that he didn't touch my arm? Yeah, we're done. You said you wanted to take a picture. Okay, okay. Well, well anyways, uh, he, he did say that though, that he didn't touch me for the record. Thank you, bro. Herc was beginning to pick up his fed smoking more as the uploads continued. I didn't think you were doing right, like Archer. You can bet Archer's gonna have his own web page now on YouTube. And Archer's going to be just a chilling on himself. Dirty as f**k. His eyes are going to be hiding behind this door saying that he don't want to commit to, uh, to uh, what's his name again? Martinez. He's going to say he don't want to commit to Martinez saying he didn't touch my arm. You know why? Because he was filling in the blank spots and he knew he'd be lying his ass off, okay? He was investigating an officer Downs, but he was on the hunt for someone else to expose. The videos were getting more and more accusatory. See how it isn't nice, kid? It isn't nice to touch my fucking hand. Do you understand how many cops are gonna get fucked in this town because of that? Do you? You better think twice. 
and I'm not gonna be nice. And he became more obsessed with recording everything. Give old dad a dirty look. Not nice to look at old dad, dirty Americans. Because I'm yeah, you're gonna probably like this a lot, Blinda. Like he actually does do that fine line dance between insane and genius at points. Like he really he's also does this this dance with between his personalities too so you have the fed smoker personality which is a lot of what you're seeing here but we've already seen some of like the herc personality which is just as much of a uh of a factor here like there's the herc side of the story is is very different very kind very loving and there's a very, uh, it's going to be a predominant role throughout this, just as much as Fed Smoker, I dare say. But yeah, there's going to be a, there's going to be a wild cast of characters and stuff. Like we haven't even gotten through everything. I'm the guy that does the investigations. I'm the guy with the wire. Do you understand me? I'm the guy that wears these motherfuckers. Do you understand that, kids? When that fucking light is blinking. It best not be stinking. And began to really focus and obsess about really specific details. You see, when a cop in a town inconveniences Herc in any way, he would investigate the whole town. In El Paso, he began to see enemies and suspicious activity wherever he went. Dude, Americans, you see that guy just pump up on me right there? He's a Spanish guy too, kids. He's no it's for the state patrol, kids. See that guy behind him? They're all Mexicans, kids, on top of that. We already seen how Mexicans fucking work. Santa Monica. The El Paso investigation never was resolved. It just kind of ended. Perk eventually returned to California, specifically Santa Monica, for Christmas. He spent a good deal of his time with the Twinkies over in Santa Monica. Perk was ending the year preparing for his new adventure, and he continued to keep his mom in mind. I love you, Mom. Wish you were out here with me. In a way, you really are. I saw that down. Venice Beach. <laughs> the next place he stopped was Venice Beach, which is actually a walkable distance from Santa Monica. And we got to enjoy some street performers. We also got some videos of Herc's freelance tattooing. For example, during this November, California 2008, he filmed himself giving a woman a tattoo, naked. We're Herc's tattoo parlor in the pier again, kids. And even though Herc is probably a hassle if you have to deal with him at your job, it's hard not to find the guy's antics amusing. Once again, we're at Jack in the Box, one of my other favorite places to eat kids besides McDonald's. Yeah. Archer and Martinez. But so don't don't. <laughs> it, it does give gang stalking vibes like you're gonna see that throughout but his is definitely tailored more towards police but he also puts himself in that position where like most people like with the gang stalking stuff kind of feel like they're actually like being hunted by a group of people he actually goes out and hunts them and then feels like uh he'll confront them just as much as they confront him so it's kind of different from the gang stalking in that relation. But Kia, yeah, like to feed into what you're saying, I've noticed a very strong correlation between like people of very, 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 very immense uh, knowledge, power, genius, whatever you want to call it, high IQ, whatever. And like their struggles in life, like it's just a matter of, I, I think it even goes back to like, you look at some of the grandmasters of chess, especially younger people that became grandmasters and how much it, they had a troubled life later on. I think it's just a matter of their intelligence leads to either a boredom with life in some cases, but in other cases, it just leads to kind of like a, a troubled mind, so to speak, because they're extremely aware of everything as well. Hey, Jim, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, better than these federal agents. <laughs> what do you think so far with chapter one? I just, I love this man. There's, <laughs> there's, there's no other way to say it. Because he is this, like, perfect blend of, like, insane, but also, like, kind of, like, good-hearted. Yeah, very genuine. He's a very genuine person. 
Like, I, it's like, that's one of the things that I really took about, like, when he was on that one council meeting or whatever, talking about this random artist guy that he met. Yeah. Like, he was literally standing up for this random dude he met, and I think that's kind of cool in this sort of this weird schizophrenic, like, misguided way this man does things. Yeah. But he has such a good intent behind it. Yeah, yeah, he really does. And like you see that happen a lot throughout this story. I know you've you've seen just as much as I've seen with this story, but like it's just he really does like that's where I kind of almost separate Fed Smoker, like the wild over the top personality, from Herc, who I associated more with like the kind, the caring, the more humane society side of his personality. Yeah, like, you can almost see, like, I, I, I'm i no doctor, so I don't want to, like, you know, like, sort of uh, diagnose him here, mm-hmm. but, like, you can see sort of, like, the schizophrenia at points, right? Like, where yeah. you see, like, the fed smoker, you see that sort of paranoid delusion yeah. versus hurt, which is a guy that just wants to do good in the whatever community he's traveling through. Yeah. Yeah, like, one of the things that stuck out to me and struck me when I was watching this story initially is just, like, the point where, like, when he's at the Laguna Park, the beachside park, and he's, like, pointing out, like, look, there's gang riding on the fucking kids' playground, and now you've got people that are homeless like me sitting here drinking right next to the fucking playground, right inside of these kids and stuff, and then, like, the destroyed nature of the fucking public restroom and the fact that, like, he made sure to not only thank, but, like, overly thank george for cleaning that stuff up <clears throat> yeah hello he seems like very community based how's it going gg how you doing i only had to listen to this guy's voice once to draw a comparison <laughs> yeah and it is i sent you a clip of it it's of the wrestler from yes, dexter's yes. laboratory it's time. Wrestler! Welcome, heroes of Earth. You have been chosen to receive the most glorious of gifts. <laughs> he really is. This is why I call him like the, <laughs> the, the last American action hero. He kind of portrays that like that vibe, that wrestler that motif in a way. Randy yeah. Cabbage, yes, yeah. I've like heard him Hogan. compared to that even, yeah. So what do you do, brother, when the man's coming for you? <laughs> yeah, he, he he sounds like he's the voice actor for this character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really does, and like he just he's just such an over the top character. But like, there is a different side to him compared to those characters that are portrayed. That like, he's he's got a genuineness to him as well. Like, so, you know, like, with the Randy Savage and Macho Man Randy Savage, and, like, he, that character actually bled into his life. Same thing with Hulk Hogan. I feel like the character bled into his life, where I feel like his life and his character are two totally different things. Like, like I said, oh, there's yeah. the Fed Smoker, and then there's Herc. There's I can see why Ed. I can see why Ed McMahon never hired him. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's, he's too much. He's fed smokers too much for like the public works yeah. <laughs> instead of private industry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, but yeah, it's just, he's such an interesting person. And like, that's where I draw the comparisons to like Alex Jones. He's got, he's got that like over the top personality. Like he's, I I can't even think of how to articulate it best. Like he he's really is. Yeah, he's very charismatic. Thank you. He's very charismatic. He has got that that just that that cusp of insanity to him, that that, that wisp of insanity to him. That it's like, okay, this guy's fucking insane, but then he t- starts talking enough and you're like, okay, well that's actually a good point. No, okay, that's a good point. And it's like, well, now god damn it, I'm agreeing with this guy. So what does that make me? <laughs> Yeah, he reminds me of, like, the homeless guy that, like, screaming about, like, interdimensional physics. Yes. And, like, he's not wrong. Like, he's very articulate and stuff, but it's coming from this package that, like, feels so, like, paradoxical. Yes. (laughs) Oh, man. 
All right, I'm going to finish out this chapter During this time, he did start an investigation. You see, he did have some altercations with officers Archer and Martinez. What are you doing touching my hand, brother? Do you know who I am? I'm Herc News, brother. I can photograph anybody I want. It's a public place, right? No, it's private property. It's private oh, it's a private property? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. You shouldn't touch my hand, though. Americans. <laughs> I worked for the state patrol 22 years in that morons. This is where I feel like he has that dog to bounty hunter vibe probably the most to him is like this look right here. Me. He's gonna lose his job. If he'd touch me a little harder, I'd have knocked him out, kids. Yeah, that's right, I would have. Because of this Archer and Martinez run in, Perk decided he was going to get revenge on them. I'm a professional, and I think you are too. Those two jerks are, I think they did a good job, but they come up pumping up too. The monotones and shit like that, their monotones were very threatening. I think Uncle Sam needs to give him a little kick out the door, right out the ass. You know, right up the ass out the door. Going to police stations to complain about small altercations with cops is kind of Herc's hobby. It's how he tests the cops. But even though the encounter was most likely a nothing burger, Herc turned it into a serious accusation about these cops. There was no conclusion to this investigation, but all in all, 2008 was fun and chaotic. Was Herc doing this stuff before 2007 to 2008? Probably, but it's not on the internet. But what is on the internet is such wonderful clips such as this. You try to be nice. You try to be nice, kid. And all hell, everything goes to hell, it seems. <laughs> Florida. So in 2008, Herc got into some less than pleasant encounters with police and law enforcement. Not doing too good, kids. Give old dad a dirty look. And made a lot of accusations about them. And sometime between the end of 2008 and the beginning of 2009, Herc made his way to Florida and got arrested. And to be honest, 2009 was silent after this. And that is because on January 23rd, 2009, he was sentenced to one year, six months in prison for aggressive battery with a deadly weapon attempted. Herc was in custody from February 11, 2009 to October 23rd, 2009. Maybe he was on medication or getting treatment after this because he did not resurface online till March 2010. Next time on The Legend of Fed... All right, so we're going to go right into chapter two, so we don't even need the next time. But I am going to play this goddamn beginning every fucking time because I find this shit fucking funny. And it's my channel, damn it. Smoker. <laughs> Last time on The Legend of Fed... A pig in jail. He read this... You may in this book. I've read it. So... <laughs> I am the greatest healer in all mankind. I am Dr. Herc Dealing with He's on your life. Daddy, I'm big daddy. How you been, bitch? I'm Rick. Look at you, you Rick. You Rick. Rick. I'm not for hire. So call me just a kid alone. I wear these wires. I'm not for hire. So call me a chick alone. All right. So before we get into this, uh, as you can see, we're starting off in 2010. So. I just, uh, I want to preface with this part of the story ends with a bit of sadness, um, in that his mother passed away. I'm going to give you that ahead of time. Okay. I just, uh, I want to let you know that up front because it is a sad part of the story and it, it, it very much plays a big change into fed smoker as a person, but yeah. 2010 Key West, Florida. He reappeared in March of 2010 with his new channel FBI Smoker, created March 26, 2010. Shows he's already ready to smoke some feds. I'll be smoking every dirty pig in my path. Yeah. 
and he immediately went right back into his YouTube business too, introducing us all to the new producer of his company. Samantha Williams is taking the job of being my CEO. Take a look at her. Hey, everybody. You're going to kick ass for the Herkster, I know you are. I've hired the right woman Americans. You can order your freaking movie, Fed Smoker, online. We're rigging it up right now through Samantha. Fun fact, this girl is also the daughter of a cop Herc will have a back and forth with during his time in Key West, Florida. He has the daughter of a police officer as his producer. Her dad happens to be <laughs> one of the best cops in Key West. Uh, what do you got to tell your dad? Hey, Daddy, be good, and I'll be good to you. That's right. We're going to put down the best shit that goes on in this town. I know your dad's a protector here. This channel only uploaded a handful of videos in the end of March. Herc had some more channels after this that are now terminated. These are Herc, Fed Smoker, Hell Herc, and Hard Driven. These channels were not archived, so there was a blank space between March 2010 and June 2010 when Herc created his new channel, Brent Miller. This channel was created June 8, 2010, but Herc would not post a video till September, which was... FUCK YOU! Lawyer Roommate. So the next point of interest from this Brent Miller channel comes with a video uploaded September 19th. The name of this video was just the generic jumble of numbers and letters the camera automatically titled the file. By the way, if you guys want to stop at any point, just shout it out. I will stop it and play producer if you guys want to give a point. But yeah, this next interaction is actually quite funny because the person that you're going to see on camera is actually a friend of Herc's. And that friend is a lawyer. So I don't know if this is maybe the lawyer, maybe like how his uh, sister found a lawyer or whatever, like the lawyer husband. I don't know. Maybe. In the video, Herc introduces his viewers to his old roommate. He informs the audience that his roommate is now a lawyer and how he himself works for the state patrol. Hey, you're not going to believe it, brother. You went into law, I went into the state patrol after I left here, buddy. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. This roommate is a glimpse into a Herc that maybe was able to function in home society. Sergeant Woods. A series of videos were posted on the same day as the roommate video. This series tells a story of Herc trying to get back at cops for touching his camera. It starts with him going to the police station. The first video in the series is footage of Herc filming his analog audio recorder and SD cards on the table. He then announced he was at the state's attorney office in Key West. Okay, Americans, I'm at the uh, state's attorney's office here in Key West. Looks like a nice place. I'm looking a little rough today, but uh, we're uh, exposing that cop. And that he has- Now, can I say, okay, I wanna go back really quick. The Looking a bit rough today, it kind of speaks into his, like, his view of himself, because he looks rather clean here. Like, he looks like a rather, again, that neighborly type. Like, he looks like the kind of guy you'd have living, you know, in your neighborhood, so to speak. So, like, I, I, I want to draw a, a very, uh, clear comparison between some of the points that you will see him later on, even especially in this video. He looks actually pretty clean cut normal dude here a little rough today but uh we're uh, exposing that cop and that he has a new target in the next chapter in the story we see herc at a table with a police officer playing audio herc is convinced this audio makes an officer named calvert look crazy but it is unintelligible to someone not herc yo you want to be a ci i want to be a ci it's calvert Screaming that. Listen. He's screaming that at the top of his lungs, sir, on Mallory Square, because I wanted to be I wanted to be a CI. Could you imagine that? The next video cuts to the following part of the story, where Connold is speaking on an Officer Woods and how he touched his camera. You know, a serious crime. Because this is this is bull crap, and and if my camera clunks out, I want um, Calvert to replace the son of a bitch, and that's about it. What well, do you think that's fair? Well, I don't, it wasn't Calvert who, who grabbed her. Or not Calvert, excuse me, it's Wood, excuse me. Now, Herc wants these cops punished for these crimes, and he detailed exactly how he wanted that in this meeting. We take his badge and make him work at Burger King by next week. 
I can't promise you that. After this discussion with the officer about Officer Woods, our star filmed himself flushing his analog audio recorder down the toilet, announcing he was making an update to his operation. We're going digital. Now, can I say here, this is probably one of the more funny, insane things that I've seen him do. Like, I get the literal, like, okay, this is garbage, just throw it away. But he, he flushes it so to ruin it, so the cops cannot ever use this against him, is my thought of why he did this in his mind. It makes sense. What's that? I said it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's At like least in his mindset. Playful, but also crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's clearly no tape in it, so it's not like there's anything that it's at loss, but like, yeah. No! 2010 Christmas. Then, after all of the videos on that channel being uploaded in September 2010, there was nothing. Herc has these lapses in uploads. It could be that he was arrested and I could not find the record, or that he was on meds, or he no longer had his recording equipment, or he could have been uploading to undiscovered channels that are possibly gone forever. But Herc wouldn't pop his head up till 2011 on a now deleted channel called Ward's Fed Smoker. But upon review, some of these did cover the winter of 2010. What happened in the winter of 2010? Well, Herc spent Christmas accusing cops of stuff. Yeah, I can obviously see, sir, you guys are trying to set me up just to talk to one of your officers. Uh, so what, what's going on here, guys? Huh? What? I'll just wait, I gotta set my camera down. You there? You're trying to set me up, trying to give you information. You guys are going to prison. Protesting dirty pigs. Americans, I'm going in front of the courthouse now and calling uh, Judge Jones a baby since they don't want to do their fucking job here. I'm going to stand in front of the courthouse with a sign calling Judge Jones a baby raper today. And he was in Florida still. A lot of these videos of Herc's run together. Every one of you cops to take this fucking sign. Every one of you. 2011. The first signs of life from Herc after the Brent Miller channel upload in September was Herc appearing as Ward's Fed Smoker. This is a channel from February 2011 and was filmed in Key West, Florida. He uploaded a lot of these videos in one day. And although no one can read Herc's mind, you get bits of how he moves about in his day with these videos. For example, how he sees signs and clues everywhere that nobody but him really can understand. Hmm, Americans. Now they know who Bubba is. And also just having a splendid old time. <laughs> yeah! In another video posted later on the channel, we learn why Ward's Fed Smoker is called Ward Fed Smoker. Clap your hands, Ward Dennis Ward. Clap your hands. He's in hiding. He needs to go to the psych ward. This channel. Now, mind you, okay, so you see, imagine being in Key West on your on your vacation, you're taking one of the the many like trams, trolleys, travel buses, whatever you want to call them throughout the island, and you see this man <laughs> in an American flag bandana standing on the side of the wrong with uh Ward is a pedo on a sign. <laughs> And he's singing this. Like many other of his channels, is named after who Herc is currently working on to smoke. This time, someone named Dennis Ward, a state attorney from Monroe County, Florida. And he seems to be very theatrically accusing this man of raping a child. She was only 13! 13 years old! <laughs> Which I looked up this name on Google, and it seems he's a state attorney. There's no merit behind this accusation uh, that Herc is relaying, and it is most likely hyperbolic for attention. Anytime Herc is against someone in a position of power, he calls them a baby rape. So if Dennis Ward is watching this, I'm not calling you these things. It's just Herc's way of saying he doesn't like this person. Please don't sue me. While Herc was not trying to bust a state attorney for whatever crime he decided he committed, he was checking out the local Floridian Twinkies. Hi. Good morning. And partying with his friends. Herc continued to post to his Ward's Fed Smoker channel in March. 
This time, he had made his way from Key West to Miami, and he was checking out the ladies. Miami, you're doing pretty good so far, you But in March, it seemed like Herc was going after an officer by the name of Chief Loftus, and he began to make phone calls to try to speak with this officer. Please remain on the line, and your call will be answered in the That's why the sign's going up here in about 20 minutes, Americans. One thing Herc does every time he's in a new city is try to speak with the sheriff or the chief of that city. Who are you calling for, sir? Is there a sheriff? The director of, of the police department, which is Loftus? Yeah, can you say, spell it? L-O-S-T-U-S. Yeah, is he available? Let me to his office, sir. Thank you. What is Herc's reason for speaking to this officer? Well, something happened to him in prison. Most likely from the time spent in prison in 2009. And he needs to get a hold of Loftus because of this. It happened to me in uh, prison. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and uh, talk to him about it, if I may. Yeah, sir. So, you know, I mean, unfortunately, the thing is, you know, we're, this is a very big agency. Uh, we have we have chiefs under him. We have captains. We have majors. You know, that's why it's different. If, 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 if they, okay. First of all, if it has to do with with the uh, with the jail, okay, uh, it's a separate entity. They not they have. Soon, Herc takes to the streets to investigate. We're in hot pursuit! No, please! He took to the streets to protest by holding up a sign accusing Loftus of being a baby ripper. That's what you get for not coming to the phone, bitch. I don't want to talk. I want to talk or you get rocked, bitch. But Herc's habit of getting in trouble for filming gets him in trouble again. I think they... they yeah, he got to point his finger like you're not supposed to do that or something, buddy. A lot of Herc's arrests have to do with him filming in public and causing a scene when asked to stop. My civil rights tells me I can... Ah, uh, this is the way it's written, Randy. When you come out in public, you have no expectation of privacy whatsoever. You can take whatever the f*** you want. We are still in March 2008. Herc uploaded a ton of videos during this month to the Ward's Fed Smoker channel, or that is what I can gather from the archiver on Kiwi Farms. Herc's Fed Smoker movie was finished during this time. Okay, hold up. Side note. Herc made actual, like, printed on DVD films, apparently. I could not find these anywhere. Uh, like, if anyone has had a copy of one, please contact me. I can't even find a mention of them outside of YouTube videos, but in these YouTube videos that Herc is showing his movies, you see landing pages to purchase these DVDs. So there was an option at some point to buy these DVDs online. Back to the story. Anyways, Peterson began advertising for the DVD on the Ward's Fed Smoker channel, but the production of said movie did not stop Herc from his wireman business, and he soon started to target Mayor Alvarez, the mayor of Miami. But what spurred Herc's obsession with Alvarez? Well, something happened in March 2011. This is the entry on the event from Wikipedia. Title, Recall. An yeah, effort to recall Elvirez began in October 2010, backed by billionaire businessman Norman Brahman, a former owner of the Philadelphia Eagles, over Elvira's simultaneous tax increases and pay raises for upper echelon county workers. Brahman spent more than one million of his own money on the effort. Elvira's was recalled in a March 15, 2011 election. He officially left office on March 18, 2011 when the county canvassing board certified the results, and Herc was all into this recall. But Herc was still trying to catch that Officer Loftus fellow while protesting Alvarez. He sure was busy. Loftus, it's time. I got me a piece of ass. I got your sign up today. How's it feel, boy? Damn. Chief Williams, 2011. Herc continued to expand his prison investigation in this March. He began targeting someone named Lieutenant William. He began this detective work by calling the Corrections Department of Key West. We learn about what happened two years ago during Herc's imprisonment. Hey, I wanted to make a complaint about the way you guys were stripping people's clothes off them and uh, making death threats and putting your hands on them two years ago and uh, standing there naked. Yeah, Kia, you make a good point. He does actually bleach blonde his hair and blonde his hair at certain points throughout this. You'll see, like, he does actually, I think that's his association with the uh, the lighter, the whiter, the being more pure and all that. So I, I think that's part of his purity thing that he has going in his head as well. 
but yeah, it's just, uh, he's a very unique person. It also reminds me of, like, the stereotypical, because, like, if you listen to him, he's like, hello, Americans. He has, like, this really weird patriotic. Yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that seven, of, like, the 70s, like, it, if you remember Hulk Hogan. Yep. You know, the the bleach blonde hair, you know, take prayer and vitamins, brother. Yeah. You know, <laughs> all, all, all of, you know, like that sort of like American pride thing. It really reminds me of like the 70s and 80s yep. idealized American. Yeah. Yeah. I, even early 90s. Like, I remember like to feed into what you're saying right now, like the Hogan era of like, take your vitamins, kids, and like stuff like that. Like, I remember that. I remember there being like a little wrestler, like, the Flintstone chewable vitamins and stuff. Like I remember some yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I feel like he bleaches his hair. It's more of that, like sort of like Americana. Yeah, it could be. Oh man. Well, have a good night, Kia. Kids, stand, let me say this. And standing there naked while your women are sitting there laughing and f***ing around. It doesn't seem like Herc ever got to interrogate anyone about this issue. What? I want the person, I want the warden of that shop there. I want to talk to him. And he got hung up on. I think you just abused me on the phone, brother, when you hung up on me three times now, okay? Okay? It feels abusive, okay? And I'm the one abusing people usually because I'm the one who wears the wires, okay? I'm the wire guy. I'm the one investigating people usually with the wires and putting cops in jail, okay? Even a chief of police. So thank you. Did Herc ever get justice for being stripped in prison? Not that I know of. He did post this though. <laughs> She'd been recently quartered in hell. <laughs> the next bits of the Ward's Fed Smoker channel is hard to follow in a timeline sense. The archives are dumped onto the Kiwi farms, but it doesn't always give the full picture. They occur sometime between March and August 2011, and during that space of time, Herc began posting to a new channel. In June, Connell began to post to a new channel called CIA Panetta, Ward's Fed Smoker 2011, February to March. Sometime between February and March, Herc returned to Council Bluffs, Iowa. This marks a break in the Florida Man adventure, and sadly, Iowa Man does not sound as funny. It seemed Herc had a home to stay in while in Iowa, possibly with his family or one of his Twinkie friends. While in Council Bluffs, Herc spoke to a lawyer about his time in jail. But what did we get? Like, uh, I think you might have a balance of 60 or 72 days. That's free. I'd do that anyways. I'd go to jail right now for a place to stay right now. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I don't like jail, but you know what, dude? I had no business being in jail there to begin with. I, I'm going to come back foolishly. How many, how many months do I got to file on that, sir? Herc was determined to get those who put him in jail in big trouble with the state patrol. Herc versus Donnie Lee, 2011. Herc soon began investigating the cops in Council Bluffs. He posted a series of videos of Ray Now, one thing I do want to point out that, like, a lot of people don't understand, Council Bluffs is right across the river from o Ohio. Oh, my God. Omaha. Okay, so right on the other side of the river is Omaha. This place today and living out here, I have heard it referred to as Council Tucky is the name given to it. It's very much a rednecky, uh, met up area. And, uh, yeah, it's just a very, very, uh, unique living circumstance compared to Omaha, just across the river where it's more like, you know, normal daily life, city life, uh, more affluency, et cetera, et cetera random police officers before he finally made his way to the chief, Officer Donnie, and he was ready to stamp that chief. And why? Well, he didn't answer the phone. Hey, Americans, Donnie didn't face me. He didn't answer the phone. So I'll be in front of the courthouse all day tomorrow, too. And now it was time to get Donnie Lee. I've already blazed the two gig chip, Americans. Looking for the chief. We've gone through everybody here except the chief, Donnie Lee. You ever thought about working at McDonald's, boy? I'm not sure who Donnie Lee is. I've looked through Google to check if there's anything on him. There's not. To be honest, it's really not the exposing of the cops that is important. 
It's the journey and the friends we make along the way that is important. During this expose, Herc decided to tell a group of police officers on the street randomly about his epic adventures. This resulted in a wonderful series of videos of Herc interacting with local law enforcement. You guys gonna try to figure out how to violate my civil rights anymore? Huh? Herc would upload these videos to multiple channels, meaning it must be important to him in some way. This interaction is just quintessential Herc. By the way, the interactions that he films here just goes to more the Herc side versus the Sped Smoker. Even interacting with just the police officers, like, he really does actually have, like, kind of a genuinely funny, like, these guys actually found him funny interaction here. Herc, it's all over the place. You know what's kind of funny? What's that? His actual name is Herc, correct? Uh, no, it's Connell Peterson. Okay, so... The Herc is like the character, correct? I'm a nickname at the very least, yes. Okay, well, it kind of reminds me of this character from, um, oh, what's that video game franchise? Um, fuck. I will say that it's kind of funny that it's made he's by only... Ubisoft. It's made by Ubisoft. Um, Damn it, I can't think of it. But there's a character named Herc in it. And he's like a reoccurring character throughout all the different iterations. Far Cry, that's what uh, it was. Far Cry. I was going to say, it's a Far Cry, but I haven't played Far Cry yet. <laughs> well, there's this character named Herc, and he's kind of like an idiot. And okay. I, and for whatever reason, this Fed Smoker guy kind of makes me believe that he had like a hand in inspiring the character could be and very well could be i just i think it's kind of funny because okay to give you a bit of like um central united states lore here um herc so there's herc is also associated with the iowa uh university of iowa uh mascot it's called herc the hawkeye herky the hawkeye so i don't know if maybe that's where he pulled it from because there's the ISU Cyclones, and then there's Herky the Hawkeye. So, like, it could be that, too. I don't know. So, but it, huh. it could be a street name from, like, like Belinda San. Herky the Hawkeye, huh? Yeah. Kids that are over 18, buddy. And I'm looking for a new girlfriend. It's full of Connell bragging about things that don't make sense. That chief can't come out and face me again, ever. I will ruin him. If you tell him he sits at the table again with me, I'll put him in prison, okay? And baby raper threats. You know what? You're going to be labeled as baby rapers, okay? Every one of you is going on as baby rapers. But Herc, despite his animosity <laughs> towards cops, he's oftentimes jovial with them, which is expressed in these clips where he asks them how Looks he's doing. <laughs> no, it's funny. Thanks, guys. Go ahead. It's like, it's like if Slug had no restraints and we gave him a testosterone shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You might be right. <laughs> Blonde his hair, stick him on street life, and let him go on police. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, Slug's trying to be this undercover, or this journalist of sorts. Yeah. yeah. And then here we have her, like, trying to do undercover shit. Yep. <laughs> <and> Exposed. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even think about it that way. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, but just to get slugged to like sound like can we have to give him like shots of testosterone? <laughs> Small, <laughs> microdosing meth and testosterone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did I just blow your mind, Jim? Yeah, no, I can't unsee it. Like now it's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> by the way I want to state I wasn't saying microdose the, the meth just the testosterone <laughs> I'm about yeah, down he I'm just about sounds like a he, he just sounds like a more aggressive version of slug <laughs> he does <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Slug, we found your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> or his crazy oh, uncle. Yeah. <laughs>
my system for a minute. Are you okay, buddy? Good. You did good. Did I do okay with y'all? I hate to be rude to you, man, because I'm not after you guys. I'm after Hall, the Chief, David Smith. And jokes around with them. If I wouldn't be recording people and doing what I am right now, I'd probably be hit, man, okay? Okay, so it's either the camera <laughs> or the other, okay? I'd choose the camera, okay? Because I would have been a great hitman. <laughs> and the cops genuinely find him funny. All I really want to do is come in now with Christmas lights wrapped around my cock, okay? And interrogate the crew, okay? I want to come in there naked as a jaybird with Christmas lights on and smoke them at the table for Christmas, okay? Like many investigations in the story, we never go anywhere and we change course. Mama Fed Smokers investigation. We finally got to one of the main reasons Herc was in Council Bluffs for his. Okay, this part of the story is kind of sad. Before even the death, like there's some elder abuse shit that goes on here. That's kind of like it's just sad. It's genuinely sad when you listen to it. His mother. We will actually get to meet his mother face to face later on. But right now, he was trying to expose the nursing home his mother currently resided in for mistreating her. I'm working on a new investigation, Merlin. No, that's good. Yeah, it's nice to hear your voice, buddy. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm working on motherfuckers in nursing homes mistreating my mother, buddy. Yeah, it, it's like slug. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they threatened to dox my mom and tried to kill her. <laughs> I'm going after them. Hell or high water. <laughs> I wonder if this is like Slug's like stepbrother or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like his crazy uncle. <laughs> She's in Iowa. Herc versus his mother's <laughs> nursing home will be a continuing battle over the years. And soon he began trying to talk to the FBI guy he's mentioned before, Jim Burns. He was calling the FBI because he wanted them to investigate his father for what he was allegedly doing to his mom. I, I, I might have to have my dad audited, okay? Well, that would usually be the IRS who would probably do something like that, not the FBI. In a later call, he talks with a woman on the phone who knows him, named Brenda. He began to tell her how he believes the nursing home is abusing his mother. Uh, hey, 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 I'm investigating my dad now, brother. Okay. What are you doing? That's my favorite one. That's what I'm He's a kid toucher, too. <laughs> 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 hey, you have you checked out this Steve DeLeave character? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this slug would hold up a sign with Steve's address on it and call him a child rapist. <laughs> yep. A kitty fucker. He's a kitty fucker, I tell you. <laughs> oh my god, I can't unsee any of this. <laughs> I do, Brenda. There are videos later on in the timeline of recordings between him and his father about his mother. I believe his mother has a similar way of processing the world as Herc does. Council Bluffs wait, wait, 2011. Hold up, hold up. What do we call slug now? Slug smoker? <laughs> or fed slugger? <laughs> <laughs> I like slug smoker. I think that fits. I think that fits well. <laughs> because he'll never figure it out if he doesn't watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not only that, he's now going to go an hour and 20 minutes deep in order to even find this. <laughs> <laughs> CIA Panetta yeah, 2011. Just, I don't Herc? know why he just popped into my fucking head when I was like listening more to this guy. It's just like this is a fucking hairier version of Slug. <laughs> the hairy blonde <laughs> uncle, as you would say. <laughs> oh man. Started another channel, CIA Panetta, on June 3rd, 2011. This channel's namesake was some guy named Leon Panetta, who was a CIA director. There's no public knowledge of him having any connection to Herc. That could be possible due to Herc being an undercover double CIA agent. Those records would be classified or don't exist. Your call. 
He was in Council Bluffs during the time of this and began uploading videos immediately. He had a series of videos against a police officer he called K-Dog. According to Herc, K-Dog had threatened him in an encounter. I was going to let you hear yourself say that you, uh, I was going to let you hear yourself say that you could jam me up anytime you want. My hair? Yeah. All right. This encounter is nowhere online to view, probably due to Herc not filming it, and possibly because it never happened. Cunold has this thing where he's on record at all times, but there's never any post of actually bad stuff that cops allegedly get into. It might be that these things never happened, or it could be that cops are conspiring against him and deleting the files. Key West, 2011. Three deleted files. On June 15th, Herc began uploading videos where he is in Key West, Florida. These videos detail an investigation of Herc, trying to find specifically three files. The reason I can tell these videos take place in Key West is because he is targeting Dennis Ward and questioning him about deleted files. Dennis Ward is the state attorney of Key West at this time. Herc would proceed to upload a ton of short, random videos on June 15th. One of them had a woman named Cassandra. Remember her. At some point, Herc makes his way back to Daytona Beach to continue his investigation. Daytona, 2011. It's June 2011 still, and Herc is on a mission in Daytona Beach. He starts the series telling his followers that he is going to the courthouse because his things were taken from him, again, by the cops. He's still posting these to the CIA Panetta channel. This leads a security guard to find Herc suspicious, and he runs Connell's name. Herc starts to get accusatory. This is what happens, Americans, when I come. When I come to the courthouse, I always get my name run, Americans. Do you? I wonder why are you running my name anyways, Jim? Can you tell me? What's that, sir? Jim Allen, can you tell me why you're running my name? Do I look well, suspicious? That, no, not at all. It's just, Fine. you know, you want to film the courtrooms and the, I mean, the, the um, film the film, like do my documentary. So that's that's I gives just, you. I just want to make sure this building. Why is everybody so nervous to be filmed? This interaction resulted in the security guard asking Herc if he's on meds, which upsets Herc. Yeah. Are you supposed to be on any medication or anything or like that? No. Why? Yeah. I was just curious. Do you think I should have some medication? I don't know. <laughs> What's a marijuana or something? No, 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 no. Is that what you want to give me? Oh, okay. What kind of medication would you oh, like to give him, Jim? Whether you're under a doctor's care. Because I'm. Because like I got a camera. No. Prison and Herc. Justice was far away from Herc, and he never really got it. He was assaulted in prison, and cops took his equipment. He eventually used his talents as a musician to address this experience in prison. Please be prepared for this. This is something you will not easily forget. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so great. I have, I have a feeling there's going to be a slugism here. Oh, I'm sure. With one of the most viewed videos from Herc, titled MTV's Greatest Hit, Locked Up in the Nut House, Going Crazy, posted June 16th, 2011. So scared that the doctor say, Mara! Puke killer. Her. <laughs> you know what that reminded me of? <laughs> what? If you took Nine Inch Nails and just ripped out all of Trent Reznor's talent. <laughs> That's a low blow. <laughs> would start another channel titled Puke Killer on June 17th. On this channel, he began to continue to upload footage from the Daytona Beach Courthouse. He added in more details. There's footage of him questioning the security guard about where he can film and get specifications. He also spoke on how he wants to press charges. It is revealed through these series of videos what had happened with Herc. Her you know, there's a lot of funny parallels that I also have with this guy. I also lived out, uh, well, not lived out. I lived in, or visited my aunt out in Laguna Niguel several times around the time that he would have been out in Laguna Beach, right? And now here he is in Daytona around the time that I would have been living down in Daytona Beach, Florida. I don't know how I never crossed paths with this man in my life. And I have... I'm 
<laughs> opportunities beyond most people to cross paths with him because now I live in Iowa and he came out here. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this: I've never seen you and Bed Smoker in the same room. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's Pat Smoker to you. Oh man. Kirk's equipment might have been taken, and it was because he was filming something the cops think he shouldn't without consent. Kirk was at this courthouse to establish what he was illegally allowed to do. After he got permission from the security guard to film outside the courthouse, but not inside the courthouse, he goes to ask if he can get consent to film. He does not. After this, Kirk is seen outside asking cops for more information. Hey, I was checking about my recorders. Am I supposed to wait to go to court even though the district attorney said there's nothing there? Or what do I do? One characteristic of Herx is that he believes if you ask questions such as what or if you say ah or hmm, that you are planning to lie to him. After a conversation not going the way Herc wanted, he decided that man was a pedophile. Herc posted more videos <laughs> him trying to get information <laughs> on stolen That's long to a T. If it doesn't go his way, you're a pedophile. I love how he's basically like commentary, like just yeah. on his face is pedophile. Like, yeah, he really is. I mean, he would have done so well now. Equipment. He would have. After... Oh this, the God, big... I can... can you imagine Fed Smoker going this? after Mama Max? Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, like, you Miami like playing Hotline Miami? Miami? <laughs> well, I lived in Miami. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or better yet, Fed Smoker going after Lyle Convoy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> I could I could just see him turning into the fucking Lion or not the Lion King, but the Lion you know, Smoker. Lion Smoker. The Lion King. I want him to be the Lion King. I want him to be the Lion King. No Tiger King. You oh know? god. Oh. <laughs> Lyle Convoy, they call me Tiger King. <laughs> oh I'm gonna be your Carol Baskins. <laughs> oh man. Maybe rubber stamps sure were flying. After posting a series of videos on June 18th that were all pretty random. Herc went on to post a bunch of videos of him being really annoying to citizens and police officers on June 19th. What you want to talk about? What you want to talk about, n***a? Okay. Would you just call me? I mean, he's truly a character. <laughs> <laughs> he's like only used me, Blade, but he says it instead of only happily. He just says it only angrily. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> God, this fucking guy is so amazing. Investigation. Go after your mothers and see if they want to have sex and see if they'd like to be my girlfriend. <laughs> Screw your kids if they want to and they get of age. The videos uploaded in this particular month. Well, there's a ton. And a lot of it is some of the funniest moments from Herc, like the time he called the wrong number to talk to the FBI. Did you answer the phone, woman? Oh, this is the FBI. No, this and is then when the woman told him he had the wrong number, he was actually calling a mortuary. Herc decided that the FBI was now threatening to murder him. Oh, you rotten slut. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> more poor old woman. More slug logic. <laughs> Mortuary? Murder! <laughs> Did you just threaten you were the mortician when I called the FBI, you rotten pig? You don't tell me you're a f***ing mortician, <laughs> slut. You don't kill nobody in America. <laughs> you got that, FBI? You ain't no f***ing killer. You got it, bitch. You work for the government, you f***ing cunt. You ain't no f***ing mortician, bitch. You got that? Ward's oh fed smoker. God. August rolled around and Herc posted this more videos to his ward. <laughs> this grandma is just getting berated by this insane man. I was waiting for him to change it up be like, oh, you cut kids open, do ya? <laughs> Let me talk to you about my friend By Brian Mullins. <laughs> oh my god. Let me show you a Christmas roast. <laughs> I bet you're selling her meat up there to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
this Prince guy. Gunsmoke. Don't you just love him? <laughs> <laughs> her channel. The first he just reminds me of Slug so much. Herc calling places and being Herc. There's a lot of calls to the FBI on this channel, but amongst these uploads included a video where we see his mother for the first time. The video entitled Sam 2320 has Herc sitting with his mother in her nursing home. He gently asks his mother if she still wants to divorce her husband, Leo Barres. She does. Is you really want to follow through with this? Yes. No matter what. They all did to me. I disown them. Herc apologizes for her situation and reassures her that he will be in contact with an attorney. Okay, Mama. Okay. I'm going to uh, call an attorney today, and we've got the FBI called and everyone else. And all right. Did you like talking to the FBI? Yeah. After this peek into what Herc had been talking about all this time on the phone to the state patrol, we meet a dog. This That's dog will later be one thing. of Connell's many traveling companions. Meet Smoke. What was that? Like a rabbit. Do you like talking to the FBI? Yes, son. It was my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking no. to the FBI. Thank you, my son. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Oh, man. You're a rabbit. Herc News. On August 12th, 2011, Herc posted this video. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers! He was ready. And his first target after this <laughs> problem. Post <laughs> that, I have no idea why the police have a problem with him. Like, I, I don't see it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> By like, the what way, the fuck? <laughs> I know what he's listening to there, and it's Slipknot, <laughs> and it's fucking okay. great. Because <laughs> it's um. Oh god, it's pick up the bass, and I know that fucking drum solo. Like, actually, <laughs> proclamation was Leo Perez. On August 22nd, he posted the same video talking to his mom that he posted previously, this time with the description. Leo Burez, mom's always got what she's wanted. You tried to ruin her. <clears throat> to the world, this lady used to save people she never even knew. I witnessed her saving people when she never even knew I was watching. Once even a man with a family was a drunk. She bought him a house, just a fiend of the family. He paid her off in full and the man never drank again. I had the best teacher in the world one time. A lady was going to bounce a check on a place of work. The place wouldn't take the check. The lady was knowingly going to bounce the check. My mother offered to cover it herself. The lady was so floored, she walked out stunned. She'll now get stronger every day. And when it's done, the will go on the other foot now, won't it? She disowns your stupid ass. I've been on record for 11 years straight. These are her words. You can check all my records. Oh, and Leo. She told me about the $200 you stole from her too, you snake. Strong arming my mother. It won't be long now. Me and mom will spit on your grave together. She'll outlive you, punk. This divorce will happen if mom wants it. You made her choose for the last time, punk. I hope your gold digging daughters understand mom's words, she said. They might have stolen all what I had, but they will never have me again. I hope they had their fun, she said. Even the FBI could tell she was of sound mind. Everyone has, even Steve. The big boys will be watching this unfold, Leo Burris. I hope you talk straight in court, because I'll be asking you questions. We already recorded your threats. You're cooked on record, and so is your stupid daughter. Mom said her face made her ill. It is an ugly face. She looks like she's on the meth. Good old Lori Burris, your real name's coming, sis. On August 23rd, he posted a video calling the Omaha Can FBI I just, I to speak can... with... Huh? Can I just mention how I just love how he just casually doxes his stepdad? Yeah. <laughs> like, he just drops it, like, like casually doxes his stepdad. I just like, like... up to, like, a different time. Like, he's just... it. It's... A, it's his mindset. It, like, he... Fed smoker, okay, slug. Like <laughs> you mean slug? Slug smoker. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just a matter of like, I just I think it's that vitriol. <laughs> yeah, I can. It's just it just makes me fucking laugh, right? Like because it's like 
just the casualness of just dropping his full name to the internet. Well, like, given the advanced age of his mother, like, this is probably an older gentleman at the very least. Like, they're probably all dead by now. Yeah. <laughs> like, but we know, yeah, some of them are. Yeah. <laughs> with Jim Burns. He finally does in this video, and Jim jokes with Herc because they know each other. Um, the wire man. Anyway, uh, Jim, this is Carl Peterson. Got it, You knew that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> he tells Jim about what happened to his mother and expands on the issue. So my mother had a stroke. Sorry to hear that. And, yeah, she's doing fine now. She's in a rest home and, uh, I over here and I've come back to hang out with her and she's been asking my dad for a divorce and he's twisted the paperwork on her to where she can't even get an attorney or anything and she's mentally competent Jim and he's basically kidnapped her and she's she's uh she's talking kidnapping and that's what you guys handle. Jim didn't have much help to offer but Herc does get his mother to speak to Jim to prove she is competent. I mean I've got $60,000 I can't even get a hold of because he's got the strong boxes. But I don't care about any of that. I just want my things. But he put a hold on everything that I can't touch. Herc jumps in to tell Jim that Leo won't even let his mother go to the park. Jim begins to give the best advice he can, to go to an organization for elderly rights. But Peterson cuts in to expand upon the animosity between him and his father. Uh, Jim, I was wanted to say that he's threatened that I'll never see my mother again just for asking him about this. He, and he's also threatened to have me killed by my own brothers on record. He's also threatened to shoot me himself because he's old already. On the same day as this, Herc posted a video titled, Tenny Cordless Tattoo Machine and Leo Barrett's Lying Out His Ass. The video is a recording <laughs> of the tattoo machine Herc allegedly invented, but on top of the video, Herc plays audio. The audio is very messy, so most of it is hard to interpret, but what it consists of is an argument between Leo, Mama Fed Smoker, and Conald. The mother seems to be demanding for a divorce. Uh, she said she wants a divorce from you. Do you understand me? Yeah, you're divorced because you're not in right mind. Did you say you want a divorce, mom? Yes, I want a divorce. Now, then you, you, me, and a psychiatrist need to sit down. By the way, can I say that these are prison tattoo machines right here? Like, if I've ever seen one. That's a fucking, yeah. uh, that's a pen an electric razor, and probably, like, a valve stem cover cap. And then I'm guessing a piece of dice that he's drilled a hole in, same razor, and an X-Acto knife. And he's just run a wire through it. And so instead of it going back and forth to cut hairs on a face, it's now running a needle up and down. You know what I really want to see now, and I am sad we'll never see it? What's that? A crossover... Between him and an actual baby raper. <laughs> you imagine the tattoo wars between Fed Smoker and Romeo Lacoste? Oh my god. Can you just imagine that? <laughs> oh my god. Fed Smoker talks about Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> god, yes. It's allegedly. It's allegedly, okay? Leo says that Mama Fed Smoker wants a divorce because Herc is pushing it. That's because you keep a pushing it. See, that's because you keep pushing it. I don't push nothing. Oh, yes, you do. Herc asks if he's on the will. Leo says it's none of his business. The call ends, Herc calls back, and asks about weapon preference for a physical altercation between the two. This continues on to another video upload. In the call in this video, Herc's mom and her husband begin a yelling match about the will. Five minutes in, Leo talks of why he got the power of attorney to put Mama Fed Smoker in a home. How to get me moved up there and sign all the papers? Everything I thought was going to be because I had to get fired because of the attorney so I could put you in a fucking home. Don't be sick, 
and Herc begins yelling over the recording that this is a lie. You what? Then Connell begins to scream about the wireless <laughs> tattoo machines and how he is selling them for three hundred dollars. That's a fucking lie, Leo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Same vibes. Same vibes. <laughs> it's just like slug. Yeah, it really is. Oh my god. Meanwhile, we just need on to get some testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> the recording. Herc is accusing Leo of banging his friend, and Mama Fed Smoker demands he take a polygraph. Yeah, you need a polygraph. On August 26th, Herc posted about his Tenny cordless machine again, trying to sell it, but also talks about his upcoming movie, Fed Smoker Rules. Oh, and by the way, if you want to order my movie, Fed Smoker Rules, you know what to do. A mix of channels. 2011. August 27th, we officially get to meet Herc's dog, Smoke, from a video on the Puke Killer channel. Herc writes in the description of the Smoke video. Smoke don't. Even the dog video is like, and now that I'm realizing, white it, boy. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a literal white boy. <laughs> know it yet but his dog collar is going to have a wire in it his adventures are unknown right now i believe he'll be able to handle I can the see job Slug doing that. in the next dirty pig <laughs> just that lands on being dirty GoPro to white boy <laughs> i'm surprised he hasn't done it yet a collar mount <laughs> not only is my car and bike <laughs> wired for can. sound but my new dog smoke's going to be wired too so say hello to smoke america and god bless we got a series of videos of Smoke being adorable after this. On August 30th, we get another video from Herc titled, Smoke, Herc's new best friend, a gift from a stranger, even though I wanted to buy him. I believe he may be in Colorado for these videos. On August 31st, Herc had another disruption in his investigations. Previous to this event, he was investigating some dudes in Illinois. On the 31st, Herc got a phone card at Walmart, and according to him, this was some kind of setup. Sir, I, I've never had a problem with this card or this phone. I think you're, the, the angle that you're, you're hitting along is if you're telling them that you think it's some sort of great conspiracy, then oh. I think you're completely off base and well, I want to help you out. Well, he would post a few videos to his Demi Herc and Jeff Sad channels of him calling authorities about this setup to ruin his investigation. Phone card's not turning on. He thought authorities were spying on him via his Net 10 phone card. This investigation rolled over into September. On September 3rd, Mr. Peterson posted a video titled, You holy ha! So this is your Jesus after you humanoids run a fawn over punks. The video is him illuminating a dead deer while singing a tune. This video has a very long rant for the description about God, the dead deer, Jesus, the Bible, white people, and such. I can't quite make sense of it. After a few more uploads at the beginning of September, <laughs> Herc disappeared white until June 2012. <laughs> he could have been in jail again, but I could not find any record. Involving Jesus and God. <laughs> I told you, this shit is so fucking amazing. He also had a channel in between September and May 2012 called Herc Hulks. But the time period that this channel covers is unknown, as it only remains as a footnote on a Kiwi Farms post. 2012. Fed Smoker Herc. So Herc made a reappearance June 2012. It was to a channel entitled Fed Smoker Herc. The channel is no longer available, but Alessi Warrior writes to Kiwi Farms about this channel. Herc had another channel called Fed Smoker Herc. There were only four videos, and they are all from June 2012. These were just very normal Does this normal guy, like, videos. just keep Un deleting his fucking channels, or do they keep getting taken down? Well, his whole his whole premise is that he thinks of channels as web pages. So he thinks, like, each channel that he makes is, like, a website for that. And so when he strays away from that topic, I feel he thinks there's an obligation to create a new channel. Yeah, he treats each channel as like a story. So like this one channel will, would be like about him going after this police chief. This channel <laughs> is about him going after CNN or playing like, Panetta. <laughs> yeah, FBI agent Panetta. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's it's they're all like singular <laughs> topics. They're not like the actual. They're not getting taken down. It's just the fact that like he's just 
I think he's only had it. like one or two channels ever taken down. And there's also, I mentioned at the beginning of everything, there's the distinct possibility that there's more out there between like BitChute, DLive, YouTube, and all that. Like he could potentially have more. Yeah. Well, we're not even to that point yet in the timeline. <laughs> That's like six years away. Oh, yeah. Well, he keeps going. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he doesn't stop. June 8th, 2012, Herc started the channel Herkster Herkster. It seems he was in Sioux City, Iowa. Herkster Herkster. The theme of the Herkster Herkster channel seemed to be Herc investigating Sioux City, Iowa. The investigation into the town in Iowa started out strong, and immediately upon entering the town, Connell sensed trouble. <laughs> There's problems in the neighborhood, Americans, already. Starting up this little guy right here. Get up, buddy. You're gonna live another day. Take off. Okay, thank God. Then he posted a video visiting I was the starting new to state. Think. I was starting to think that he was going to accuse the town of using DDT. <laughs> we don't know that yet. <laughs> because That's why else would he be filming a fucking beetle on its back? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's having neurological problems. They're using DDT. That's against the law. I'm the Herc. <laughs> station in town. He's immediately greeted with animosity. The people at the station are on edge as the dirty homeless man comes into the building. You, could you please stop? Oh, I'm just, I'm just trying to capture the news. This really isn't newsworthy. Is this ABC News? Nine? This is okay. Herc isn't agreeable either at first, but the woman takes his name and number and he softens. Yes, would you leave your name and number? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, what's your name? I'm Marianne Johnson. He also posted a video of him driving. He seems sad. It's showtime now, motherfuckers! I may never see my mother again after I got out of this dirty state. He continued to post videos, lamenting about leaving his mother, and he eventually makes it to South Dakota, Crow Nation. On June 12th, he made a new channel called Crow Nation, where he is investigating little towns in South Dakota. He continued to post videos there about missing his mother as he continued his adventure. I don't believe he took the dog Smoke with him. Now, you may wonder why Herc left his mom in Iowa and never gets to see her again. Well, he was wanted in Iowa again. We learn of this in a video posted June 12th called Sheriff Bill Brophy is a baby rapper of Columbus, Montana. <laughs> Herc claimed the whole town had attacked God him and that he was being falsely <laughs> charged. Listen, listen. <laughs> The he really was slug commentary isms. before commentary. <laughs> the fucking slugisms. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! There's so much more. It gets it gets even better. But like that's why I love Cecil's coverage on this. Is it's it's an actual linear timeline to a non-linear sense of mind. Like it's just amazing. Listen, little lady, I I'm. I'm to go to court in Red Oak on an assault charge. The whole city come and tried to attack me. And one of them got their little wee wee half tore off. Uh, and it seemed Herc had left South Dakota and he continued his journey into Montana. Also at some point, he painted cool flames onto his new car, Fed Smoker Jr. This will be the first of many of Herc's beautiful car paintings. And with the car came new paranoia. Connell began to get suspicious of cops who came near his new car. The paranoia will persist over the years to the point it becomes worrying. Chamley Steve. Herc disappeared again and reappeared on August 11th 2012 with a new channel called Chamley Steve. He uploaded all the videos on this channel on the same day of creation. The videos were all additional videos about his time in Iowa with Mama Fed Smoker. The reason the channel was called Chamley Steve was after Steve Chamley, the owner of the retirement home his mom was staying at, Richard Clark. Wait a minute. On August you got 23rd, a Ford Interceptor. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's his preferred chariot of choice. <laughs> I can see why. I mean, the cops used them for years, and they're practically indestructible. Yeah, yeah. As, as far as the frame is concerned. Yeah, and it, it and is the motor. his thought process too is that he's going to use the cops' equipment against them for good. In oh his God! Mind. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You know, I, it's, it's amazing. You know, it's if he's still amazing. around. You know, him and Slug could team up and they could be like the fucking homeless blues brothers of sorts. Because <laughs> remember in the movie, 
they got themselves a Dodge uh, sedan. It's an old police car. Yep. With the <laughs> with the cop pack on it. Uh, yep. <laughs> got tires, got brakes, got suspension, got motor. Yeah. <laughs> cop radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they could be. <laughs> Herc started a new channel called Richard Clark. He seemed to be investigating a new man named Richard Clark. On the same day he started the channel, Herc uploaded a video titled, Fed Smoker, Richard Clark. You can thank your stupid chief of police in Ockinal for stalking me. Where he walks around Iowa. I am unsure if he returned to Iowa or this is an upload of a previous investigation and goes up to some random cops and accuses them of swarming his vehicle. The description of the video read, Take a look at the face of a stalker. Just when you cops think you're going to play with me, you find yourself not only on the net as baby ra- but you find yourself in a movie, my <laughs> movie, Fed Smoker. We can go further always to all and You not only find yourselves on the, the net as baby rapists, <laughs> <laughs> but as serial stalkers. Wait for Slug Report 10. <laughs> can you imagine just being a cop and waking up and just being like, hey, uh, Dad, what? This random blonde man on the internet calling you a baby raper <laughs> what <laughs> like you have to like get it from your kid that this random dude is calling you a baby raper well especially like, like, like small towns like red oak okay red oak is not a big city by any means okay like i think the population of the whole town is like 1500 and like that's the people <laughs> there's people in towns like that that he's accusing shit of like it's just fucking astounding the country. Baby rapers. <laughs> if I even see you look at my car wrong, you'll find your mayor on the net, your sheriff, your chief of police, and more exposed for whatever I see fit. I'm heading your way to all of you. Keep it up. I'll take your wife's love from you, and she'll give it to me. I'm Fed Smoker, the one God loves and tells me everything. You pukes are in my movie. No, on to the next puke city. Ta-ta. On October 7th, something interesting happened. The YouTuber A Slice of Pie called up Herc and conducted an interview over the phone and posted it to YouTube. We got to learn more about the online celebrity with this impromptu interview. Yeah, based on your videos. Your videos lead me to believe that, uh... That, uh, you... Cause you take sleep in your car, but a lot of your videos kind of show you in different rooms, like like hotel rooms or apartments or something. And I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, well, I usually run into a lot of hot babes on the road here doing what I do. The kid caught Connell on a good day. What do you think is your favorite city that you visited so far? Uh, I like uh, I like Florida and I like California. Uh, I'm like uh. LA, I like Miami. I like Boulder, Colorado. The most important part of this interview is when Connell defined what a baby raper <laughs> is. Now, uh, is baby la- is baby raper a legitimate term? Like, are they legitimately baby rapers, or is it just like a term? Well, yeah, a lot of times uh, it is just a slander deal. But uh, here's ways to find out in my work that 50% of the ones that label baby rapers our baby rapers on top of the baby rapers <laughs> already exposed, so... I don't think Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like slug. All baby the 50% rapers. of them the are baby of rapers. Them. <laughs> now that you pointed it out, I have a whole new purpose to watch this, and I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Just spot the slugisms. It's like Punch Buggy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually heard of anyone who's a legitimate baby raper. It was an overall really lucid, nice conversation. November Fed Smoker. <laughs> Herc started a new channel in November 2012 called Fed Smoke. These videos apparently take place in Red Oak, Iowa. These were just an assortment of adventure. It was a small channel. November Fed Smoker Gear. On November 25th, he started another channel. This one is called Fed Smoker Gear. This channel seems to highlight another investigation as the story of this channel starts with a new city. For me, Americans, to go in and ruin these f***s. I'm a celebrity. God treats me as a celebrity. We're gonna go charge this camera up in the courthouse while we look for that guy's name. 
Then we're going to find the library and load the sheriff, the chief, and mayor of the city on the net as baby rapers, Americans. Okay? It is unknown what God city he is it. in at first. He immediately went to the sheriff's department upon arriving in this town, a common step in all of Herc's investigations. And also he began to have suspicions and accusations about the local law enforcement. It was pig hunting season again. Americans, it's time. <laughs> to go on another dirty pink trash and so aggressive here. Apparently some cops did something at a Walmart. The channel kind of feels like a wrestling promo for whatever town he's investigating here. He also revealed a preview for his upcoming movie, Fed Smoker Bitches. Fed Smoker. On December 5th. By the way, I can't even distinguish what town it is because so many towns in Iowa have the exact same fucking layout with the town hall in the center square, like, and the shops around it and everything, and it all looked the fucking same, so I couldn't even tell you what it is. If there was Basically, another what you're saying is they're all asset flips. Yes. <laughs> Channel. This one called Fed Z Smoker. The first collection of videos consisted of Herc in weird classes and playing music, and he was ready. That's good, Americans! That's fucking good! Isn't that good? Crucify my ass! I'll come back from the grave and kill y'all! We find out he's in Brownsville, God's Oregon. Plan. The town that- <laughs> God's plan. <laughs> Oh the movie God. Stand By Me was filmed. This is great. Stand. Won't you stand by me? Oh, stand by me. Oh, oh stand. Stand by me. The town seemed very quaint. It's oh. Christmas time, and Herc <laughs> came to disturb that festive time. All you dumb cunts out there ram yourselves with dildos and fantasize about sucking my cock and having me f*** you up the ass and <laughs> slam your face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he went from singing Stand By Me to like, you fantasize about me sexually, don't you? <laughs> ...into a cupboard while I'm f***ing you like a maniac. He began to start investigating and was accusing cops of heinous stuff involving his car. And town folk were already calling complaints on his presence. This gets so good, by the way. He fought for my freedom to do what me and my car fed smoker do. And that's trash dirty fucking pigs. Anybody looking at this car, there's already some people going on the net as baby rippers for looking at my car. Just look at it. <laughs> Wrong. You don't want on the net as a baby girl, too. 2013. Okay, okay, hold up. So, <laughs> not only is it people who just give him a hard time, he calls baby rapers, but looking at his car, too. Yep. <laughs> he's just like Slug. <laughs> really Slug is. has multiple. <laughs> Slug has like multiple fucking reasons to call someone a baby raper. Oh my god. Wait till we get into the voice reading of the Facebook groups and shit. You're gonna love it. Oh my it. god. And oh Herc god. remained in Brownsville into the next year, 2013, and the people of Brownsville were beginning to get upset. The Brownsville, Oregon Chamber of Commerce posted to their official Facebook page on their new visitor on January 7th, 2013, writing, There seems to be a stranger going around Brownsville videotaping people then posting it on YouTube. It sounds like the sheriff's office knows about him, but he hasn't done anything against the law. He has some videos on YouTube under the name Fed Smoker. It is very unnerving to watch, so please be warned. If you see him bothering anyone, call 911. And all the comments were warning people to stay away from him. People also started to watch his videos. A few townspeople writing their shock in the replies. One person writes, Wow. I just watched some of the videos and I am thoroughly creeped out. Angie, I haven't seen him at the restaurant yet, but I feel like we should let everyone know. Scary. Another person writes, Sounds like a creep that was in Sweet Home for a while. It's gotta be the same guy. Crappy Crown Vic, and he has a camera positioned on his dash. Freak. He pointed his camera at me and Cody driving through town. Brownsville, Oregon, Chamber of Commerce, replies to their <laughs> post with an update. I went to Brownsville City Hall today. There has not been a sighting of him for over two to three weeks. 
I also contacted the Sweet Home Police Department, and they also believe he has left our area and may be headed to Florida. It sounds like the law is watching him, and until he breaks the law, they can't do anything because we never know what someone's motive is or what their background is. If you have an encounter with an oddball like this or even witness one, call 911. We never know if there is an ongoing investigation and they need one more piece of evidence to get them off the streets. Well done, team. Eventually, there was a final update for the town. They announced he had left and was spotted last in Milan, Missouri. Sad news struck Fed Smoker Nation. On January 14th, 2013, Mama Fed Smoker died. She passed before her son, Connell, could save her from the nursing home. Her obituary read, Marion L. Penny Perez, age 70, of Omaha, formerly of Hastings, Nebraska, passed away January 14, 2013, at North Crest Care Center in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Penny was born November 21, 1942, in Hastings, Nebraska, to Marion E. and Myrner Maxine Wymore Rentschler. She graduated high school and married Leo Perez Jr. on October 2, 1959, in York, Nebraska. Penny was a Kino operator for Hastings Kino. No service will be held. Herc will be silent after this, not reappearing until May of that year. It is unknown if Herc was informed of the news. During his absence, there were some fan parodies of Herc created by the YouTuber 1994 Charlie G. He seemed to have some kind of fandom, albeit small, and maybe not fans for the right reasons. I just want to say, this place right here, <laughs> bunch of. Now you can you imagine a fucking. Slug <laughs> fan doing similar shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Fed Smoker Herc. Herc reappeared with a new channel called Fed Smoker Herc, May 12, 2013. He seemed to reappear in the Yellowstone, Oregon area, and he seems to have completely decked out his car. And cops had already taken notice as soon as he came into town. This guy is. Griffith. He's been stalking me since I got to town. He uploaded a bunch of videos of him on the road and being pulled over constantly. This was most likely due to the ridiculous look of Fed Smoker Jr., the car. He posted a few more videos before leaving Oregon, consisting of him sending out his baby raper stamps to various dirty cops and dirty towns. But something interesting happened in June. On June 6th, there was an interesting thread posted to svtperformance.com, a website based on discussing vehicles. The post was titled, Anyone... So there's the car community has <laughs> actually taken note of him. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> ever heard of Connell Peterson, aka Fed Smoker. This was the first time outside of a small town Facebook that Herc was being discussed, and it gave a look into what Herc seems like in the wild from a regular person's point of view. This person wrote, grab your popcorn, here we go. I was going to post it up last night, but I decided to see if anyone else had a story on him. So yesterday I was helping a customer at my dealership, and when we pulled back into the parking lot, there was this old Crown Vic that was spray painted red, green, blue, etc, 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 sitting by the front doors. Well, it's smoking pretty heavily, and it didn't help that he would sporadically rev the engine. Well, I'm intrigued to say the least, but I didn't want to leave my customer. When I walked into the dealership, I told one of the salesmen that was just standing there to go outside and see if the guy needed any help and to send him on his way. He told me that he had been sitting out there for five, ten minutes talking to himself and laughing. Well, at that moment, I was very interested to find out what was going on. So I politely asked my customer if they minded if I went out and talked to the guy for a minute. They didn't care because they were curious as well. I get out there and the guy gets out of his car and starts talking to me. I'm looking for a newer car. I need something fast. I love conversations that start out like this. So I started asking him questions about what he was looking for, and it turned into him telling me about his POS. Anyways, I had to ask. His After POS. You see the pictures, you'll understand. His... <laughs> the Fed Smoker Mobile is POS. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what he does for a living, he told me to guess. And the first thing that came to my mind was that he is a bounty hunter. He told me he wasn't, but it was close and to guess again. So I started examining his car a little closer. It had things like... <laughs> Sheriff Blank is a baby rapper. Deputy Blank is an arsonist. <laughs> and... Dirty pig tour. Painted on it. And his license... Steve DeLeave is a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kill me. I see this happening with Slug, but with a Prius. 
Like I just... <laughs> for the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> Prius is pedomobile. <laughs> Slugs Prius had a chariot, yes. <laughs> Since plate was registered in Oregon, so I asked him if he traveled the country exploiting dirty cops. He said yes. Then that's where it got interesting. He told me he made videos and to look him up online. I didn't pay much attention because I just wanted him out of there. He explained to me how he has locked up a bunch of cops and that he has friends on the inside that whack them. So I'm thinking this guy is a complete nut job and needs help. I am trying to think of something to get him to leave, but he legitimately wants to buy a car and is not going to willingly leave. We talk some more and he starts pointing out all the policeman names painted on his car and tells me stories about each one of them and how he busted them. I'm still thinking this guy is full of BS. Well he comes into the showroom and I immediately tell him that I am with customers and that this other salesman, he was still standing there, would answer whatever questions he had. While they were talking, I went in and called the local police. They immediately knew who I was talking about and described him to a T. He had been camping out in the parking lot across the street for about a week and harassing the officers. They told me that he was dangerous and to stay away from him. I went back on the showroom, made sure all of our other customers were taken into offices or directed towards the service bay, clearing the showroom. Connell was talking on the phone while video recording himself to a buddy about getting a car. Well, the buddy told him to get a Dodge Charger because it has four doors, it's fast, and you can wire stuff throughout it. Connell asked if we had any. I told him no. He asked if there was a Dodge dealership around and I said yes about a half mile down the road. He thanked me and walked to his car, revved the engine numerous times, honked the horn, and did a parade wave like he was JFK while he drove off. The police pulled in the other entrance when he was leaving and soon was off after him. He has 10 plus YouTube accounts because they will randomly get shut down. Below are the pictures of his car I took and a few of the interesting videos I found. Yes, he talks like this all the time. It is not an act. And yes, I think he needs medical care. And then posted a few photos of Connell's car, Mayor Hanavan and Fed Smoker. On August 13th, Herc made a new channel called Mayor Hanavan named after the mayor of Council Bluffs. On August 14th, he started the channel Fed Smoker. On the same day as starting this channel, he uploaded a video to it where he is in his car. In the video, he tells the stupid Americans watching that he is in a better mood today because he is with his mom. He then reveals his mom, a plastic toy skeleton. Oh, you stupid. I just, now that I, you just pointed out the slugisms and like, I can't stop. Like, this could <laughs> potentially be one. Stupid fuck yeah. Americans out there. I, I could see him doing this kind of doing shit as a joke. A lot better but mood day. The slug. Trashing dirty pigs. It's kind of hard to tell. Because I got my mother riding with me today. I'm. <laughs> I got my mother riding with me today. Yeah, I just I, I don't know if he would. I could see him doing it as a joke, like you say. I just uh, it's such a slugism now in my mind. I'm, uh... Except with the dog, with a white boy fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so white boy was a Siberian husky. She's feeling like the idea he that posted. he went through a spirit Halloween and was like, Mother, <laughs> yeah. and just ran up and bought it. <laughs> I'd like to buy my mom here and this lovely scarf. <laughs> like how. It's like, you stole my mom's corpse, you baby raper, and he just yeah. tried to walk out with it. Yeah, and if they didn't like, play along, you have to pay for that. God damn it. <laughs> you have to pay for that? You don't have to rape babies. <laughs> A series of videos to each of his new channels, Mayor Hanavan and Fed Smoker. It has Herc and Steve Justa stranded in the city and waiting for a tow truck. Herc, at some point, begins to claim that the cops are trying to set him up with this event. The claims he makes involving this setup are some of the most ridiculous he's done. Just waiting for a tow, Steve. You're the officer of rock, iron, steel, a man of honesty. You ever seen so many kids try to come up underage and f me in your life? Bringing condoms and all kinds of sh while I'm waiting for a tow? You look kind of suspicious to me. It looks pretty crazy, don't it? <laughs> Little kids are approaching me, brother, wanting to give me rubbers over there and wanting to act sexy and shit. Little kids, what okay? What you to fix your car? I'm going to get this taken care of. I'm, right. I'm going to, it's oh going to be okay. God. You want to go back? I just, yeah, I'm going to go look, right over I'm gonna, Now I'm going to go look. On August 16th, Perk uploaded to his Fed Smoker. <laughs> I don't think they're giving you condoms because they want to sleep with you. They just want to make sure you don't reproduce. <laughs> they're, just, they're just being extra careful. Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh I my swear God. to God. You just, you're can... some unknown poor little kid out on a playground somewhere in rural Iowa or Nebraska or something going, he stole my stuff. He's a baby raper. <laughs> <laughs> That's slug for you. We, we solved it. <laughs> we solved it. There is one. <laughs> um, slug is the time the condom broke. God damn it. Channel, a video of him calling the Nebraska State Patrol to brief them on his success in Council Bluffs. Anyways, Americans, I brief in daily. I don't know if they know that, but I brief in daily. Herc posts a bunch more videos of speaking with cops, <laughs> talking about investigating casinos. Ameristar, you're dirty. This place is clean so far. And harassing citizens. Game take the bait. Sounds like the most sadistic health inspector. <laughs> like, did you know that you have mold in your sink? I've seen you. I'm not gonna have to call you in the food service area. <laughs> I'm going to have to give you one baby raper out of five. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at him. This is what happens when you discriminate there, nigger. The upload stopped after <laughs> August 16th, 2013, according to my notes. 2014. The, 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 the paradox of that. <laughs> oh, we made it. Discriminatory uses discriminatory <laughs> slur. <laughs> oh, we've made it to, uh, We've made it to the town hall meeting. This is by far one of my favorite town hall meetings from Herc. January 6th, Can you 2014. just imagine Slug at a town hall meeting? This is what would happen. Exactly this. Exactly this. Parker, Arizona. <laughs> there he appeared in a board meeting. This was not uploaded to any of his channels, and instead it was someone filming Herc out in the wild. Herc steps up to the podium to speak at this board meeting. It's a whole lot of nonsense. Anyway, since we're like, yeah, listen up. Uh, I've been filming with retards all over the country, like the FBI and State Patrol. I know I'm out all the time. Sometimes cops think they want to try to kill this werewolf, okay? Eventually, he warns the town of his powers, and he gets escorted out. Even their stupid kids put in prison for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you guys very much. Sorry I didn't have this talk with you guys. It's always drab when I come in. <laughs> On March 12th, 2014, Herc made his first entry onto Facebook under Herc Peterson. He wrote, as many hot bitches as I can before I get old. On March 13th, he began posting videos of him hiding in a veteran hospital and being paranoid. Fed Smoker 2. March 20th, he created his second Look Fed Smoker 2. Look at as many hot bitches as I can before I get old. <laughs> He posted many nonsensical videos of his travels in the Midwest. It was revealed you in Excelsior say. Springs, Missouri, by an Excelsior Springs Facebook page that posted, Local residents have been blowing up Facebook the last day or so over a guy in a black car that has been filming all over town, often with his own narration. And they say this name wrong and it bothers me and I will correct it afterwards. And posting the videos to YouTube. He's been in Kearney as well. And many people have been concerned about the content and tone of his videos. And it's Carney. Why? No fucking clue. Welcome to the Midwest, where every fucking name is not exactly what you thought it would be going into it. Yeah, like Louisville being Louisville. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got, uh, here. <laughs> this is a place. Right? How would you say that name? Uh, Nevada. Jim? I'd say Nevada. 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 <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. Wow. It's like, Jesus it's like... fucking Christ. There's so many of them out here. <laughs> I was like, like I'm thing. going to this place. They're like, you're going where? 
and I'm like this place, and they're like, can you write it down? And I'll write it down, and it'll be like, oh, like this place, Nevada. The fuck? There's a whole seat called Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> in replies, like we learned more we details. Arguing about uh, the word mana, some yeah. people were saying it mana, and other people were saying it mana. Yeah. So we like looked it up, and the text speech was like money. <laughs> like, oh, okay, so we're all wrong. <laughs> like, I got twelve money left to use my fireball. <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> of how the public actually experienced Conald. One person writes, I don't live in Excelsior Springs, nor have I ever been there, but my best friend is from there. I saw this come up on my news feed and I watched the videos. This guy is on drugs or has some severe mental illness going on, maybe both. In one video, he was talking about how Jesus speaks to him and tells him that if greedy f***ers pass a collection play at church, he will expose them on the net as baby rappers, etc., etc., etc. Watch out for this guy. Who knows Blood goes to church. what will happen if something sets him off. Another person adds, I met this guy. He's so weird. He has an old cop car with cameras taped everywhere. He was at McDonald's saying some very weird stuff, saying everyone's a demon. Wish this was posted last month. One person defended Herc as well. He is simply exercising his constitutional rights. He is allowed to record within public spaces, and there is simply nothing we can do about it. When you run a man out of town for recording in public spaces or speaking his mind in public spaces, you fall in line with actively advocating censorship, which is only a few domino falls away from complete constitutional overrule of all public speaking and public events. The Chillicothe Constitution I would agree with you if he wasn't screaming everyone's a baby raper. They also say this name wrong. <laughs> So, Pune here. from Chillicothe, oh. Missouri, also posted to Facebook writing. No, to Chillicothe? That, yeah. How would you say that? Uh, they said Chillicothe. I would go with Chillicothe. Okay. Jim? Or Chillicothe. I would say Chillicothe. 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 Oh my <laughs> I'm God. not kidding. <laughs> God, fuck the Midwest. <laughs> I, uh, I am some fancy words. I we know fuck them up because a business that I uh, worked at for a while doing service and stuff like that, I would dispatch guys down to Chillicothe and they would have to go to the fucking uh, power plant was down there and everything else. This from Livingston County Sheriff Steve Cox information about personal safety security. We have received several calls about an individual now in Chillicothe with an unusual looking vehicle and what has been described to us as strange behavior, which has prompted this release of information from the LCSO. Late yesterday, a deputy and the sheriff were individually approached by an out-of-state man that likes to quickly shove cameras and voice recorders in the faces of citizens and law enforcement in what seemed to be his attempts to provoke local authorities. The individual claims <laughs> to be a former CIA double agent and has been reported by other citizens to have made trips to area churches and public buildings while conducting himself in similar fashion. I have received information uh, the man may have attempted to- You know he wasn't a CIA double agent. Huh? I mean, how do you know he wasn't a CIA <laughs> double agent? <laughs> to solicit I mean, have money you, from- Haven't you ever heard of fucking, uh, what was it? Uh, that, that fucking project with LSD? Oh, oh yeah, um- Yeah, MK Ultra. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fed Smoker gives me the vibes of an MK Ultra patient. <laughs> no, From people or organizations in and around North Missouri. The subject is reported to have a history of placing these videos and information on the internet. This individual has not done anything which warrants a custodial arrest but is also aware that he is not immune from the consequences should any criminal laws be violated. Please note at the time of this writing, the individual has only been exercising his constitutional right of freedom of speech. Area businesses, churches, civic groups, and citizens should be mindful of unusual activities and report violations of the law regardless who the violator may be. Area law enforcement officers are here to serve all our citizens, so please feel free to call should you have any needs or question. And then they also posted this message to their official site. Herc eventually made it to Idaho, announcing it on April 6th. Idaho Americans, we're here. 
That was quick. On the same day as this, he posted a video yelling about someone named Steve Cox in his car. Hi there, Steve Cox. How you doing? <laughs> he seemed aggressive and threatening. You f***ing pigs want to look at my car? Your f***ing faces, I told you, go on the car. There's a baby f***ing right here. Yeah, yeah. He made his way from Idaho <laughs> to Sisters, Oregon, and made headlines immediately. The nugget... Your face is going on my car when I declare you a baby raper. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see Slug with a Steve DeLee fucking wrapped goddamn Prius just driving around. <laughs> <laughs> Blah, 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 Barry, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see, no, no, Sl Slug wouldn't have a car because he doesn't know how to drive. Uh, he'd probably just purchase billboards <laughs> near Steve's house. <laughs> put up his all information. the major highways around it. <laughs> yeah, I could see him doing that instead. Oh, fuck. Article entitled, Citizens Disturbed by Man Filming, and wrote on how he labels people as baby rappers and disturbed many citizens at various places. They detailed that he's trespassed at a few places, but concludes he's harmless if you treat him professionally. The article ends with a phone number, encouraging readers to call if Connell gets threatening. June 6, 2014, Connell started his channel, Bed Smoker Forever, but Herc disappeared from any of his channels until September. He began to upload videos on that channel, the Fed Smoker Forever channel, September 12th, and it seemed that this channel took place in Key West, Florida. And it seems that this time, Herc is having drama because he got kicked out of a library. Um, we got called to the library. What for? Uh, for issues with uh, them, them telling us that you own the property and they were wishing for you to leave. What, for, for parking my bike here they want me to leave? I don't, I don't know, What's, what happens? Uh, all I did was take a picture of a guy that I thought was a potential bike thief and that was it, so. On September 27th, he posted a video titled, One. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Two nine. It's like a potential bike thief and baby raper. <laughs> One of the two. On September 27th, he posted a video titled 129, where he was stopped hey, see, by... See, my working theory is he steals the bikes, <laughs> then lures the kids in with him for free rides. <laughs> oh, Officer, who just wanted to say hi. I'm not going to put any of you guys on the net as baby rapers this time around or anything, okay? <laughs> do what you got to do. Yeah, this time around. Down here getting away tomorrow. From my mother. We heard you were in town. You heard how you hear already. He tells the officer he wanted to come to Key West to get his mind off his mother. Say hi. Well, you know what? I'm I'm just wanting to say hi to you, man. My mother's dying and I need to see Key West, that. man. She's probably already dead. I ain't called, but What's yeah. That? This <laughs> Christmas I took her a present. She said, Leo, get the gun and shoot him. So on October 7th, Herc must have been traveling back from Florida because he was arrested in Sherman County, Kansas for assault disorderly conduct, St. Herkster. Herk returned November 7, 2014 with a new channel entitled St. Herkster. The URL to the channel has the handle Estes Park Baby Ra Estes Park is a city in Colorado. He also made another channel on that oh day. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine I... this dude that looks like Hulk Hogan with the gimmick of, like, American Badass Undertaker comes throughout town screaming and pointing at random people calling them baby rapers? I mean, we got Slug. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's got the mentality of Slug. Yes, but, but does he have the motorcycle skills of, like, Undertaker? <laughs> like, that's what, we, that's what we really gotta answer here. Like... <laughs> I just see. <laughs> I can now see Slug because of the not driving thing, but like trying to match that same energy on one of those like battery powered scooters that needs to be. <laughs> He's on a Segway. <laughs> on a... Oh, on a Segway, God. yeah. <laughs> called Chief Wes Kuseld. This channel also takes place in Estes Park, Colorado. He started out 
on the St. Herkster channel, posting his introduction to Estes Park. He visits the police station. The reason why I'm here is because I am kind of stranded here, Chief, and I like to come in and let everybody know. You want to see what my car looks like out there? He also got pulled over quite a lot. We're going to be arrival. very familiar with one another. I should introduce myself now. <laughs> Yes, let me introduce you to myself and my car. We're going to get very well acquainted. <laughs> ...into the town. Because of this, Herc believed he was being targeted, and the cops of Estes Park were trying to run him out. This begins the investigation. In this film on the St. Herkster channel, Herc posts a lot of videos of him briefing the Nebraska State Patrol of his investigation in Colorado. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I just imagine this like, being like elderly or like middle aged fucking like <laughs> dispatcher like just working there for like fucking ten years and like having to get these calls at random points every time this guy goes to a new city. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like you're this really creepy old dude that overstays his welcome when people tell you to leave because they're finally sick of you. You call them a baby raper and investigate them for pedophilia. <laughs> like, like, like that's the litmus test. Is like if they can't stand you. That you, they're immediately a pedophile. <laughs> Gave me an Estes within the minute almost. They were going to do this. Can't, can't something be done about these cops writing me bogus tickets? They usually never fly, but can't they? They were railroading me, trying to railroad a professional double agent out of town, brother. Within a week, however, Herc was posting videos. This dude's him fashioning himself to be like Revolver <laughs> Ocelot. Like, he's like this like triple agent for the Patriots, but he like just calls people baby raper and just like screams in the public. Like, he's revolver like Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> yeah, he's like an autistic Revolver Ocelot. Like, can you imagine if instead of screaming brother, he just was like baby raper? <laughs> Back in Excelsior Springs, Missouri, where he was often ranting nonsense in his car about conspiracies involving the cops. He posted a video on November 14th of his new car. He named this one Fed Smoker Jr. 2. He is in Excelsior Springs in this video. On November 25th, he posted a video sitting in his car, shirtless, and looking extremely messed up as he listens to an audio recording of him interrogating a man about raping a little girl. He lays back in his car and the audience gets to see a black dog. We have not been introduced to this dog yet. We find out at this time, he's in Arlington, Oregon. On November 28th, Herc began to focus on Ferguson, Missouri. This is due to the state of unrest that was happening in the city because... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he... <laughs> Wait, don't tell me. He claimed that the cop was not just a baby raper, but a baby killer, too. Huh? I'll just let it play out. Oh my god. god. Damn it. Oh, Ellington, I still got two and a half hours worth of shit to go through, or two hours roughly. Because of the shooting of a black man named Michael Brown by police. Herc decided he was going to be the man to investigate these police officers. On November 28th, he called the Ferguson Police Department to ask about visiting the town as a man of God, and they advised against it due to the protests and rioting. Huh? What's going on with them rioting? They don't, uh, I'm thinking about coming out there. I'm a Christian from uh, Baptist Church out here in Sweet Home, Oregon. I would, I would not uh, think that that's not a very good idea. To come down, to come down there and pray for them. Unfortunately, we can't guarantee your safety. I would not come out here. I would just pray for them where you are. Herc posted a video titled MVI 0318 <laughs> to the St. Herkster channel on December. I, I want to come out there and spread the word of God. Um, <laughs> sir, that's a bad idea. What organization are you with? Um, it's a small organization called Outer Heaven. <laughs> 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 oh, 
shut up. Second. <laughs> Just shut up, Jim. <laughs> Admitting that he decided, after investigation, that the police were in the right in the Michael Brown case in Ferguson. Ferguson, you did good, man. That f brother needed to be shot. I see him. Oh he my did. god! <laughs> I didn't want to ruin for you. Darren Wilson, you did good. The same day as this, he announces oh his move. God. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Brown was a baby raper. <laughs> <laughs> Ashes Park Baby Raiders is done. Hi, Mary. Hey, listen, I got some good news today. Uh, I got your first movie of uh, Estes Park Baby Raiders done. Do you know where I could send that movie to to give you guys kind of oh an idea God. what's going on in your city? I want you, Mary. Are you put it online or are you doing it uh, mail mail? Or no, it, I'm, I'm, making, I'm making DVDs. It, it's actually going in a hard... Uh, I'm going to be selling the movies. Um... I was gonna send so, Bill uh, Pink Hamlin. 1287. Twelve. Park. Okay. December eighth, Herc gets stabbed. He seems extremely chill in this video, where he shows that he is bleeding and explains how a man pulled a knife on him. We're made immaculate Americans. I know, right? This guy got. He got a uh, kind of a uh, the hell kicked out of him just a little bit ago. Yeah. Pull a knife on me, and then you kick it out of his hand, and then kick his mouth a little bit. Yeah. He also explains he's going to fix the wound with some super Plot glue. Plot twist, it was snake. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you're a bed smoker, kid, I'm still you're... mad about that fucking outer heaven shit. <laughs> I just was walking down the street and this cardboard box appeared. He just popped out and stabbed me and ran off. <laughs> huh? Who's there? <laughs> I think it's I have the nano machines. <laughs> Fix the wound with some super glue. See, when you're a bed smoker, kid. By the way, have you ever done this, Gigi? What? Super glue to wound together? Uh, yeah, I have, actually. I thought you were asking. I thought you were asking. Gigi, have you ever walked into a random town and just started screaming baby rape right everyone? It's like, no. Oh, Patrick, I don't think I have. You know, I was talking about the specific instance of super gluing a wound together. I've done it. It hurts oh. like a motherfucker. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. We've gone through so much, like shit with his tune I don't <laughs> my perception I mean, is warped I should have maybe been a little more specific there you're right <laughs> yeah. yeah you should go to the doctor a hospital usually and get that kind of stitched up but I just bought some super glue and we'll go glue it shut here Herc is basically a medic and this isn't the first time he's fixed a wound with super glue and it won't be the last Herc decided everyone in Estes Park was getting a baby rapper stamp. And these guys are all wearing the entire town <laughs> stamp like this guy. On December 11th, Herc uploaded a video in a police station, <laughs> frantically speaking with a police officer, looking disheveled. He was ranting on how there's a plot orchestrated by Obama to make people answer him with only one syllable. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> With one syllable. It's literally the Patriot AIs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need sorry, one fictional universe for this. <laughs> We've got Slug, and now we got fucking <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Metal Solid Slug. <laughs> uh. Metal Gear slugged. <laughs> oh man. Cavs the solid state slug. Patrol. Okay. Cavs the RC. state patrol. That wasn't you. Uh, but everybody is in the government is sorry. Do what? Pardon? Excuse me. You're breaking up. Yep. And fucking nope. Okay. That's what Obama's training these kids to do, brother. He then posted a video announcing he's taking down Excelsior Springs again. After some investigation in Excelsior Springs, Herc shows himself in a messy room and announces he's home. Americans, I'm back home. This is on December 12th. On December 13th, he filmed himself. 
<laughs> smoking weed in the car with a woman and then announces he's going to Arkansas. He first stops in Oklahoma, 2015. December ends and we enter 2015. Oh, the Oklahoma arc is so fucking great. January 7th, 2015, Connell started one of his most well-known channels, She Mail Tranny Church. Nothing was posted to this channel until March. What? In February, he all- She cheered for a ride. She Mail Tranny Church? Why do I get the feeling Slug would do that? He would be the second person to do this. <laughs> also joined Twitter under the handle FedSmoker for Life. The first handful of videos posted to the Shemail Tree Church channel involved Herc doing the usual Herc things. There's some gold in there. Look at this gang, Americans. She's involved in the little punk's wall. Look at her. What are you doing? Oh, I'm filming this store where I you see those kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> would you. Would you chop this up into like fucking videos for your channel? Yeah. Do me a favor and just put just put Slug's head with like a fake like blonde beard, blonde <laughs> long hair and sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that way he can look at it and is like, what the fuck? <laughs> he just hears us comparing him to Fed Smoker. Uh, I might just cut just that section out and all the comparisons to slug. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to turn them in to the right people for vandalizing my car. You could probably just tell them it was a common sense. Do you know what Travis's last name was? No. That's because you're a burned out hoe. Thank you. <laughs> but on Do you April know this 12, random person you skank? <laughs> you oh, you don't? Travis? You're just a burned out hoe. <laughs> 15, please, please. Herc posted a video of his car being trashed at the dump. Herc seems to be stuck where his car broke down and is staying with people in a house. This might be Council Bluffs. He began searching for a new Crown Vic April 25th. Herc then posted a collection of videos about a fight he got into with a girl who's at the house he's crashing at. Eventually, this led to him meeting some fans of his out in public. I'm with one of my fans. What's your name, brother? I'm Zach. You seen some of my stuff, brother? Yeah. What do you think of that shit? It's pretty cool shit, man. Have you seen it yet? Absolutely. <laughs> really? Yeah. Man, this is fucking we nuts. I'm getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> That's why like, they're like, That's why we need to glaze this guy. We need to glaze this guy before we get called baby rapers. <laughs> On May 17th, we meet Herc's new puppy. The channel Lil Pop Sum 1 began uploading archives of Herc's around this time, leading to some great Herc content, including a video where Herc Baby Raper stamps some random dog post. Thoughts on that, Gigi? <laughs> he does what? <laughs> he Baby Raper stamps a dog. <laughs> uh content, including a video <laughs> where her baby raper stamps dumb. some random dog posted July 11th of 2015 in Council Bluffs. It's pretty funny. You watch and see, bitches. I'm gonna put this dog on in there as a baby raper, too. <laughs> you fucking baby raper! You fucking baby raper! <laughs> With more... It's so unhinged. I swear to God, Slug is... <laughs> Slug has done something similar to that just with cats. Where he's like had a fucking screaming debate with like a cat sound effect on the soundboard. Oh, fuck. More and more people noticing Herc on the World Wide Web. Our main character got his own thread on the gossip forum Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms is a controversial forum used to discuss eccentric individuals who publicly share themselves on the internet, and Herc was one of those eccentrics. The opening of the thread read, Kiwi Farms. There are many exceptional individuals out there, but some are more exceptional than others. Meet Connell Eugene Peterson, also known as Fed Smoker, Herc, The Herkster, St. Herc, Herc News, God's News, Puke Killer, She Mail Church, and a billion other YouTube accounts, lost in time like tears and rain. 
Fed Smoker doesn't put as much of himself out there as your CWC or your ADF, so it's hard for us to paint a complete portrait of him. All we have is a scattered social media presence, a couple mug shots, a few secondhand accounts, and a wide collection of disparate YouTube clips he's recorded averaging under half a minute each. But what we do know is legendary. Imagine Jake's turned loose on the open road after 20 years without his meds. Imagine Macho Man Randy Savage on even more cocaine. Oh yeah! Imagine the peyote trip sequence from Beavis and Butthead to America, somehow becoming a sentient life form. Imagine a real life oh Knight Rider God. from the first Mad Max movie. <laughs> I am the rocker. I am the roller. I am the out of controller. Imagine the human personification of that uniquely American male desire to obey no laws but your own and howl like a werewolf as you ride your airbrushed shitbox at full throttle into the sunset. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't have to imagine. Airbrush shitbox at full out, throttle. That smoker is a guy from some primordial Midwestern hellscape, Harvard, Nebraska, who drives around the country in a ghoulish monstrosity of a car, rigged up with recording equipment and airbrushed with boasts of his conquests. Back in 2001, he apparently connected his local police chief to a conspiracy to commit arson. But don't tell Herkster that the charges were dropped, because ever since he put that crooked chief away, he's embarked on a one-man crusade to smoke every dirty pig in America and put them all up on the net as baby rapers. His definition of a baby raper extends to anyone who gives him and his car a funny look, especially the local police. Fed Smoker's the only man who can expose them, take them all down, and put them behind bars where they belong. Fed Smoker has terrorized towns from Eugene, Oregon, all the way to Laguna Beach, Florida, in his quest to rid the American police force of crooked baby raping cops. After the breakdown and loss of his legendary car, Rip, he has set up shop in Council Bluffs, Iowa, in what appears to be a meth house. But once he gets himself back on his feet, Fed Smoker shall ride again. We're just lucky enough that he has a compulsive need to document his journey every step of the way. Fed Smoker reminds me of Marv from Frank Miller's Sin City. They both seem whacked out of their minds at first glance, but their only true fault is that they both had the misfortune to exist in the wrong time period. Herc would be so much more comfortable if he was born as a 9th century Viking berserker or a post-apocalyptic motor-bound death cultist who would paint his mouth a shiny chrome before dying his historic on a fury road. Being condemned to the modern civilized world is a terrible curse for someone like him. Even beyond the ungodly amount of residual drugs in his system, his quest to rid the country of baby rapers is the only thing that keeps him going. It consumes him. It's the Moby Dick to his Ahab. But there's so much more to the persona of Fed Smoker than his deranged crusade. Herc's not just a crazed camcorder vigilante who plays by his own rules. Smoking pigs is just one of the Herc's many talents. Fed Smoker is truly a renaissance man of our generation. I feel that Fed Smoker, more than any other internet eccentric, is less a set of videos to watch and more a mindset to inhabit. We've all experienced that one crazy guy on the street screaming out gibberish before, but Fed Smoker's gracious enough to carry a camera around with him while he does it. For a few seconds, we get to view the world through his eyes. All we have of Fed Smoker is a wealth of incoherence. None of his claims or opinions hold any water. He posts nothing but rambling all caps ranting on his various social media platforms. And his videos are usually just a string of growled threats that make little logical sense. He's even too batshit to be part of the Sovereign Citizens Movement. Think about that for a second. But there's something about seeing all these insane moments and lunatic ramblings, Sovereign divorce of all context, movement. that sends me into instant giggle fits. Somehow, <laughs> Fed Smoker has perfectly tapped into the absurdity of human existence. But it's important to keep in mind that there is still a human being behind Fed Smoker. Before and probably during his cop smoking odyssey, Connell has worked as a tattoo artist and received SSDI benefits for what looks a lot like paranoid schizophrenia. It's obvious that he's not getting the help he needs to live with his mental issues in a productive way. But it's also obvious that even if he had all the resources he needed, he wouldn't have any interest in using them. He's taken a path few others would dare to walk. And I'm just happy he's found a way to bring us all along for the ride. St. Herkster has been uploading his message and spreading the good news since at least as far back as 2007. I wouldn't be surprised if he's documented his antics even before then, too. And by the grace of 
of God, the Dirty Pig Tour will be rockin' and rollin' till kingdom come. There's still too many baby rapers out there on the streets, and only one man has the will to take them all down. Here's a link to a couple of playlists with some of his videos. Sadly, most are on YouTube accounts that got shut down. People of the website were very excited for discussion of this new eccentric. One Kiwi farmer posted an update of Herc on July 26th, writing, Fed Smoker is the fucking shit. The most recent videos of him I've seen made it seem like he's living with this guy in Iowa. The guy did not seem too happy about agreeing to let the Herkster stay there, and Fed Smoker snorted some low grade speed and rambled on. Tell y'all that my life seems to be going to hell these days without my car, Fed Smoker. I'm in Council Bluffs, Iowa, where it is a misdemeanor to get caught with this zip shit. Zip shit. <laughs> oh my god. And it's a felony to get caught with pot. He apparently made a movie somewhat recently. However, I was too scared to send $20 to some random P.O. box to get myself a copy. Herc was quiet at this time online, but Kiwi Farms began digging. On September 17th, 2015, a Kiwi farmer found that Herc may have a son in Missouri. By looking at the interview between a slice of pie and Herc that I mentioned previously, the Kiwi Farms user Vlad found a comment by someone named Herc Hater on said interview. This Herc Hater had made a video on what it was like growing up without a father. The video no longer exists, but this person alleges Herc had made him and abandoned him in Missouri. Herc's immediate response to this was, Fed smokers unwanted cum drop-ins. Herc ended up feeling bad about his original response and posted on the discussion page of his son's YouTube channel. Back that up. What did he call him? This person alleges Herc had made him and abandoned him in Missouri. Herc's immediate response to this was, Fed smokers unwanted cum drop-ins. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds like slug. <laughs> do we know? Do we have proof that slug was born where he's at? <laughs> no, but it sounds like something slug would say. Oh, God. Herc ended up feeling bad about his original response and posted on the discussion page of his son's YouTube channel over and over, begging him to meet up. He posted some heartwarming stuff. I guess you're my kid, huh? You were sent money to come visit and you punked out like a fag. Scared? If you want to be my son or my you little bro, like tighten it. up. <laughs> <laughs> you punked nose. out like a fag. <laughs> you don't know shit, Lambert. This guy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Kiwi, you're not prepared for this. <laughs> just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> I'll just pretend I'm I never saw I you come bad. in. <laughs> I can be your friend if you quit being a little punk. I hope you're training. Caleb, you strayed away from me. Grandma Penny wanted us to meet. She sent you money to come. You'll always be my kid. All I ever wanted was one son to watch grow. I've been to Liberty five times this year looking for you. I love you, kid. I was smashed when you didn't come to Cal. Let me know when you're ready. Herc, be good. Herc had been somewhat absent at the time that the farms were discussing him, but he reappeared September 20th, 2015 with a new channel that is now terminated. For the next few years, there will be a lot of missing videos. Oh... And that brings us to our third chapter. Next time on the... I just want to like add in here before we start chapter three. <clears throat> Isn't it amazing how his goal is to stop the corrupt police? <laughs> These baby rapers that are the police department. Yep. Yet he relies on the police to arrest them. Yes. <laughs> like, he relies on the same corrupt baby rapers that he is trying to stop. To oh, what it. the fuck did I join? <laughs> oh, Kiwi. I'll let you have a taste of it. You can watch the full intro.
for this. No! <laughs> yeah. I'm put this dog on in there as a baby rapper too. <laughs> you fucking baby rapper! You fucking baby rapper! <laughs> we last left off September 20th, 2015. I'm putting this dog on there too. <laughs> Traveling about, his mother, leave the dog out of the rescue has now passed, and we begin the next part of his tale. In this video, we will be covering a stretch of time where there's a lot of lost media. It's a large stretch of time where there's like, no videos left on YouTube, and that's probably because Herc is now getting more attention from the internet, and therefore the people he's kind of like harassing and interacting with are flagging him off of YouTube. We are covering some pretty iconic moments in this video though, but there's less of a plot. So, to follow along and have some fun, because this is very much a straight timeline, try out like a drinking game or something. I like to add this to videos, it's kind of fun, um, I assume most of you guys are 21. Mm -hmm. And the rule is, uh, you can easily, here's a couple rules you can think of, every time Herc starts or loses a YouTube channel. Also, you could have a rule where you drink every time I use an AI generated voice. And if you want to play on hard mode, drink every time Herc says baby graper. Just remember <laughs> baby craper that's, that's if you want to die though yeah that's alcohol poisoning that's, don't do that people <laughs> you know what I mean expert mode is all three but alright let's get into it expert mode <laughs> okay Kiwi so I'll gonna... be dead before your video is over Cecil if I do that <laughs> I'm going to let you see this full intro. I got to step away and grab beer. <laughs> you got to drink? Oh, I've been drinking. That's the best way to enjoy this. Oh, no. Play the Fed Smoker opening. I want to let you Americans know there is a God. There's no oh, Jesus God. in this book. I've read it. So, wing! <laughs> I am the greatest healer in all mankind. I am Dr. Herxale. Dude! He's out of the light. Daddy, I'm big daddy. How you been, bitch? I'm Rick. Let me see you, Rick. You Rick. Rick. Missing video arc. Even though the videos from this time were gone due to the channels being terminated, a Kiwi farmer posted an update on Herc, September 22nd. Real Fay Bird writes, He just lost his ride, and his videos are getting even more aggressive in tone. Apparently it isn't enough to randomly accuse men of baby <laughs> He's taking the fight to their wives and children as well. Apparently, Herc's fan base was growing. Around September 23rd, 2015, Herc fan posted base. this to his community page. To all Fed Smokers fans, sorry I took a little time. So, Kiwi, what's your thoughts? Uh, uh, cool. I'm says. glad you like them. <laughs> <laughs> I please the food. You, listen, you can't talk to me without my lawyer. <laughs> you know what that, the fuck that are you watching? The incoherent <laughs> stuttering, that's what I expected. I know just... I'm probably in the middle of Oh wait, no, you started. Oh. I'm just saying no, you just started. What is this? Well, well this is chapter three. <laughs> chapter <laughs> Okay, then I'm in the middle. What's going on? Okay. Do you want to explain, Jim? So What did there you do? Is this man named Fed Smoker, who uh, back in the early 2010s was like injured in police custody. So he decided to become the autistic Revolver Ocelot and be a triple agent for the government to <laughs> expose crooked police. So he gets in his car and with at some points in time random dogs <laughs> and goes around doing investigations 
which literally just involve him being really obnoxious to the point where people tell him to leave, and then he calls them baby rapers and uploads it to YouTube.com. And writes their name on the car. Yes, and then writes writes their name on the car, only for it to, like, within a couple years, <laughs> be downtrodden to the point where it can't function, and he has to junk it. And uh, Gigi's made the astute... Uh... Um, comparison to slugs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's pumped so hard I hit my nose. <laughs> so basically, imagine if Hulk Hogan and The Undertaker were to fuse with the personality of Slug. <laughs> <laughs> with a few guys to throw in there for good measure. Yeah. Hi, hi, Kiwi. Welcome. I'm off the road. I did find myself ruining even more officials just sitting at home. Funny how I expose. I never God really know you, when Patrick. I'll expose again. Just know it won't be long, Sergeant Norris. You're done. Evidence thief. Jake, the probation office guy. You finished on accident. Officer Sharp, you're almost done. FBI Omaha. You're next, huh? You're going to be exposed real quick like Fed Smoker. He continues. Never stop. I hear from my fans. To you, my American and worldly folk, I promise I'm just scratching the surface. I do it for you. All of you that are scared to face hell, hell has no name or place in my world, and there is no evil. Evil is a fraud. To you, never stop. Fed Smoker. Community posts. We can only keep up with Herc's activity for a period of time through community posts because the channels that Herc was posting to in September 2015 are gone forever. On September 27th, Herc posted this. Steve, just a you, punk! You did me a favor by pussing out on a road trip. Wait, You're a fucking Steve? coward. Huh? <laughs> There's Steve in this story. We've reached a simulation. Oh my god. <laughs> this is how the board starts. Steve, started. you baby raper. <laughs> I you feel like it, Steve. I feel like this is like one of those roguelite games, like Fed Smoker was the first run, <laughs> and like then it just restarted. <laughs> like... <laughs> and then slugs the second bill. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the second like run after the first one. Which Steve, uh, we talking about an actual cop or the guy from Minecraft? Uh, well, <laughs> there's yes. also the tie-in with the one from Canada that Slug has a strong <laughs> disliking for. <laughs> oh, you bitch! I don't think he. World. I don't think Steve on Alive was a fucking cop, though. No, 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 no. no. We're, no. we're joking about Slug. <laughs> I know. I'm... You're a fake, an illusion, a f scared of the road, punk. I can't believe you lived in one little town forever, never leaving. I don't hate you. I feel sorry for you. You made me realize you're a fake. You're a homeboy, like really. Even after over a half million, you can't leave Harvard. You stay home there, motherfucker. On September 28th, it seemed Herc was nonstop posting like crazy to his channel. People on the farms were loving what he was posting during this time. Everything of Herc's is missing for a while. Apparently, around October 11th, it was mentioned that Herc was now investigating the brother of his now ex-best friend, Steve Justa. The history of what exactly caused their feud is gone to time, but it is sad. <laughs> it sounds so familiar. It's like... <laughs> it's like asking Slug, how did this feud between you and Steve DeLeave start? <laughs> how did it actually start? <laughs> yeah. Okay, iconic... that's I could actually fill in the blank for that. Um, <laughs> it started because Slug was um, you remember the Onision shit, right? Oh yeah, with Chris Anthony. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Slug was uh, he was still doing the whole pedophile hunting shit, and so he <laughs> lied <laughs> about hacking. <laughs> <laughs> he he lied about hacking into um Onision's fucking uh Patreon or whatever. Okay. In order to get an interview with Chris Hansen. Okay. And what happened afterwards is that Steve was also like doing the whole Onision bit for fucking Repsion and Maya, because they were still a thing at that point. Okay. And <laughs> Basically, Slug was just a fucking idiot, and when Steve, like, latched onto it, he started, like, bullying him a little bit too much. 
<laughs> so Slug starts doing his usual thing. He, like he looks into the person. Yeah. And then he starts making several assumptions. <laughs> and ultimately it ended up where Kayla, Aura, and Steve collectively looked in uh, to uh, Slug's background with a little help from Lucky Phil and the librarian. Oh. It, yeah, and they ended up finding his LinkedIn, which uh, had all of his college information. Oh. And basically, Kayla and Aura were insinuating that Slug was a pedophile, or well, he was the son of a pedophile. Oh, Jesus Christ. And it's like slowly devolved from there. <laughs> and ever since, like, the shit went down with, um, Alpha Russ, yep. the Minecraft girl, and the other dude. Uh, he's he's been on a holy hell fire or holy hell tear, just <laughs> trying to make sure that the people oh, who man. were fucking with him in the past never get to do it again. <laughs> so it's like a mixture of a lot of things, but it dates back to the fucking Onision, fucking Chris Hansen bullshit. Jesus Christ. Fucking Chris Hansen has just fucked everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and basically it, it evolved from there where Steve would do his thing. He would post pictures of people's like either significant others or loved ones on his fucking Twitter profiles. One of them was of uh, of Slug's sister. Oh shit. Uh, and it just he's he's basically being a little shit to slug and then slugs like Steve Deleve confirmed pedophile blah blah blah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And that's his and that's like, his uh, origin story. Yeah, that's basically. Shit. It's similar to Fed Smoker. No one no one knew who I was until I put on the helmet. <laughs> we love you, that's why I I'm say joking. there's like a lot there's a lot of shit that he has in common with this Jesus dude. Christ. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, that's not a bad origin story. It's still better than half of what Marvel has done. <laughs> like, honestly, honest. I will find you and I will dox you. It's like, oh, you that's post the... a picture of my sister. Convenient that you've done that, pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -doll! But yeah, that's basic. That's the long and short of it. Oh, wait, it, wait. like I'm probably forgetting a few things here or there, but it's like it fill you in. <laughs> Like duo fall apart. On October 13th, he posted a video about his feud with Steve. The video is gone, but here is a description of what the video was by a Kiwi farmer. How you doing, date rape Steve, Justin? Hit cigarette. <laughs> Still raping dick <laughs> when they're all f***ed up on um, <laughs> Just about anything they can get f***ed up on. Inaudible grunting noises. Yeah. <laughs> f*** one of my women. Mm. Hit cigarette. Nice boys. Real nice, and you welched on our deal with the dream. Mm -hmm. You got uncontrolled. Dreams, hmm. Well, I might not control all dreams, but I control some nightmares, and you're about to have one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've already yeah. had October 23rd. This, is, Brosive, this is some of the shit Slug would send to Steve. <laughs> what are you. <laughs> Date about her. You know what? Saying her you have had more experience in so a I now gone take your word on YouTube that. video that he was running for president. Hell yes. Here was his presidential pitch. I am Rickens, Fed Smoker for President. I'll expose each and every dirty pig in this country. I'll do away with the feds and CIA creepy the officials. Creepy killers on the sly. I'll expose every dirty official in this country or die trying. Their asses will sit in a cell for the end off time and burned alive for the real filthy. I'm your president already. You idiots just can't see it yet. I protect the tribe. I'm all alone, but nothing stops me. In a series of now gone videos from October 26th, Herc got a bunch of camera sunglasses and apparently walked into a police station wearing them all at once. Word on the street was that it was very funny. On October 31st, <laughs> 2015, his channel Fed Smoker Now was terminated. Can you imagine on November a future where we would have gotten in 2016 <laughs> Fed Smoker over Donald Trump? <laughs> Can we just imagine that world for a second? No. Let's <laughs> move on. There wouldn't be any more bee rapers, that's for sure. Okay. Can you imagine how Ukraine would have turned out? It's like, all right, Putin, you baby raper. You leave Ukraine alone. 
Oh man. What Jesus is it? Christ. What's this Nine, obsession with calling everyone a baby graper? I, <laughs> just what he does. Yeah. <laughs> just what he does. Yeah. But why that? <laughs> No, he just he does schizophrenia. <laughs> it's a hell of a drug. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> no, I'm I'm dead serious. <laughs> I bet yeah. you are. <laughs> he he does have schizophrenia. Uh, 2015, he started another now terminated YouTube account called BFF Steve. You've missed approximately 50 to 60 YouTube channels worth of content, Kiwi. Just keep playing just stop talking apparently just... on this new channel he went on a lot of rants about steve justa Jesus. in these videos he called oh steve a liar God. arsonist and a rapist and he also started to accuse <laughs> steve of being gay some of these videos can be found in random hard to find <laughs> he's <archives>. also gay <laughs> it fits too perfectly gay. it fits too perfectly <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could find some of these videos. You know how great it would be just to take the whole Fed Smoker audio and just put oh. fucking Slug's video over it? Oh, yeah. I bet there's an archive channel somewhere. Oh, Kiwi, there's I so many. There's some that, like, we don't even know. We don't even know where some of these videos are. There's there's a distinct possibility that there's channels not have been found yet. This man has made so many. <laughs> And there's such yeah. large gaps where he's either in jail or unknown. <laughs> and I swear all to of God. the videos lost to like platforms that shut yeah. down. Yeah, there's that too. Date oh, man. Justa. Herc like began to accuse Steve Justa of flagging down his other channels. This could be the yep. case. Steve might not want videos <laughs> accusing him of rape online and flag the videos himself. On November 11th, he started another new dress. channel called <laughs> Steve Seems Space like another Smoker. Steve, This channel know? would also eventually be removed from YouTube. One of the videos that is now gone forever from this channel is a video showing paintings that Herc's mother did. This is what he wrote in the description for the video. I really miss the little lady I called Pooter. Her name was Penny to others. Just one hell of a gal. Nothing replaced the love of a motor. I'd give all I own just to hold her hand again. If your mother's alive, you ought to go give her as kiss and a hug for Fed Smoker. I'm sitting next to her in this shot before I'm she dies. I'm not kissing my mom for I you, Fed Smoker. I hope you all love your mothers. If you don't, you should try. She's gone now, but her words and teaching will live forever through I Fed Smoker. Enjoy. Herc continued mm. to post and be upset with his ex-friend Steve Justa, according to Kiwi Farms. But with that came something really amusing. November 17th, 2015, he posted a video of his 2016 presidential campaign. This was it, according to Vlad. He's given us more detail on his 2016 campaign for the United States presidency. Here's his stance on the issues. Disband all police forces, including sheriffs and deputies. Squash the federal government, abolish the Federal Reserve, replace the words Jesus Christ with fuck. <laughs> imprison the entire CIA, <laughs> expose all corrupt police officers and government officials, eliminate all legal differences between all 50 states. There will be only one law, and that one law will be to hang all corrupt police officers and government officials by their throat or nuts, whatever goes first. Oh my Her god. Yeah, he's like literally he's running on the Judge the Dread platform. December. <laughs> the Judge Dread platform. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> I am 12, the he law. made his way back to Brownsville, Oregon. On December 16th, he posted a video about Christmas, and in the description, he tried to reach out to his son again. December 17th, Herc allegedly introduced his fans to his dog. This dog is Buddy, or Bud for short. December 18th, Herc posted himself singing his campaign song. The video is gone to time, but here is a transcription of the lyrics. I'll make gas free, it ought to be free, as all us Americans been thrashed on this oil scamming country long enough. If we run low, we'll just go steal more, huh? Only this time we'll be honest about our theft. Gas run cars will be a thing of the past. What's funny is I can prove every official and news station is bought off Hitler pukes, huh, Obama? You filthy there, boy. Just knowing all American mainstream news is bought off CNN and Fox will be shut down. War bosses is all CNN and Fox News are there dirtier than the USA Gov, baby Hitler pukes, huh? 
Now all that is left of these videos. I really want to hear how he's on... saying that. <laughs> like there's there's no way that in my mind that you could ever arrange that within any notes that it makes that not sound like dog shit. Blues. I really want to it's I blues. really want I, I'm going with it's blues because like you can say a lot of wild shit and still have it work with blues music. <laughs> See, but he, he looks like he would be Southern Rock, like Leonard Skinner style and shit. Like... Oh my god. Kiwi Farms, where you can still read the video descriptions. And up until the end of the year, Perk's video descriptions get longer and more strange. The descriptions were nonsensical, <laughs> yet accusatory at the same time. 2015 ends <laughs> with Herc forgiving his ex-friend, Steve Justa. Sadly, the video of forgiveness is now gone. The whole arc of Herc versus Steve Justa appears to be gone forever. There are archive channels where this video <laughs> no. <currently> exists. <laughs> we needed that. It's like I, discovering new lands on a map. <laughs> when researching Mr. Peterson. But even with the little details available, we can piece together from reading forum posts what exactly happened. Herc's behavior was more erratic after losing Steve. 2016. 2016 like a washed came, up Hulk Hogan. and it seemed that Herc was still posting to the channels that are now gone from YouTube. But judging from a Kiwi Farm post, he had a new target on January 5th, 2016. This new target was an Oregon-based militia who took over a wildlife refuge to protest the tyranny of the United States government. As you Burns folks there, the militia know by now, you've ruined your lives. I believe it's my uh, freedom of speech to tell you, I think you ought to just start shooting the f out of everybody in the neighborhood. That'll get this country woke up. If you don't shoot everybody, all of You're it was a waste for face. nothing. Head smoker, shit. that did not work like it did for Timothy McVeigh or Killdozer. <laughs> <laughs> like, none of domestic terror doesn't work, Fed smoker. <laughs> Fuck out of them, they're gonna put you away forever anyways. On January 5th, Herc announced his running mate, Bud the dog. He wrote, This dog could do a better job than all you re Herc found himself in Burns, <laughs> Oregon next. He uh, seems to be doing a lot of videos that. ran- <laughs> The similarities are fucking startling at this point. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Slug would run for president, and he had white boys as VP. I think I think the methodology for the system has been scaled down. We went from a D twenty to a D six for this though, for a two point oh. <laughs> Don't worry, oh, we'll get the D four eventually. <laughs> <laughs> about Obama and Trump as his presidential campaign continued. While in Oregon, Herc tried to help with the militia standoff through his videos, and he also continued a previous project he was on. This was his investigating casinos project. This hadn't been mentioned much previously because it was just a drop in the barrel at the time. But casino investigations will become more prevalent as time continues. The Kiwi farmers began to archive him more closely, dropping a mega upload file on January 15th, 2016, with some of these missing videos that have been wiped off the internet. It's hard to decipher to these videos that. when the upload date is not listed, but reading some tidbits from Kiwi farmers speaking on the videos, you can kind of get a general picture of where Herc is at and when. Towards the end of January, beginning of February, Herc began to post more to a channel called Steve Justa after his ex-best friend. This channel is also now permanently gone. February 11th, 2016, Herc got his first dedicated fan channel. This channel was also called Fed Smoker, and they began to upload compilations and best ofs of Conald. And judging by comments on the gossip forum Kiwi Farms, it seemed that that Herc had tried to retire at some point at the beginning of February, but that didn't last long. It lasted for like two days, and he went back to posting his adventures soon after. For example, on February 17th, he posted a video of his epic adventure to get new plates for his car. On February 22nd, it seemed Herc noticed the Kiwi Farms following his antics and addressed them. The video is now poof! The fan base, though, was growing. March rolled around, and Connell seemed to take a break from fed smoking to do ghost busting. 
Here is a description from a forum poster of a video he posted <laughs> March 6th. <laughs> getting Can you forgot imagine? about the irate gamer <laughs> art. <laughs> An irate gamer versus sped smoker arc would have been just a fucking chef <laughs> kiss. <laughs> did, you say, did you say fed smoker or did you have a Freudian slip and call him sped smoker? I said bed smoker, but I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> because it's like, it's okay if you said bed smoker, because it really does kind of fit. <laughs> you wouldn't be wrong. Spooky, you guys. Fed smoker goes on a Ghostbuster trip, parking in an Indian burial ground and hearing ghostly voices on his recordings. March 18th, 2016, Herc posted his most famous video. The title of the video is no longer available, but... The best way to describe this video is, it's Herkster's hair salon. Let us go over this Herk video play by play. Connell starts out the video, randomly speaking as he lights a lighter. This is Herkster's hair beauty, Sean. He says something about a haircut and a tattoo. And barber shop and tattoo way you masseuse screw tattoo parlors. Then he starts making weird noises. Oh, God, ink. He's yeah. speaking in tongues. <laughs> his dog is behind him. He then teaches his fans how he, the official fed smoker, gets his hair to look the way it does. He cuts his hair with fire. He would call this technique feathering it. <laughs> I want you to take when you're feathering it, brother. Yeah, I got a good drip on it. See, you got a feather that sh You gotta get it going, bud. And this will go down as his most iconic saying. <laughs> Even more beloved than his baby <laughs> rants and his catchphrase. If the lights are blinking, you best not be stinking. It was amazing. What an icon. Now that's a thrill, motherfuckers. To light yourself on fire. Light your brain on fire. Huh? You're feathering and just shit. Don't be scared. Burn the fucking can skin just a little bit so you know that you're on fire. <laughs> that way, when you're sinning and shit like that, you know that that shit's gonna kind of hurt a little bit when you get to hell, okay? There's no fucking doubt about that. At the end of the haircut, he just has a tiny patch of hair on the back of his head that he missed. Looking pretty cool there, Herc. Well, there you have it, Americans in world. Herkster's hair, <laughs> salon. I don't know the particulars here. I really didn't see very good in my hair. Right here. March 24th, Mr. Peterson ended up in the news again. This is. Please, Kiwi, don't try that, by the way. I, I was. Fire, don't, please, no. Fire? Okay, I'll be right. <laughs> Kidding, you think I'm an idiot? I may be an idiot, but I'm not an idiot. <laughs> to be fair, we did let you drink Febreze. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I really you don't think we're in a position to judge. Excuse me, you didn't let me. I did that myself, willingly. And that wasn't even Febreze, by the way. So I'm you lied to us. I'm clipping that just for posterity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so in case it, to get us off the hook in case something happens. Patrick, perhaps even if the cops don't, I'm sorry, the baby rapers go out, don't go after you. I'll find a way. Perhaps the most Florida man Herc has ever been. Let's just read the title and the first paragraph. This takes now, excuse place me while I chew a stick Oregon. of gum and forget man not to swallow it. holy water. <laughs> a man entered St. Peter Catholic Church during its noon mass Sunday and videotaped the service and then desecrated the holy water font by putting his face in the water, blowing bubbles, and lapping the water up, <laughs> according to police logs. The article goes into detail on how the police and... <laughs> oh god, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine this? This dude is like I'm imagining Irish. this in the middle of a Sunday service. And just I that awkward God moment. God in spirits. Let me just shit all over this fucking tradition. In the area, had been warned about this man for three years from other police departments. These alerts to police about Connell 
were being sent out nationwide. The chief of the town even said, and I quote, We've never had as many alerts on any one person nationwide as I've seen with this guy. They do not name Herc in this article, but you can tell it's him by this paragraph. He has a particular animosity for police officers, <laughs> Waterbury said, and has very oh God, aggressive behavior works. toward the cops, calling all cops baby rippers and other names. <laughs> he obviously is trying to goad officers into some sort of action that he could maybe file a lawsuit or something. I don't know. There is even a... <laughs> Can you imagine that he thinks that he's actually being malicious and trying to get a lawsuit when her like legitimately just thinks they're baby rapers? Yes. Like like it's not actually trying to get like a, a windfall lawsuit. Like yeah, he no. legitimately thinks you rape babies. Paragraph <laughs> <laughs> in the article that reveals. Oh, that this guy ain't crazy. He's just looking for free money. <laughs> yeah. That's the most charitable thing I think I've ever seen someone take to this man. <laughs> Hometown in fuck. Nebraska always gets calls from other police departments across the country asking about Connell. Then on March 25th, his latest YouTube channel went down. He started another new channel that day, but that one is also gone. On the 26th, it seemed like Herc had worried some fans and maybe had gotten sick or disappeared at some point because a fan named Dog Jackson posted a video excited that Herc had returned <laughs> after a period of absence. Like, I'm very glad that Fed Smoke is back. Could have gone really bad for the dude. We all know that he's been out trashing dirty cops for a very long time now. But he'll bounce back. Cause he's the Fed Smoker, all right? Fed Smoker is the number one hero that we need. He's not the one that we deserve. He's the hero that we need in America <laughs> right now, all right? In April, Connell is began it? to look for a new car to drive. It seems he was in Bend, Oregon during this time. While there, Herc decided he loved Trump and supported the wall. Something in Oregon put a fire in Connell's behind because on April 14th, it was reported that he was posting up a crazy amount of videos. Before that, he was posting now gone videos with descriptions hinting that he found a lot of dirty cops in Bend, Oregon. It seems like he was on a new mission. Sadly, we only have these forum discussion posts to put together the pieces of what we've lost. April 14th, it looks like he was in Sisters, Oregon, as an article was posted about him on their KTVZ website, titled, Man Recording Offensive Videos in Sister Sparks Concern. The article detailed the usual, that Herc was making everyone very uncomfortable, <laughs> but he wasn't doing anything illegal, so they could not arrest him, but- I it... love how you read this article, and at one point it says, I just only looked, like, I could only look somewhere really quick, right? I see in the videos, Connell Peterson, right directly below that, label such baby rapers. <laughs> it's like, yep, it's definitely about him. Okay, uh, no. Very clear. <laughs> No but he wasn't that. doing anything illegal, so they could not arrest him. But it does seem like he had some concerning behaviors. Employees at a store called Heritage USA claimed that he came into their store and yelled at customers. One paragraph reads, Despite being trespassed, banned from several buildings, including City Hall, Peterson said he wanted to show up on Thursday's City Council meeting. Assen said they were prepared. The article concluded with, Still, the sense of security is shaken in sisters. A man with a camera might be lurking anywhere. I have to tell my neighbors and my wife to be careful, Sosa said. Two Deschutes County Sheriff's deputies were present at Thursday's city council meeting. Sergeant Vance Lawrence said he doesn't know if Peterson is dangerous, but wanted to be cautious and make sure the meeting was not disrupted. Lawrence said there were no actual sightings of Peterson on Thursday, just many calls about his visit Wednesday. He said it is possible that Peterson has moved on to another city. To further how fearful the general public was of him, a woman in the comment section wrote, Some of us here in Sweet Home, Oregon have dealt with Connell Peterson off and on for the last four years. He is a scary guy. If we see his vehicle in town or behind us, we do not go to our house until we know for sure he is not behind us or following us. 
KBND also wrote an article on Peterson on April 14, 2016. On April 15, Perk began to ask his followers for donations. On the 17th, he posted a bunch of times. First, he asked a fan to make him a new channel because YouTube is taking him down and is convinced this is the media trying to censor him. Then something set him off because he began to write post after post in all caps to a Fedsmoker Fedsmoker page. Justin, Forrest Courtney is a baby ray for folks. I'm still gathering info. I heard bits of the story, but I'm not hatching all out. Oh my God. To my fans, whoever owns I'm YouTube, still gathering info, bag, but that's all VR stamped up and ready for my car. If you would, he's going on there a load of times. Baby ray for stamp that puke and whoever else you want on my car and net, I'll put them there. On April 18th, he started a new channel called Fed Smoker Herc. This channel was nuked within a day by Google. He came back immediately <laughs> as Fed Smoker Sisters. Herc left Sisters, Oregon, Fed and on May 4th, <laughs> it was reported he was in Lebanon, Oregon. Herc continued to annoy people around cities in Oregon. But something funny happened on May 27th. A Crime Watch Facebook page for Sisters, Oregon <laughs> began to talk about Fed Smoker again. One man starts the thread with, Here is the link to Fed Smoker's new YouTube channel. Sign into YouTube and report his channel. It will get taken down. We can play the game as well. Go this to his about tab found, and click it? the flag and report Allie, user. By they seemed to be <laughs> tracking his location to avoid him. Posters even wrote of how people were arrested for getting physical with Herc. Also, someone commented that Herc had a woman with him, and some people thought he might have kidnapped this woman. On June 19th, Herc started another new channel called The Ghost Maker. That channel got terminated as well. This year is a void, essentially. Just a graveyard of channels. Things seem to be slow, according to the forum posters, during the next month but he started a new channel around July 9th, which one poster described, he just put up a new account. The videos he's uploaded aren't all that interesting yet, but here is the channel description. Fed smoker is a coming pigs. I think it's great Dallas pigs got shot up. I predicted this and more. It's going to get messy, I believe. Hell's a coming, huh, pigs? One of her altercations. Did he say Dallas cops? Yeah. Wait, is he talking about the um the terrorist event there where there was like 19 cop shot in one night? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. This would be right around the same time the fucking Baton Rouge shooter happened, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Fed Smoker and TYT crossover. <laughs> it's really bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> with locals was written about in an article posted to a website called the new era which was posted january 20th 2016 the article was titled scuffle with camera operator results in woman's arrest apparently herc was filming a woman and her niece in lebanon oregon the woman got upset at herc and knocked the camera out of his hands the woman called the police and ended up getting arrested herself for knocking the camera <laughs> out of herc's hand the article writes that's what tweak does to you kid peterson said after gentry was taken into custody by the Sweet Home <laughs> Police Department. Peterson has traveled the country to periodic stops in Wait, that's a tweet does to you, kid? Is he accusing the mom, the, the aunt of being on speed? Yes. Or some drug. Tweak it out in some way, shape, or form. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is his catchphrase, you know, Spider Man's sister and says, and remember, kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love these fucking interjections where they're just like so short and to the point that it, it makes no fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> home, posting a variety of videos where he insults public officials, police officers, and others, then uploads the videos to YouTube. He has publicly labeled public officials in Sweet Home as, quote, baby ra unquote, <laughs> and frequently refers to people as baby ra in his videos. What's up, ugly? Don't take my baby! <laughs> Do 
fucking knees, you fucking pedophile! I don't give a fuck. Okay, you're the one going on the net. You're the one that's never been. Call it, bitch. You're going to jail, slut. On July 21st, 2016, Perk asked to join the Sisters of Oregon Crime Watch. I just love you. You're going to jail, Oh, God. Facebook page. Uh, the people uh, on Facebook uh, uh. were getting amped. In August, Perk was still in Oregon, and he seemed to have a girl living in his car with him. I guess he got himself a blue-haired girlfriend. Our hero, Connold, disappeared for a whole month from the internet before resurfacing under another deleted YouTube channel. On October 8th, we got an update on Connold by user Tuki, who wrote, Fedsmoker catches wind of a warrant for his arrest issued out of Council Bluffs, Iowa, and issues a formal response to the police department. Another user around this time discovered Herc also had a warrant in Hastings, Nebraska. Yeah, his his response is, fuck you, baby rapers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the official response, too. Say, That's on record. <laughs> As well. With the walls closing in on Herc? Nah, man. November 27th, Connell decided his next target. The entirety of the bike gang, Hell's Angels. Why? Because one of them looked at his car. I forgot Jesus. about this, and the crossover now is just... Good God. Ugh, yeah. Slug. Why? Why do you have to be the way that you are? I hate everything that you choose to be. We have the Hells Angels. We have a Steve. <laughs> <laughs> we have Amy Rapers. <laughs> Car funny. Because one of them looked at his car funny. December 9th, Herc started the channel Fed Smoker Hidden Sight. I believe that this is his channel. This one still exists on YouTube, but it is an oasis in a desert of dried up dead channels till about 2018. On December 12th, something interesting happened. A user by the name of Trauma appeared on the Kiwi Farms forums to speak about the run in with Fed Smoker. They wrote, So, he is currently in Lyle, Oregon, stalking my cousin. This crazy bastard had my cousin traveling with him for a while and seems to have lost it when she left him. I hope he moves on soon, for everyone's sake. And then Meowthkip responds, she have Has he called her a, a baby raper yet? To which trauma responds, <laughs> Yup. <laughs> the first question Has he called her a baby raper yet? <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> and he beat up a guy in Lyle and is now on the run with a warrant. Dumb ass. We are watching for him, and now the rules have changed. Cops won't be as nice now. Driven out of area. Apparently the same day as this, Herc appeared to be very beaten up, and his car had been smashed up with a hammer. He decided to go away for a while after this, and go to the beach. I believe this is an event he has spoken about later, when a whole town turned against him and attacked his car. Though considering Herc uploads out of order, it could have been more than one time this has happened. He announced his departure to the beach in a now gone video. In the description of the video, he writes an essay which is hard to understand, but it seems amongst the word salad, he was separating from some girl, probably the girl who had been living in his car. He called her snapper, powerful. On December 13th, it seemed like the violence Herc was involved with was escalating. Julius Evola posts, He's been in at least two altercations involving physical violence in the last 24 hours or so that he seemingly started. At this point, I would hope they'd be after his ass. On December 14th, Herc announced that the woman he had separated from had killed herself from overdosing. Mostly, Herc was re-uploading old videos after this to the new Hidden Channel account, while also uploading his new adventures to channels that are gone. I love how his Hidden Channel has Hidden Channel in the name, and it remained unfound. <laughs> You, you know what? I also like. He may have found some strange loophole <laughs> in which YouTube could not actually find a, a name for a channel called Hidden Channel. <laughs> right? Like he just broke the algorithm. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> what were you saying anyway, Jim? Oh, it's just. <laughs> I, it, it, I can't. 
I just after seeing all of this, so right? Cool. And then like you know, like he's on the run. It's like I'm surprised it took it that long for a town to turn against him. <laughs> yeah. like, like like it just it's over. It's uh, roughly ten years from the start of like everything. Like yeah. slightly over ten years. Like for a decade, he got yeah, away with took- shit. That long for people to finally get sick of him and stand up. World <laughs> Star! Him. Oh my god. Forever. I'm On December 18th, <laughs> according to posters, he was in Arizona on the run from a warrant and trying to get a new dog. On December 24th, another all time Fed Smoker classic was posted. Before we oh, go this through this so video, good. just keep in mind the most famous memes from Herc are feathering it. And then there's a few lines from this video we are about to enjoy. This was a video where Herc approaches a fence to oh, speak with a security guard. I don't, I don't care. I don't want to be. This told. is America, you dumb son of a bitch, okay? You dumb son of a bitch. I'm a private person. Now, this might be a repost, but this is the earliest posting of this video I could find. This video will get Herc a lot of fans when discovered in 2019. The conversation in the video immediately gets hostile because of Herc. What do you guys, how do you get a job here, you f- face? Well, not by talking like that. Well, you know what? You're fired, bud. No, okay? I'm not. Herc starts asking how to get the same job as this man while also calling him a p- What's up there, Chomo? Listen here. What do you guys, how do you get a job here, you f- face? Well, not by talking like that. Herc then claims he will get the man fired for not following Proto, a.k.a. Protocol. Look at you. You know what? You're fired, okay? You didn't follow Proto. What do you, how do you get a job here? You know here? what Protocol is? Yeah, I take cops' badges all the time doing it. They bicker some more, <laughs> it ends, and Herc closes the conversation with an absolute gem. Say I have. Oh, you, you just got your job there, buddy. It's baby rapper on your face clothes, okay? Okay? Ta-ta there, retard. He didn't fall <laughs> proto, buddy. You're done. Fed Smoker spent Christmas going to the Salvation Army. Rammer. <laughs> <laughs> just that whole fucking video is like one of my favorites like and get... it's in that playlist that i have <laughs> want to get that security guard a cup of coffee for that trouble oh kiwi you'd be all out of coffee at this point you, you, you need oh. more than coffee you would need like some alcohol <laughs> like, he needs Irish like a coffee. strong he needs yeah, a strong whiskey yeah no i can't i can't counseling. give alcohol up That'd be weird. I'd get in trouble. I mean, he had just um, Hulk Hogan want to become a baby raper. I think that would be the you giving him alcohol would be like the least weird thing he's experienced. Say, it may just go unnoticed and just waved. So, uh, when's your break, officer? <laughs> On the 26th, there were two videos uploaded to the hidden channel that were of concern. If this was Herc's channel and not a fan channel, and these videos were uploaded at the same time they were made, it seems like things were continuing on their violent path. He posted a video of his hand all bloody and dripping, with super glue globbed on top. And then he posted a video wiping blood off the back of his windshield. Wiping everybody's blood off my car. 2017 <laughs> deleted channels. 2016 ends and Herc goes up and then everybody <laughs> blood off my car. You know, if there was ever a time to think you're maybe not leading a normal life, it should be when you're wiping other people's blood off your car. Right? <laughs> what the fuck? That should be the come to Jesus moment. <laughs> <laughs> The 2017 posting to more now gone channels. On the second of the year, it was revealed Herc got a dog. We also see what happened to Bud. Bud is still with him too. So he has the dogs Boogie and Bud. Apparently Bud was trying (laughs) to get a dog named Boogie. (laughs) Does his dog crypto scam too? (laughs) No. No, but at this rate, with him smoking in the car all the time, dog's gonna have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna start up like a fucking cigarette lighter pet care service. <laughs> this is how you groom your dog. This is how you feather it. <laughs> <laughs> feather your dog. <laughs> 
and Herc posted a long description on how he will need to be more tough in Bud's training. On February 2nd, Herc uploaded another video of him bleeding after being stabbed to his hidden site channel. He seems to be disheveled and incoherent in this came video. Back. This stuff is <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was standing next to this cardboard box labeled baby rapers. <laughs> what was what's this box say? Free dog? I like free dogs. <laughs> Amazing kids. He just kind of. He, you know, not to look. He just kind of like put it in the thick show and just. Just give it a little. A little drip. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. See, I have to rip myself to pieces, you stupid. Now, on February 11th, Kiwi farmer Tuki gave a quick summary of 2017 so far. Catching up with Fed Smoker. In a now deleted video from several weeks ago, the Herkster gave Bud up to go live with who appeared to be a grizzled gold prospector living in a trailer in Quartzsite, Arizona. Bud kept mauling Boogie. Herc's new puppy and had to go to a more suitable home. Herc and Boogie have now hit the road and are drifting around the southwest. He appears to have gone through Quartzsite, Kingman, Alamogordo, and Roswell. A tense conversation with New Mexico State Police reveals that Fedsmoker has been flagged nationwide as a threat to law enforcement. Herc finally had a new target. It felt like a- You know damn well, like, that he wore that as a badge of honor. Like, he was probably- that was probably the proudest day in his moment is to be a threat to law enforcement. Right. He's like, hell yeah, I finally smoked enough. I'm on the radar. I got him on the wire, kids. <laughs> These baby rapers ain't going to be hanging around long. A while since an investigation. February 12th, Herc announced he will be shipping the illegal immigrants back to Mexico. When they come in once, we deport them. When they come in twice, they go to jail for five years. When they come in another one, it'll be 10 years. And you know what's going to happen? Sort of pretty simple. They hear they get caught again, they go to jail for five years. Guess what's going to happen? They're not coming back, folks. And since the beginning of 2017, Connell began getting into Donald Trump as well. And on February 14th, he started his new channel, Trump Fed Smoker. Herc announced this new oh channel marked the beginning <laughs> of a new Fed Smoker season in the description for the channel. And the season kicked off with. Herc starting another channel, this one called Bud and Fed Smoker. And on the same day as the creation of this channel, he posted his first video to the Bud channel, and it was an amazing video. Herc posted an edited trailer for one of his movies. The music in the background was a song Herc made himself laid over top some of his best moments. Baby Raper here, Americans. Stopping here on your trip to where? To the next dirty cop I put in prison, sir. Everything about this trailer is <laughs> <laughs> I love how confident he's on, too. Herc started a... <laughs> Like, he, he really is the irate gamer of Sovereign Citizens. <laughs> so there was this thing that went on, and it, it gets briefly mentioned in here, but it, it's a way more in-depth thing. There was a feud between a couple different YouTubers around this time that went on, and uh, one of them, the whole tree thing. So this guy sits there, and he's out in the woods, and he's, like, popping at this tree, but it's, like, a hollow tree. You can tell it's already dead inside, and it falls over, right? So <laughs> fucking Fed Smoker, in a retaliatory video, walks up to this, like, 75-year-old maple. <laughs> and starts beating on it. Like, it's a fucking heavy bag, except this thing is solid. It ain't moving. <laughs> it's Did like, the Emperor it's Nero like, thing. It's like with a tree. <laughs> it's like probably four to five foot around at the at the base, like near ground level, at least, at least diameter. And like, it's just this tree ain't fucking moving. And like, he comes back and his hands are all bloodied and possibly broke a couple fucking fingers. And like. Just like, just to show up this other guy that was also a YouTuber. Jesus. <laughs> Another new channel called Fed Smoker 2017. On March 17th, he uploaded a strange video to his new channel. He was fighting with a man outside the car and claiming this man was sent to kill him. 
Ta-ta! Ta-ta, wiener boy! See you later, baby rapper! On the same day, Perk posted <laughs> another video of him showing a cop his computer, rambling accusations on how the police officers are deleting his videos. He is convinced cops have a device to delete his files without touching his computer. So I'm going to show you. This it's is very interesting. YouTube I've never support. seen this before. This, this is a good hard drive. Always and then this here is the next video is only after he left with his vehicle that was pointed directly at me. So that was important for the vehicle to be pointed at me because whatever they nail me with, it's like my hard drive, okay? I'm not kidding you. Whatever happened to Herc in Oregon seems to have affected him and his paranoia towards people grew. March 16th, it seems he was in Dayton, Washington. He posted a video entitled, Dayton, Washington, oh, dad always wins, I thought of dad. Fed smoker told you this there, idiots. The punctuation in the title was all wrong. In the video, he's with his little black dog, explaining to an officer about how stalkers are following him, but he doesn't think it's cops sending them this time. Listen, this is my only thing. If they come up to the car, I have rules that I don't do nothing until they touch the car. That means that much. Okay. And then I come out of this son of a gun car and I have a talk with them. In a lot of cases like this, it's the law themselves that send these guys my way. But I don't think you guys did this this time, okay? Yeah, I don't think you did because I think that you guys right. like me, don't you? See you later. Do you guys like me? Do you like me a little bit? All right, guys, I'm going to take a picture of your car. So I, uh, he wants to spray people with mace for touching his car. The cop tells him not to mace people and to call the cops instead. Well, now, just give us a call. And we'll hey, let me ask you man. this. If, if, I, if I accidentally just spray them down with mace because they're being rude, is my in the, am I in the clear? That, no, you're not in the clear. It's assault when you, when you do something that they don't want. So you have to have- Well, if I don't want them, them irritating my dear car, they just let the air out of my us, tires. Then give us a call. On the same day as this, Herc posted a video showing he was locked out of his Google <laughs> account and is convinced the FBI and Google were working together and trying to kill him. Look at this, they just killed me, the what? FBI did. They can hear me right through the goddamn thing. Look, they just killed that site. Let's see if we're allowed to load on Connell Peterson. Sign in, oh my God. Look at this, recovery phone flash. I'm he uploaded a bunch more videos on the 16th of March. I am unsure if they are old or new videos, as some of the names seem familiar in the titles, and some of the faces are vaguely familiar as well. Or maybe I just can't tell men apart. I don't know. There is a new scene, however, in a video titled, Washington State versus Fed Smoker comes the real deal, poor guy. Hurst your dirty. Where Herc is in an office with a chubby man in glasses, explaining all guy. his issues with people, and the man <laughs> explains to Herc, his issues may be because he's always filming people without permission. Okay, so I have a little map here. I want to see this. You can you can record okay. it too. Okay. Well, I'm surely you, recording. You know, yeah. And you should know too that in Washington State, yeah. it's a two-party consent state. Do you know what that What's means? What's that mean? What that means is you you legally can't just go around and record anybody you want. You're supposed to get their permission. Well, I told so like you I was talk, filming. No, yeah, it, well, the no, camera's pointing no, right at you, right, Steve know, Austin. But you still have to admit you have to tell people that. So I'm not. I don't. To me, it doesn't matter. I'm a public employee. The description leads us to believe he's having issues with the I'm citizens sorry. of Washington State. The description read, oh, I wish I could drinking. count all the poor souls I've ruined. Maybe you fans should start counting for old dad. They mayor was in hiding again. Filthy. I'm pretty sure Washington pigs ruined a dad's tires in the past, folks. I'm guessing they think they don't. Time always tells all. Until then, we're meeting some great folks, huh? Washington shows are kind of destructive little pigs, huh, folks? That's nice. Everybody seems to have a team, even a dad. I've tattooed the wicked people in this country, etc., etc. Real gangsters. Pretty good folk, little angry at the world, but good folk. I never call upon them, but I know I can. That's a chump game. I put in my own time, folks. I promise I have more solid soldiers than any of you, Fed Smoker. On the 17th of March, Herc finally uploaded something to filthy churches. This was a video of him being kicked out of the Love's truck stop in Colorado and being convinced the cops arranged this. Let's be honest, guys, they probably did. Fed Smoker for life. <laughs> Sheriff Fed Smoker. On the 24th of March, he started two new channels. One is now gone, but the remaining one is called Sheriff 
fed smoker. One of the first videos he posted to the Sheriff Fed Smoker channel had him driving up to what looked to be a Love's gas station. While he drove up, he started claiming that the chomos are all congregating there. See all these chomos here? They're all congregating. <laughs> he posted a bunch of videos on the 24th. In one video, he showed off the paint job on his car. Show and us it seemed like he began here at names. the 7 Eleven. <laughs> Big slushies, real sus. <laughs> They're getting the blue slushies. I, I could totally see Slug doing that as a fucking bit. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is that Slug would do it as a bit. This man is serious. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, sometimes Slug can be serious. I mean. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. ...on the car, and whoever was on the car was a baby raider. This included the Mormons. Look at that. Burn the Book of the Mormons. Joseph Smith <laughs> was a killer baby raider type guy. The Mormons are a dead date. Never forget that. This man needs Pope physical Francis help. Francis is a chomo baby raider. Miss Trump screws donkeys. Not she has in the past, anyways. Screwed every fungus f***ing world. And up with old Trump. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Joseph Smith was a trouble baby raider. A killer and a piece of sh called. <laughs> Joseph Smith was a chubbo baby raper. <laughs> <laughs> and he's driving around Colorado with this and he doesn't see the, the issue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe he goes after Scientology next. <laughs> um, Joseph, like man, Elrond, Elrond was Elrond a child raper. Says the Mormons go to hell, baby. <laughs> also, he pointed out his car is getting lighter in color, a symbol of his car being more godlike. Thank you, Chief Brown of these Americans again. <laughs> It's getting whiter, Flash. Dog. He was really stuck on hating Mormons on this Sheriff Fed Smoker channel. This is the town, Chomos, Mormons. We got a drought after this. He started more channels at the beginning of April, but they are gone too. But on April 9th, a petition on change.org to extradite Connell Peterson All right, so was how created. many channels is that so far? people. Since you've been watching, I think 25 or 30. Christ, alive in the bike ride. What is this? What is going on with this man? Where is his mother? Dead. Uh, ended up signing a petition, which opened... Where he bought the, uh... Long question to ask, Kiwi. Good disguise, good disguise. Maybe she's just trying to... Hide the Where is his mother? Name. Dead. Uh, he even Rest in peace skeleton. away from this bitch. He even bought a plastic skeleton to take her with him. <laughs> She's like, this is my mama. She ain't no baby race. <laughs> well, she's a baby growler. Aside from that part, yeah, he actually did say, yeah, this is my mother going with my traveling with my mom. What? <laughs> yeah, with up. plastic skeleton. <laughs> was created. 353 people ended up signing what? the petition, which opened up with Conald Peterson, aka Fed Smoker. AKA numerous other names, is a fugitive from justice in Adams County, Nebraska. He also uses YouTube to harass, humiliate, and destroy American lives. He causes people to live in Shut fear up, and has involved innocent women right, and bro. children You're in just his a agenda. Pooper. The goal of this petition was to get Peterson to Nebraska I mean, to face the word for his arrest. The people <laughs> on this petition were obviously victims of her annoying them. And Why let's be honest, Connell didn't beer. really be on the streets as he is. People in the comments spoke of allegations and complaints against Herc. One woman claimed he f***ed her. No evidence, to which Herc responded, Ugly hole is your name, huh? You were raped by the dog next door, bitch. Ha 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 ha. You're nothing civil. <laughs> you still have to hold the water up in your tweaker <laughs> hole. Herc even name. made oh. an official comment you were on by the, the dog next door. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Somewhere in my mind, Mr. Mediker took some inspiration from this guy. <laughs> you guys think that, that the song Bad to the Bone is probably his spirit song? I can see oh. it. Oh, yeah. no one. I got, I got sad. No one laughed. 
I was going to say Born in the USA by Bruce Stingstein, but, you know. No, yeah, it's not aggressive yeah. enough. Nah, his <laughs> song is, I'm a real American. <laughs> baby, yeah. are baby rapers. Oh, my God. I've been raping the babe. Oh, man. I just... <laughs> Team America, World Police. <laughs> America's the fuck. <laughs> Looks, and then no one laughs. <laughs> you know, Fed Smoker doesn't really does How do you think? What do you think his dating life was like? Or could be like? He, he doesn't date. He, he just goes, has one night stands on his uh, journey to stop the federal government. I haunt baby rapers. When, you mean the cops? When They're not doing cops. This. When you're doing God's work, Kiwi, you don't have time for women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't he's there. Compare this to God's work. <laughs> he threw that Bible away. You weren't there when I saw him throw it. Oh, oh he I threw it. Jesus away. He still believes in God. <laughs> then how dare he insult <laughs> the Lord? He wrote To all you that think you're a team, gather yourselves. I will meet and fight every one of you at the same time. I'll crush you. Let a dad even see you slightly step up. I'll cripple you on the house. I'll meet you all under my river. Send all you got. Tell a dad when you want to meet. I never run from puns. Big quite, huh? As always, I come alone. Let's do it anytime. You just step up once. I promise not even one of you will show. Oh, dad will break your necks. I have plenty of surprises of my own. You're just filthy chomo pigs, huh, Mathers? Stamp goes on the car in the morning, huh? Bit with that ugly chick, huh? Then your lover, Buttercase, huh? Punk Mathers, you're a punk. Lord Fed Smoker, you're nothing, huh, Chomo? The creator of the petition was passionate about this and kept posting, huh, Chomo? The the rest of this post is so worthwhile. Hmm. I know what Chomo Herc, means. Herc Fed Smoker, fuck you, you fat ass prison bitch. <laughs> Head back straight to Deadwood, I dare you. Uh, we all know you won't because you're a coward. You ran those town, or you ran out of those towns oh. like the prison bitch you are. I'll talk on the other side of the cell door, but once the door opens, the bitch, the bitch cowers. I'm guessing he's going for, or the Open bitch cowers. Open the takes damn over. door. <laughs> he replies back, "Hello, Chomo boy." <laughs> Oh He's like Donga, but unhinged enough to actually show I'm, up. I'm getting, I'm getting the vibes of that Dr. Filming, which is just like, open the damn door before I throw rocks at your window, you dirty hole. <laughs> Chomo. Ready to fight? Where are you at, swank punk? Chomo? City? Huh, boy? What the fuck is Chomo? Child molester. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, he just casually does this, like, I'm gonna, pedophilia accusations. I'm gonna pretend oh, I never heard that word before in my life. Oh, you'll hear it more. <laughs> Kirk Fed Smoker, I'll be in Walla Walla in the morning. I'll meet you anytime, fat ass. <laughs> You're the your ass healed from getting butt fucked in prison. <laughs> we both know you are a prison bitch. <laughs> oh my god. It sounds like a fucking wrestling promo. <laughs> it does. I love it. It's so Attitude Era. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. The creator of the petition was passionate about this and kept posting updates to the page. Meanwhile, Herc kept starting YouTube channels and kept getting them banned all throughout April. Fitty Men from the forums wrote a summary of Herc's newest video on April 26th, which the video is of course gone, but it was a nice little update. Feds jumped a few channels. Newest one is Fed Smoker News Network with an appropriate logo. Fed's newest video is of him talking about trying to stamp oh the Hells Angels while slugism. talking with a local deputy. Yeah, Slug News Network. <laughs> Williams. This video is fairly long in terms of Fed's usual content, but it gives a nice perspective of how friendly Fed can treat cops that he has already previously screened not to be baby. At some point, it seems Herc was previously attacked screened. in Dayton, Washington. The signs of this come from a mirror from the Fed Smoker Historical Society, posted May 12th. By the way, great place for archival footage of Fed Smoker, Fed Smoker Historical Society. Highly recommend it. 
I, I the saw fact some... that it exists is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there are some fantastic videos on there. Okay, <laughs> they, <laughs> they're doing. I great forget work. the name. I forget the name of the channel, but I believe he would make best friends with the guy who claimed that. Well, I think it was fucking either Bigfoot or Sasquatch gave him a blowy or some fuck. Oh, the <laughs> one that I... Yeah. The dog trainer that I sent to Patrick like three months ago. Yeah, the guy with the weird Minecraft armor roleplay. Yeah. I think those two would get along so well. <laughs> Bigfoot, I'm after you, you child molester. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, fat smoker! You ain't getting through this. This is dog bag. <laughs> and they put on the same. They put on the same stuff that the guy wore. <laughs> Just different brands of what they put on. You can't prove anything. <laughs> I was sodomized by Bigfoot. You see them coming in like those guys from that show, like when I wake up, well I know I'm good. Oh my god. <laughs> 2017. This is probably close to the time of the event, since Herc was recently in Dayton, Washington. Herc says the whole city had attacked him, wrecked his car, broke his finger, and he was making a police report on the event. Just Americans, I had a little trouble out here. The whole city tried to kill me tonight. Tried to kill Boogie through rocks from hell in here. Huge rocks, Americans. Huge. Take a look at these. I can't even pick him up. They're so damn big. <laughs> this is the million. second town now that has fully been weaponized against Fed Smoker. Try to kill me. I had to bust out this door bla blazing. It's amazing. Do Roll this? down the hill, Americans, and 20 pickups at least. It's quite a night. My finger's broke, I think, is the only thing out of it. Boogie's okay. I tuffed him under my leg. It's been one hell of a night. Yeah. Sir, uh, she just wants to verify she will tell yes. us. Over the past year, there were hints here and there of Herc interacting more with a YouTube audience. There were a few different commenters he warred with or conversed with as friends. One of those people were Flashman453, which was apparently Herc's number one fan. Sadly, all these videos are gone, but I looked up the guy's username, found his channel, and more. He existed. Strangely enough, I also found some dude complaining that Flashman was telling Herc he was a sex offender, trying to start shit. There seems to be layers of strange online feuds that began to pop up involving Herc. There will be a Herc versus random small YouTubers at some point in the timeline. This is kind of the setup. Herc started another new channel on July 17th, 2017. This channel still exists and it is called Herc Undefeated. A lot of his video summaries during this time period involved Connell bragging about getting into physical fights with people. This might be the in real life fight portion of the Connell true story. The next day, on July 18th, he posted a the video. Dog arc. <laughs> gonna give himself a her hernia if he keeps doing that. Oh man. Challenging people to fight him while in a bathroom. I wrote he is tweaking and very muscular in my notes. Not kind enough. <laughs> To let you I feel bad for you, Mary. me. I'm kind enough to let you know where I'm at. I'm kind enough to tear all your heads off. Where are they? I am the nice guy. Where are they? <laughs> where are they? <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> Connell claims he does not do drugs besides You're marijuana. You're more scary than a but there bulldog, are videos and you think you are snorting. a huh? He's more scary. He, he's less scarier than a bulldog. <laughs> and those guys are chubby little babies that growl like a bitch. <laughs> claims he does not do drugs besides marijuana, but there are videos of him out there snorting white lines of something. Maybe it's sugar? Herc began a rivalry on this day as well with a YouTuber called El Presidor. I looked up this guy. He apparently had a- This is the guy. This is the guy he fought the tree against. This is Nick Rakita's <laughs> inspiration. Oh, El Presidor. He's legendary in his own right, too. Yeah, I was looking a bit into El Presidor and a couple other people that get brought up here.
had a lot of subs, but got banned from YouTube in 2018. He does like sports That's and the video. video game stuff. That's the video of him hitting a fucking dead tree and it just like falls over. <laughs> like a strong gust of wind would have taken the tree out naturally. <laughs> but he also makes videos punching things. I'm tired of this shit. You want to camp, huh? Huh? Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Fucking idiot. What did that tree ever do to you? I love the off screen fuck bitch, goddammit, cocksucker. <laughs> no that idea. Like, this isn't about him. All you need to know <laughs> is he's Fed Smoker's new enemy. He's like the mentor of some guy named Raging Rob, who later on keeps trying to meet up with Fed Smoker in real life. Another interesting character. It's all really confusing because oh, so many videos are now gone from both Fed Smoker and El Presidor. But just know that Herc is now after El Presidor. Kiwi Farms user and Ominous writes about this new rivalry. I don't even know who El Presidor is. I wouldn't want to be that baby rapper though. Heart attack. Something <laughs> terrible happens before the situation with El Presidor and Raging Rob could escalate. I don't know who El Presidor is, but I don't want to be that baby raper right now. <laughs> I don't know who he is, so I'm going to make a claim as if it were fact. Yeah, oh. slugism. <laughs> oh my gosh, GG, lovable! <laughs> I'm sorry, right, but... but... Fuck you anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when you when you see one slug, you've seen them all. Yes. <laughs> Before the situation with El Presidor and Raging Rob could escalate, August 1st, 2017, Herc posted a video to the Hidden Sight channel in the hospital. That's he had puppy. a heart attack. Thankfully, his puppy is with him. Underneath the video, his number one Thanks bestie, boy. Flashban, commented with a get well brother, and Herc pinned the comment. On August 6th, Raging Rob posted a video wishing Herc a speedy recovery, but hypothesized Herc may be doing this to get out of a warrant for his arrest in Colorado. If Fed Smoker oh. Connell Peterson, if you see this, I wish you a speedy recovery. I wish you a speedy recovery. There's been rumors saying that he's faking it because he doesn't want to go back to prison. Or he doesn't want to face the warrants he has out for his arrest in the state of Colorado or in Washington. But even more curious is a comment below. Guard Dog in the comments writes, That was an old video. Connell's in jail. Due to his many death threats to law enforcement, he was charged with felony harassment. A judge imposed a sentence banning him from YouTube for an unknown period of time. Fed Smoker rose from wherever he was September 6th. The account he reappeared to is gone, but a Kiwi farmer grabbed some screen caps of some comments of Herc threatening his YouTube haters to fight him in real life. Herc was beginning to be noticed on YouTube, but the attention wasn't positive. Herc in these comments mentioned he's in Wyoming. Guard Dog and him were preparing to meet up. Guard Dog told Herc he had run from him before and that Herc needs to come up to Walla Walla to prove he's tough. Herc responded to Guard Dog's challenge with like 10 comments in all caps <laughs> calling Guard Dog a chomo. Guard Dog came off as a troll at first, but he seemed to actually be upset and involved. It seems a little too invested to be a troll. September 8th, 2017, he was still in Wyoming and he wrote this essay on his Herc Smoker channel discussion page. I tried to understand the post he made in September, but it's word salad. Steve Justa, the ex-bestie of Herc made a reappearance October 2nd with a now deleted video calling out Fed Smoker. The video was about Herc owing him money. He also said Fed Smoker smelled bad. Apparently they made peace nine days later. <laughs> also on the 12th of October, a Kiwi farmer posted that Herc had posted a video on how to kill someone. This video was immediately flagged down and Herc lost the channel associated with it. This kind of put a light on why Herc kept getting banned. Herc started another new channel November 2nd called Hell Herc. The channel no longer exists, thanks Google, but the description of the channel still does. And, uh... Lord Fed Smoker has just briefed in the new mission last night. From now on, the next soul I even see, look at my dearest car. I will be filming you tight. The I will be going from the mayor on down to teachers, preachers, and all loins to wear the famous stamp, starting with all and every. Even all schools shall wear the famous stamp. Bring your gun. Your friends, your everyone. Prison is lonely for all of you if you get that lucky. The stamps come late, but the words come now, Lord Fed Smoker. 
We'll see who the real Chomos are now, folks. One even slight glance, I will stamp all you know in your face and name. Come show oh dad you're tough, I will take your souls. Sometime in November, Herc made his way to Arizona. We learn of this when Raging Rob posted a video of his fed smoker sighting in Quartzsite, Arizona. In the video, Raging Rob elaborates that Herc has been there for a week and that he has been banned from a location already. This is the I-10. I, uh, I'm gonna walk over there, see if he's still there, but uh, fed smoker, is in the area. I swear it was his car. I swear to God it was his car. Raging Rob then posted a series of videos stalking around the Love's parking lot to find Herc. He found him asleep and decided not to bother him. Things were kind of quiet, but around December 15th, 2017, something dramatic happened. First came Facebook posts from a Smith County, Kansas Facebook. The official page posted, Chad Meyer, Smith County Emergency Manager, has verified that the Smith Center Elementary School is in lockout status. This can be confused with lockdown and is not the same thing. It represents a heightened security awareness and exposure. This triggered a bunch of different cities' Facebook pages to take notice of Smith County, Kansas. They all began to post about this sighting as well, because Herc was genuinely causing a lot of towns grief. His reputation was catching up with him. There was a video posted at some point, but the original is gone, but it was mirrored on a channel not associated with Herc. The video involves Connold and a civilian in a fight outside the Fedsmoker mobile. The video is taken from Herc's point of view, so this must be a re-upload and the original must have been flagged down. But a very angry man approaches Herc, screaming that the school is now in lockdown, thanks to Herc threatening people on the internet. Stay! Fucking school's on lockdown because of you, buddy. Lockdown? Why is that? You're fucking freaking threatening to kill people, that's why. Herc denies this accusation. Herc exits the car, and they both start you fighting. That guy, yeah. You're being threatening. Stay right here, buddy. You're going huh? to prison. You ain't gonna bait me to go to jail, dude. You're going to prison. Dude, this yeah? World star! World star! It was all very anticlimactic. <laughs> Swing, bitch. You're gonna do it. Bitch. You ain't gonna Swing it, bitch. Ooh. Swing it. You want a world star? Yeah? World star! World star! World Swing. Star. Swing it. Swing it up. Swing. What are you gonna do? Two days later, Herc posted a long essay in a YouTube comment section about how he is going to stamp all the women of Kansas. He also called a bunch of Kansas politicians p the typical. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. So, Jim, I think it's time we break the news before we get to the last video because the title's going to give it away anyway. Yeah. Is this the real life? So, is guys. So, bit of bad news. He dies. Yes. He's with a right now. Yay! Okay, anyway. Yeah. Unfortunately, he is, he is found dead. Um, in, in a very sad set of circumstances, too. Um, uh, let me guess. Um, he was found dead naked in his car alongside the body of his, de of his dog, right? You're close. Uh, okay. The dog was alive. Oh, thank okay. He wasn't, he wasn't naked alive. either. Yeah, he wasn't naked either. Dog, dog was like okay. brought to a but, loving home. But he died of a heart attack, right? Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I figured. Fake. Yep. Yeah, he he does die in the next video. Uh, we have a lot of time in between, so this ends around 2017. Um, so you still have four years of content though before that happens. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, a lot more confrontations with uh Did he mean twenty twenty one? Yeah. Yep. He yeah, he passed in twenty twenty one. I, I actually okay. was the one that broke that news to Jim even because Jim yeah, knew about him. Sad. And I was the one that had to be like, yeah, that's why it's a retrospective for this. So that's yeah. that's the big thing. Jim, what was your response? I was legitimately Last... upset because he's funny. Like he is, a, he is oh. he's a legendary character mm -hmm. on the internet. He's one of the first people on the internet. Like he was doing stuff on like Daily Motion before YouTube was a thing. Yeah, uh, like I probably should have said yeah. 
<laughs> I mainly said it as a joke, but now I feel that. Yeah, no, no, he has a sordid history of being like one of like the leg- like legitimately one of the first internet content creators. Yeah, like, yeah, this guy predates Chris Chan, all of that. Like, yeah, this yeah, man is. Uh, like... I didn't want to hear predates in Chris Chan in the same sentence. Today. Well, at least he well, wasn't yeah. predating preschoolers like Chris Chan. Yeah. Oh well. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll keep. I'll... Kiwi, you and your Kiwi big mouth. <laughs> what? Give me that pecker. Always gets you in trouble. <laughs> oh my god, this must be an inside joke. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want it to be an inside joke, put your pecker inside already. Yeah. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys hate me so much? I thought we were friends. So yeah, this this video is going to end on a sad note. That's why it's farewell, Herc, at the end of this. Yeah. But it's it's a great story up until then because like we have like Herc's dentistry school to look forward to. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) My God. Oh my God. That. That's I am not gonna be here for it. Y'all have an awesome night. I need to go to bed. (laughs) All right. Well, have a good night, Kiwi. Oh, Fuck you, Gigi. The good part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play the intro. I got to do a couple things. I'll be right back. All right. It's time on the Legend of Fed Smoker. Cause you're being threatening. Stay right here, buddy. You're going huh? to prison. You ain't gonna bait me to go to jail, dude. You're going to prison. Yeah. World star. World star. This video is part of a series. It's part four and should be watched together. But this episode could be viewed on its own in order to view the rise of our subject, Conald Peterson's fame on YouTube. This is the final chapter in Fed Smoker's story, the rise of the cult of Herc. Roll that opening. I wanna let you Americans know there is a God there's no Jesus in this book. I've read it. So, wing! <laughs> I am the greatest healer in all mankind. I am Dr. Herc Stealing. Stealing He's out of your life. Daddy, I'm big daddy. On January 8th, Kiwi Farmer Dildo Schwaggins posted an update. To expand on your last post about Fed's new mortal enemy, I did some digging into the confrontation. According to Alistair Thorne, a concerned grandfather who confronted Herc, his antics have resulted in two local schools being put on lockdown. Herc instantly decides Alistair is going to prison for his accusation, despite the fact that Herc has just been escorted out of a church by police roughly around that time. He claims Fed had a school in Smith Center, Kansas put on lockdown along with another school nearby, the other probably one in Mankato IDK. Alistair's Thorne posted a video of the altercation. I love how they got Mankato spot on, like no errors at all. <laughs> like even the AI read that completely correctly. It's also amazing how he has terrorized this town and they're like legitimately <laughs> locking down two educational buildings. <laughs> like, yeah, like that's no. impressive. Well, like, they, locking to... out, not locking down. Yeah. Well, they've had to like close two schools, <laughs> and the dude isn't actually committing a crime. No, no, and he doesn't actually get arrested. Like that's a skill to be that much of a nuisance to legally be doing this. <laughs> But that is now gone. But some Darn comments remain, smoker. where Alistair's expands on what had happened in the Kansas town. And that was that Herc had threatened to kill the whole town 
and had misbehaved <laughs> so extremely that he had to be escorted from a church. Herc made a new channel on January 11th, but he immediately deleted the channel, posting a series of goodbye messages. February rolls around with no update on Herc's whereabouts when a commenter named Gangster Talks spreads word that Fed Smoker may now be in jail in Oklahoma. This is just hearsay, though. Apparently, with Herc's rising infamy, around February 22nd, he attracted a bunch of idiots who tried to troll him. They wanted to be like the A-logs of famous lol cow Chris Chan. Hello? July! 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 Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? The problem is that Herc is a different breed. He is not one to be trolled with, and these idiots missed what makes Herc fun in the first place. Forum user Tuki gave another update on Herc on the 22nd, that he was spotted in Russell, Kansas, but he was leaving towards Colorado. While in Colorado, Herc posted to his deleted channel, Herkster's Hell. On March 18th, he baby rapper stamped the YouTuber, El Presador. Finally, April 1st, 2018, it was reported Herc was in the hospital. Here was his summary of the event. Garbage hospital reports, second fake heart attack on purpose pigs arranged results. The next day, my blood pressure read like 91 over 74, pulse 91. These hospitals try giving fake reports to bill Medicaid. It's a Medicaid shuffle game. I, I never let them get away with it. Plus, they wanted to fly Fed Smoker to Denver. Would have towed my car and crashed it. These filthy pigs. I was on record for the entire deal. I'm turning St. Francis Hospital into the better business, BB. They are fraud. <laughs> Pure lies. I'm fit as I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. The fucking, the lunacy and audacity to turn a hospital into the better business bureau. <laughs> There's a bunch of chomos at St. Jude's. I'm turning you into the better business bureau. <laughs> oh my God. Did you die, sir? No. Then I think they're doing their business just okay. <laughs> but they're chomos. I could be. My readings today were amazing. Never trust these hospitals, kids. They tried this card a year ago in Council's Bluffs, Iowa. The old fake heart attack report. They should all be put in prison for attempted murder. St. Francis, don't worry. A real hospital will debunk your claim, fraud. Watch and see. <laughs> I was laughing inside to tell you the truth. Then I walk out and see the doctor talking to a pig way longer than he talked to me. Doc will be exposed in the end, Lord Fed Smoker. Fed Smoker squared off with the entire filthy city of St. Francis after this. The pig arranged it all. He was mad I didn't take thy bait, huh, pig? Filthy boy. He must have had I didn't take thine bait. <laughs> at that hospital because the same day he announced a new movie called Twits of Kansas. The publication of this movie is unknown after this announcement. After some more random videos, Herc returned June 11th to the channel Ghost Maker Fed Smoker. This marks Herc's return to actually having movies on the YouTubes. On this Ghost Maker channel, he began posting videos of his adventures in the hospital. He was there for his high blood pressure. These videos tell the tale of Herc being basically a schizophrenic Karen during during this June hospital stay. She knows exactly who I am because I am social media mm -hmm. and I put cops in prison and she was asking me stupid questions right off the bat. So social media has entered her life now. She's a social media lady. What do you think of that? Can I say he actually has a pretty good skill for being able to like just twist and point the camera at a relatively good angle to his face and back and like because that's not easy <laughs> because i've seen enough school fights to know that people can't even hold the camera state when they're recording other people like he does a pretty fucking good job with this pan here i'm not gonna lie because i am social media mm -hmm. and i put cops in prison and she was asking me stupid questions right off the bat so social media is and it entered her life like I would almost say that somebody actually was filming that if I didn't know it was him holding the camera. <laughs> no, she's a social media lady. What do you think of that? I don't have to put you on the spot or anything. But social media is very dangerous. It's already in the hospital and it, and it flicks on the way doctors even treat their patients, which they know damn well HIPAA is uh, 
they're not supposed to do that for HIPAA. Yeah, and that's she's good. been sworn in not to do any damage to patients. Uh, After posting these videos to his channel, he posted a video of him going into a district attorney office and scaring the employees. Hi. Hi there. Hey, I'm Connell Peterson. Okay. Uh, do you know who I am? I don't know. No, I okay. Know. Are you an attorney? Yeah, I'm a deputy district attorney. Oh, can I speak with you? Sure. Well, would in, you in private? What, what are you here to talk Well, um, I'm a retired state agent okay. uh, from the Nebraska State Patrol. And the last two days I come through this town, I seen the cops uh, kind of cruising my car. I'm kind of social media and I think... What do you mean cruising your car? Well, like uh, as soon as I come out, as soon as I fired the car, here they come. So He then posted something even stranger, a video ranting about Mexican and black people in prison. So Brax... And Latinos, Americans, I did end up in prison for 10 months. And it was not rape. You hear of these rape stories in prison. They rape themselves, man. They fuck each other. They check into PC cages and fucking suck in, in, in the fuck PC cage, protective custody. They come out drunk and they figure out how to get back in there because they're did you just say come drunk? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> These black dudes and Mexicans, I'm gonna tell you what, them motherfuckers all screw each other. That's a fact. That is <laughs> a fact. I, I tell it like it is, okay? This is all on the 11th of June. On the 14th, Herc elaborates on record in his car on how he's had a lot of sex. Only the best pussy for Herc. <laughs> Give you an idea of my day, Americans. I never show it to you for real. You're gonna get it in full detail. Must be prime of pussy for starters okay just because i flirt with you don't mean i'm gonna fuck you okay try to make you feel good don't mean i'm gonna fuck you okay and while he explains this he plays audio of a woman begging him for sex as evidence of his desirability i am the king of cocks bitches every bitch in this country wants to fuck me i keep telling you that you don't listen do you know what i go through every day Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I am steel in the back. Rack, back, rack your f***ing ass and slam the f*** out of you. Yeah, they all know it. In July of 2018, it seemed Herc was being targeted by state patrol officers in Oklahoma. He posted a video on the 8th of him being followed and pulled over by an officer. He exits his car and talks with the officer in the police car. Basically, the policeman was warned from a neighboring city that Herc was coming and has the one-on-one -on -one with him in his car on how his behavior is concerning. The confrontation ends with Herc walking away muttering profanity. On July 10th, Herc <laughs> went up to a random officer and asked about baby <laughs> stamping. The officer had no idea what he was talking about. So listen here, I have a thing. Um, yeah. A trooper broke the law yesterday in Oklahoma okay. and um, said that stamping a baby <laughs> stamp on someone's face is a <laughs> charge. Do you agree? Did you understand it? Years before, he had some kind of protocol in his videos. Over because I'm looking to press charges and have them arrested for cuffing me up and then they act like they couldn't find the key and they knew there wasn't no warrant for me, okay? July 22nd, it was revealed on Facebook that Herc was in Cortez, Colorado. The citizens there were already upset about his <laughs> arrival, and it was posted that he hung out in a Denny's parking lot. August 10th, 2018, oh Herc's my God. Nemesis, El President. <laughs> Herc, please don't ask a cop what he ordered. <laughs> it's okay none of them knew <laughs> oh my god the door lost he's gonna say they all the the child. Child. <laughs> they're all baby rapers anyway who gives a shit what they ordered <laughs> <laughs> fuck you <Rakeda>. I can't <laughs> you goddamn I can't baby believe <laughs>
<laughs> I can't believe that came up. <laughs> El Presidor and Raging Rob claimed it was due to a Fed Smoker ally. Herc started another new channel on September 12th and lost that one, then made a new new one on September 19th, 2018, titled Pagosa Springs. Pagosa Springs is a town in Colorado. Maybe he was finally making a channel movie on a town investigation again. He immediately started posting himself being bizarre with cops. But on the plus side, he did decide that the cops around this area of Colorado were all gold brother. And on the 19th, he posted a video joking with cops about his delusions. Nice to meet you, brother. How you doing? Good luck on your endeavors. No, no baby red stamps here today, brother. <laughs> okay. You guys did get This you. is Sergeant Steely. Have I been, uh, nice to meet you, Sergeant Steely. Uh, nice to meet you. I like your ink, man. It's, it's good to see you. They're letting, uh, letting uh, everybody wear ink these days. Yeah. And, and, it's, yep. and yeah, they should. They should. It's all freedom of speech, you hey, know. let me ask you, where are you headed to after here? Well, I was going to ask you, since you're the new guy on the block, I was going to actually come stay on your couch for a couple weeks. <laughs> just till I get over the voices, okay? <laughs> yeah. I want to get over the voices, hearing voices, <laughs> seeing things that aren't necessarily over there, right. always there. Right. Just the fact that he has a wherewithal to joke about the mental condition that he very likely has is, is astounding. Like, <laughs> it's weird how yeah, he's not... feeling them out for being baby rapers here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it, like he's like all friendly and cheery, yeah. right? But like, like you can almost tell that he's like prying them softly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just one misstep, and they'd have been baby rapers. <laughs> right. Like it's so like it's almost like you know like talking to like a sociopath that you know is about to just like <laughs> blow up at any moment like you just have to carefully walk through the minefield that is fed smoker <laughs> yes <laughs> he was appearing more lucid again. On September 30th, he posted a video of him sticking his face in holy water and blowing bubbles in it while in a church. On October 3rd, Herc finally <laughs> found a new target to investigate, oh, oh, Officer fuck. Martinez in Cortez, Colorado. Hey, listen, just tell him this is Colonel Peterson. I've been exposing cops all the time since 2001. I think I took a chief down with you guys in 2001 for arson. Three counts, and uh, I've got a Martinez out of Cortez, Colorado. I've been acting <laughs> real cuckoo around my car. Social media cop doing cuckoo stuff. He started this investigation by calling the Nebraska State Patrol to report that Mexicans are taking over Colorado. Nobody knows who <laughs> runs the wires in Colorado. Why does this sound like a South Park episode? <laughs> like he I'm... does seem like a Cartman skit, doesn't he? Like, yeah, he kind of does. Respect my authority, chomos. <laughs> like I was saying to like Pat, or I remember saying to you like when we were talking about it, he reminds me of like a South Park skit, like how they did the dog the bounty hunter thing with the hall monitor. Oh. Like, I yeah. can, I, it feels like something similar to that. Integrity Farms is full of baby rapers. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Mark just gets arrested. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought this is America. And he's like, you baby raper. Rada, they're all goofy out here. They're all dirty as hell, man. You, you wouldn't believe it if I. You'd never believe this state. Filthy. Completely filthy and Mexicans are running it. He then began to post old videos and titling them in ways that seemed like he was taunting one of his targets. Then, on October 10th, he kept calling the Nebraska State Patrol, asking for his old partner, Buck, in a strange voice. Typical Conald. If each channel was its own movie, it felt like this channel was Herc returning to form after all the violent run-ins in the past two years. On October 12th, he posted a video of him investigating a town in Washington State. October 22nd, Herc got a new dog. It was a German Shepherd. Herc loved this dog. This is the essay he wrote on his beloved German Shepherd. He comes from a long line of police dogs. He is a sweet hero already. He barks at anything that looks cuckoo. He is gear up, kind of hyper, but very sweet. I ask that you don't too. try to put your fingers or hands in my car. He is a slight it's so biter. so weird. <laughs> he like, barks at anything cuckoo, including me. Well, it's so weird. Like, like his whole thing, fed smoker, stopping the police, but he's so linked in with the police. Yeah, yeah. 
Like he, it, it, it's so. Yeah, he's like that guy weird. that impersonated a police officer, like a young kid. Yeah. Yeah. He'd rather just you look at you funny. rather than have. What's that? He kind of sounds like the caricature that they tried to make. Uh, what's his name out of? Uh, Jared Jewell or Richard Jewell, the Atlanta. Oh yeah, the, uh... yeah, yeah. The Atlanta, the the Olympic. Shit. Yeah, the yeah. Olympic Park bombing in yeah. Atlanta. Fingers or hands in my car. He is a slight. I get fighter. that strong vibe from him for whatever reason. I totally see that. Holy shit. He'd rather just look at you rather than have you petty. This will be Fed Smoker's last dog in this life. He is a ham. I was just thinking of my past, thinking of getting another animal. You know, he, uh, they really are the uh, best. That was one of the stories um, of Richard Jewell. Basically, he was a, uh, I guess you could say, a truancy officer for a college of some sort. Yep. And he was pulling people over on the highway for speeding. Yep. Where he had no jurisdiction. But yeah, if you listen here, he actually monographs his own fucking death. Then have you really? petty? This will be Fed Smoker's last dog in this life. He is a ham. Isn't that fucking freaky? Oh god. I was just thinking of my past, thinking of getting another animal. They really are the best friends we ever get down here. I had a shepherd named Fang, blonde with a black face, as I reflected on my life. Out of nowhere, God brings me. Fangs look alike. I am floored. Looks just like Fang. Fang lived over 18 years of age. He was the best too. Boogie is the best dog I ever had, but he was so strong he was hurting me. This little guy here, I will walk off with before I get rid of. He will be by my side forever, I hope. He is a biter, so I'm a bit scared of him myself. He only bites because he is a one-man dog, a dog to protect one man. His former owner was a good trainer. Dog was sitting on a snap first day That's out. That's tragic. I hope you Americans. What's that? That's tragic foreshadowing. Right. Where he says, you know, he'll be with me to the end, and uh, there's that picture of his car with the dog laying next to his body that's draped. Yeah. Like it is. Yeah. Eerily, eerily, like. There's there's terrifying. so much foreshadowing here that it's fucking insane. Like yeah. for from a guy that literally has led the most insane life ever to have this much foreshadow into your own death and not it even almost, realize it. It almost feels like he like subtly knows. Yeah. You know, like it it feels that way at least to me. Well, crazy people usually know things. Yeah. But like this, things that they're not supposed to. This is this is beyond like I've never seen somebody predict their own death. Like, I've seen people predict things, and it's like, okay, that's fucking freaky. Like, how do you explain that kind of shit? But, like, to call your own death and call, like, okay, this is the dog I'll die with and everything else. And, like, this is the car. This is it. You're in the death throes. Like, everything you see from here on out doesn't change. It, I mean, he'll still have stories, but nothing else is going to change. And he just lays yeah, it all out here. Like, it's fucking weird. Yeah, it's it's a little well, disturbing. I mean, that's the thing. There were how many stories have we heard like where crazy people have predict have predicted their own death? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple I can think of because there's fuck, there was one I thought I had heard about with uh um art or it was like a columnist for a fucking magazine. And, like, he finished up his story, and the next day he died. Like, he wrote a full autobiography. Huh. And, like, he was, like, at the end, he was, like, so, I think that can end the story here. I don't think we're going to miss anything. And, like, the next <laughs> day he died. Like, it was that, like, fucked up. And, like, there was nothing wrong with the guy. Like, he was, he was a, a scholar, like, had gone to college and everything, like, worked 20 years writing columns and stuff in a newspaper or a magazine. I can't remember which. And like all the way up to like, he predicted his own death and it's just insane. It's lovey. His name is yeah. St. Mav Dudeness. Dude for short. 
Saint Maeve won't be the official name. On December 12th, another Herc channel popped up, Hulk P. He began uploading videos from his previous adventures in Oklahoma. For some reason, Herc began to want to fight with people online more as well. On the 13th of December, he posted a video threatening to drag Raging Rob. Sheriff Joe Pelley is a baby raping coward. Yeah. That's right, he's a baby raping coward. Jesus. <laughs> they can't see what they get to say, Robbie. This is what they're gonna say about you, I predict, soon. Eventually, the videos uploaded ended up being in Quartzsite, Arizona mid-December. In Arizona, he began hanging around the library, where he had a few negative conversations with the front desk ladies. I don't want to be barred from your library. Well, then behave. Well, I think everybody should behave then around me. I agree. Just and that's I, what my job is, to tell people to whisper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think I've always been pretty kind in here, haven't I? I don't, I don't have I ever, a problem. Have I ever been except, rude to you folks? Except that it makes me uncomfortable standing here talking to you thinking you're recording me through your glasses or something, you know? I don't, I don't like that. Because Herc really loved his new dog, a new paranoia began to manifest. He began to suspect people were purposely trying to scare the German Shepherd to get him in trouble. On December 14th, he made a police report that a truck honked at him to purposely scare his dog. He believes this is an orchestrated attack on him. Well, um, what's happening is I was at the library earlier and this black blue truck come in there. This is another sluggism if I've ever seen one. I'm driving very, did I drop something? Anyways, uh, driving very weird with bright lights, black king cab, big truck, blackish blue. Hit the damn horn right as he got by me. Spooked my damn dog. So I was gonna go talk to the police. Are you, who are you guys? Are you the police? I work for the BLM. Oh, you work for the BLM? Okay. So anyways, long story short, um, I was gonna come in and talk to the chief, but I'm kind of nervous about coming in there, being on record in my country of America. So how, is that illegal? We get to officially meet the new dog December 18th. Meet goodness, the German Shepherd. He comes from a high line of, um, Hybrid, I, uh, high line of police dogs, is all I'll say. This dog is Herc's most iconic dog. We had Smoke, Bud, Boogie, and now Goodness. Throughout the last month of 2018, Herc posted videos tweaking in random bathrooms, <laughs> ranting about Mormons and politics. I'm afraid that, well, you've all gotten a little too big for your britches. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you something, folks. It's all starts. Speaking in a bathroom, ranting about like Mormons. <laughs> he labeled Pelosi a baby raper. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up. Backstabbing our dear president. On Christmas, he fondly reminisces over his year. He spoke fondly of his internet rivals, Raging Rob, Electric Messiah, and El Presidor. But I do love you. It's Christmas, I want you to know that. Even poor Raging Rob and El Presidors and the Electric Messiah. And I've, I've learned to accept you kind of as a family. Um, poor Raging Rob, I don't know how he does it. He apologizes for his racist ways. And on this night, I really have to always put myself in check. I've been talking a lot of crap. The sp word, and I use that n word all the time, and white piece of shit and all kinds of shit. I really, I really do gotta put myself in check on nights like this. But literally one day later, he baby rubber stamps El Presidor again. The El Presidor YouTube channel <laughs> is back. <laughs> I told you it was just about time. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I called you a baby raper. Next day, you're a baby raper. <laughs> Have I told you you're a baby raper yet? Time. <laughs> you were so close. Just a matter of so time close, before sir. the feds catch. <laughs> we had that that glimmer of a redemption arc, a glimmer of humanity, and all this madness. <laughs> Oh, with the Americans. He also still goes on rants about Mexicans after this. He's a 
sucker in my book, okay? He's a dirty b I'll leave it at that, okay? 2019, the purple. <laughs> Things were silent for a while. He apparently stopped posting to the previous Hulk channel beaner. and began to post to a new channel called Herc Hulks. This channel was eventually deleted, so all the videos are gone. He apparently started oh. out 2019 by baby rapper stamping everyone. Also, every video uploaded during February had a hurts. title involving Trump, Mafia, or Steve Justice workout plan. On February 7th, Herc found himself in or around Tulia, Texas. We know of this because of an article entitled No Imminent Threat, posed by man posting videos about no Tulia. No imminent threat. <laughs> like, this guy is, as like... <laughs> you people true. stop being such pussies. No imminent like, threat. Like, I see no threat one day period. be this irritating. <laughs> <laughs> that like I have warnings posted against me, but I'm not doing anything legally <laughs> wrong. So you can't do shit. I like just... this guy. Go ahead. Almost inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> I just I want to know if Slug is ever going to be able to obtain this many articles ever written about him. Uh, he'll probably write them himself. After all, he's a journalist. <laughs> the article reads, A man who has been posting videos to YouTube calling out the Tulia Police Department has caused concern for many local citizens. But Steve Brush, chief of police for Tulia, said there doesn't appear to be an imminent threat. The man has been identified and is not believed to be in the community, according to a post on the city of Tulia's Facebook page on Wednesday. The Tulia Police Department Swisher County Sheriff's Department, Texas Department of Public Safety, Texas Rangers, and the Tulia Independent School District. This man had the goddamn Texas Rangers look into him. <laughs> like fucking Walker is working on it. <laughs> goddamn Chuck <laughs> Norris looked into his ass and said, nah. <laughs> uh, Chuck Norris is a chomo. <laughs> are all aware of the videos and the man's disturbing verbal messages. The name of the individual was not released, and Brush said he's not sure where exactly the man is from. He understands the individual travels the country. Brush said the videos referencing Tulia stem from a January 26th encounter between the police department and the individual, who refers to himself as Lord Fedsmoker, and posts videos under the username Herc Hulks. The article writes on how he's concerning, but not a threat at this moment. They do not describe his activities in town, though they write, the man can be heard making derogatory remarks toward law enforcement and minorities throughout several of the videos that <laughs> reference Tulia. A man's face, the same one each time, also pops up speaking or making noises in a few. Many of his comments on those videos seems to be focused on his desire for the department to fire Kelvin. He also repeatedly mentions putting stamps on individuals or places. The chief of police ultimately concludes to not be overly concerned, describing what Herc does to police around the nation as his thing. February 20th arrives, <laughs> and the viewers are returned to the Hulk that's, P channel. That's Herc amazing. Is back <laughs> like, can you imagine the fact that, like, Dave's like, we don't know where he's, where he comes from. Like, he, this man at this point has become, like, this urban legend. <laughs> like, like, he's like some, like, EAS creepypasta <laughs> creature that just shows up from like Midwest town to Midwest town. <laughs> he's like fucking tumbleweed to these people. We have no idea where this shit started. <laughs> right? Like, like nobody knows the actual origin story and where he was born. And what's hilarious is at the same time you have like Kiwi Farms like a logging the living fuck out of this guy because they can't get enough of him. And like they're like, yeah, we don't know. We can't be bothered. <laughs> we keep looking this up but google keeps keeping kiwi farms away from us thanks Kaffles. <laughs> my Kaffles, look what you did look what you did this is all your fault imagine all Back. the babies that could have been saved yeah you baby <laughs> <raper. laughs> <laughs> oh fuck colorado and is talking to the chief of the town of Cortez about his latest investigation, and Officer Martinez. This guy said that I have delusions of, of people I, I know. Now I know everybody. Is he delusional <laughs> to think I don't know everybody? I don't know. I think he's going <laughs> record. <laughs> <It's not good. laughs>
<laughs> they suck fucking uh, Andy Griffith fucking version of a cop in this fucking waiting area. With, and he's like, I don't think it's great. I don't think it's weird that I know everybody. Do you? No, no. <laughs> he, he needs Don Knotts instead. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he needs... Uh... <laughs> what was Don Knotts' character in that? Oh, uh, the ghost of Mr. Chicken, I think, might be the one you're talking about. No, right. I'm talking about the Andy Griffith show, oh, because he oh, was, like, the oh, deputy. Kind of, oh, yeah. Um, fuck, I'd have to look it up. <laughs> he needs the Don Knotts, like, deputy there. He's like, oh, no, I'm a child raper? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to think. Barney Fife. Yeah, Barney Fife. He needs yeah. a Barney Fife. <laughs> it's like Barney Fife's a child raper. Oh God! And there's a look you get when you call him one. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! For real, with professionals, uh, Martinez. Mm -hmm and sit his little mind down and have a chat. The cop he had announced he was investigating the previous year. The next day, Herc ran into trouble at a gas station. His paranoia seemed high as he walks around this gas station. This is probably the most perceivable point of like, schizophrenia in all of his videos is right here. Yeah. I you guys, quick, you guys are spooking my dog on purpose. Why are you doing that? Is that a game you play? You do it on purpose. What the fuck? LDs. Yeah, as soon as I turn my back, they're right on this dog, man. Ranting about how everyone is trying to scare his dog. The new paranoia that developed with Herc attaining his dream dog was causing more and more chaos amongst the public. What are you doing, dude? Knock it off. Losers, man, making my dog bark. Herc had developed a fear that if his dog were to bark or cause a disruption in public, this would cause the feds that were after him to take away his dog. This constant fear was causing issues. This was the dog Herc had always dreamed of having. Losing our social media scumbags that need baby for stamps. Come on, quick. The plot continues. Hey, uh, is this supposed to be nice tomorrow? The plot continues. Yes. <laughs> so what's the word? I guess I'm the boogeyman of the neighborhood. <laughs> Do they all hate me? Do they all hate me? I'm the guy who usually just puts cops in prison, but um, the trickle-down effect goes once in a while and goes down to the tweakers. Does that make sense to you? The social media tweaker game gets starts going and... <laughs> he does eventually like it's almost creepy like how like detached he actually is here get himself kicked out of the location he's completely paranoid that everything is a conspiracy to upset his dog but i used to work in the state this is going to have a butterfly effect where chipping 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 everybody here will try to figure out Way to throw me out now for every, whatever reason, probably no reason at all. I'm, I'm asking for, did you write discrimination on here for me? After the gas station debacle, <laughs> he continued his investigation on the Hulk P channel. In March, the Oklahoma videos were back. Connell was posting of a new investigation of the casinos in Oklahoma. In the casinos, Herc was lashing out at employees and attendants for various actions he perceived as animal abuse to goodness. He was very protective of his dog. You understand me? This is a service dog. I'm not gonna play this game with you guys. No, no, I don't want you playing with my dog tonight, okay? Not none of you, okay? You understand me? I'm gonna call security. You understand this is a service dog. So you step away from my animal. You hear me? You need to calm down or I'm gonna call security. Yeah, then stay away from my dog. All of you. All right, you just stay away from my dog. A few days later, Herc seemed to be mostly back to normal. He snapped out of the psychotic fear. He was back in Colorado. He had a nice time with a female police officer and baby raper stamped a guy for driving too close to his car. Baby rapers, <laughs> look at this, folks. You got us a baby raper here, fuckers. 
you want to die a little bit? You want to die a little bit, niggies? You should have fucking pulled in. <laughs> March 13th, Herc was back in the hospital. He was in Springfield, Colorado, and it was revealed he uses an inhaler. And what is um, your I use, complaint? Um, I can't breathe. I usually have an inhaler. Okay, sure. And, uh, oh. good. They cut my inhaler off and stuff. Good. I'm gonna stop. It must not be a fun day for any medical worker dealing with Herc. Well, Donald, Donald, what? Sorry, Peterson. You're having a rough time with that. I think these are eyeglass cameras right here. I just, it's the way it looks, I think these, this is either like a button cam or an eyeglass cam. Big time. When's your birthday, Donald? Nine. Donald. Is this a joke? You call me Ronald and Donald. It's no. Donald. Audiences got a heartwarming moment on the 19th of March with a video of Herc with goodness in the Fed Smoker Mobile. He truly loved that dog. Now, Dad, it's important for me to let you know who Jesus is, George. <laughs> so you keep that thought on your mind, okay? What? Okay, dear <laughs> boy. Okay, I went to the video. to his dog about God. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> it's heartwarming, damn it. <laughs> have him with me, okay? Herc made his way to uh, another hospital later stopping. on in the month. <laughs> yeah. He got an update from a doctor that he is mostly healthy. It's just to see because my initial thought is it's a false alarm. You know, if, if there was ever, ever, ever a plot for malpractice, this would be it right here. All the times that he was actually told he had heart problems were legit and he thought that was fake. But when he's told he has a good bell of health here, he's going to be dead soon. Oh, boy. <laughs> you haven't had a heart attack. Yeah, let's get that straight. Smoking and everything else. Probably leading that way. Now, here's the, here's the important point. This is the absolute critical issue. I'll make recommendations. The other people make recommendations. Everything's up to you. You may say, listen, I don't need it. Don't no. like docs, don't like hospitals. Yes. Don't want to do this. You're probably okay. Yeah. But I'm happy to check you out. Fucking heart murmurs. Heart murmurs, fake hospital shit. Just like I told you, Americans. I am a fucking machine. Kirk eventually made his way to get blood work done to test for STDs. It's ridiculous to beg for a venereal disease. <laughs> yes. He just does that now? <laughs> are you kidding me? No wonder people are dying of the crap. Yeah. Well, do I got everything I need? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. They're a little strange. God almighty. Jesus, beg for a fucking test and they sit there and look stupid? He's extremely difficult with the nurses and doctors, and this results in him being banned from the hospital. Is it okay for me to be here and get my results? No? Am I trespassed? Well, I asked the cops in town. They didn't tell me that. How am I going to get my results? Honestly, I don't know. Well, I'll be leaving then. Nobody, why didn't they tell the cops that I'm trespassed? March 28th, he started the channel, Retcom State. He got trespassed from an STD center. That's a, I didn't even know things possible. Like. Well, I mean, <laughs> he has gone viral. <laughs> <Patrick>. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, true. True. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they have to do, you know, I mean, containment people do protocols. clap when he leaves the room. <laughs> <laughs> like, this man has, like, done re the impossible repeatedly. <laughs> Just not in the way that, like, people actually like the impossible being done. Yeah. <laughs> He's achieved more things than people knew was possible. <laughs> I, got, I got not one, but two schools on a on a lockout status like people had to be sent home <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Deaf bed smoker. Rumor had it that after these hospital visits, Herc was dead. But no motherfucker, he was still going strong. <laughs> and he posted to his new channel some more of his adventures. I love how Cecil's like slowly getting more and more into the fed smoker mentality as this whole fucking thing goes along too. All it right. just makes it so much fucking greater. <laughs> it reminds yeah. me of like the Joker, like fed, fed smoker is like not not a person, but a like a spirit. Yeah, a it's sense just of an being. idea. <laughs> the state of being, we are all fed smoker. <laughs> to end the month of March. After getting kicked out of the hospital, Herc got kicked out of a church. While he was being told to leave, <laughs> or he'd be arrested for trespassing, he was warned he had a warrant for his arrest. I don't know, what what, what does it mean? Is, uh, I don't know if I did anything wrong there, brother. I have no idea. You can call and ask them. No, I didn't get a ticket. Um. Or they wrote a warrant for you. For I think I trashed their hospital out. One of the cops tells Herc he makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> trash yeah, their hospital you out. You're welcome to call You know why? You know why? Because people don't like camera shades. You know? Well, I think it's probably a little bit more than that. You make people uncomfortable. Well, right. how would I make people uncomfortable? Because of the way you treat them. Herc finds himself in Black Hawk, Colorado at the beginning of April 2019. His mission there? Black He's investigating Herc down. Again. <laughs> hey, I'm a traveler, Connell Peterson, and uh, I was in Black Hawk, and they were kind of rude to my service dog. Yeah. So when people do that, I sometimes put them on the net as baby papers, just stamp it like a, like a comedy thing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's I like, sometimes put them on the internet as baby rapers. <laughs> this guy's like, I had to fucking get gas right now, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I got to put it on their face. Mm -hmm. Is that against the law to uh, walk into casinos and film and put them all on the net as baby rapers? Well, um, if you have to ask, it probably is. <laughs> I like how he's unironically explaining his own lore. <laughs> yeah. like... Like, this is just a little thing I do. I've got this little side project. So I just happen to go around and I investigate people. And most of them come up to be baby rapers. And, right. you know, they, they don't take kindly when I sit there and I, I label them as this. Like, is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know oh, why they're baby rapers. They're so baby rapers. What do you want me to tell you, <laughs> sir? Did you actually see them rape babies? No, not exactly. But most of the people that I label baby rapers are baby rapers. <laughs> like I didn't see it, but I also wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I am, a baby raper? I don't stay around for that kind of shit. <laughs> Playing the games, I'm okay, right? Well, and then the, the thing is, you kind of come into the whole definition of character. I don't thing. care about that. It's very much the same as before. Oh, He's what testing what? how casinos treat each other. It's like, I'm going to say a soft of no. I'm going to say a soft no on that I, I've seen them rape babies. I just, I got to get... Well... And then the, the thing is, you kind of come into the whole definition of character. I don't thing. care about that. It's He's like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Very much the same as before. He's testing how casinos treat service animals. <laughs> Around this time, Herc had been taking credit for a lot of things that happened to any cop that he's ever mentioned. On April 15th, 2019, <laughs> he made a phone call to the sheriff's office, most likely in Nebraska, to the Rec Gum Steff Fed Smoker channel, where he spoke to a woman who he's familiar with. She was playing along with him and agrees he's. <laughs> this... <laughs> this Nebraska State Police fucking dispatch person has become friends with Fed Smoker over the years just from having to answer his constant calls. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Martinez gets divorced like 12 years later and Fed Smoker's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. <laughs> they say it was natural clauses, but it was me. <laughs> a goddamn baby raper. <laughs> oh, that stage four <laughs> cancer was planted by me. <laughs> 
busted a lot of cops. I'm on the day shift. Are you I bucking? Are you busy. bucking? How many, how many cops have you seen me ruin? I tell you I'm going to ruin them, girl, and I ruined. How many times that happened? Too many. Yeah, well, you should be on my side. Wouldn't you like to see me put Trump in prison and all that shit? <laughs> you think you were going to put Trump in prison? Why not? I'll put them all in prison. The same day as this, Herc revisits his rape accusations against Justin. <laughs> you were Steve supporting Justin. Trump. <laughs> what, did he turn into a baby raper? <laughs> you wanted to build the wall. I heard about this thing called Pizzagate, and it came from Trump. <laughs> it's like, who do you think I am, you stupid hole? I'm fed. Oh my Stone god, Day. I can't believe he never showed up for that. <laughs> like, of all the fucking people. Right? <laughs> that would have been one of the times that he could have thrown out an accusation of baby rape. And people would have been right for him. Yeah, he would have been, like, the supreme QAnon person of all time. Like, could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> he would walk in there and scream and how they're all baby rapers and he would be right more times than not. Yeah. <laughs> he would have found his people. He had apologized to uh, Steven man. a while back. You know what? I, wish, a... I wonder if Dr. Disrespect knew a fed smoker. <laughs> Video titled Harvard, Nebraska, Public Schools, Hastings, Nebraska, Tigers, Play Center, Nebraska, Steve Justa, Milo Magazine. He watches a video with Steve. What's really funny here is I think he's learning or trying to figure out how tags work. I think that's what this whole video title is, is that he doesn't totally understand how tagging works. <laughs> so he just put him in the title. <laughs> the tag is Steve DeLeave. <laughs> Justa and calls him a racist again. At the end of April, Herc decides he needs to start another new investigation. He posts a video on the 26th of him speaking to a sheriff about officers. I'm dying. I'm dying for Gigi to see the dental school arc. Mistreating him a year ago. He wants to arrest the cops for kidnapping him a guess. year ago by putting him in a car for 30 minutes. How about it? Um, involves like a, a Phillips screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Very close. Very <laughs> close. <laughs> oh, God. He's trying to remove a cavity. He takes the Phillips screwdriver and a hammer and just sticks it on his tooth and goes, wow. They like takes the pliers to pull out the rest of the tooth. You're very, very, very close. Scarily close. Um, oh my god! <laughs> Except it involves the uh, the pocket knife that you've already seen. Oh god! And a pair my of pliers favorite. and an abscess. My favorite part. I'll have to point it out with that. But it's like when he's like, "Yeah, I gotta stop bleeding now." <laughs> <laughs> he just puts super glue over the hole where the tooth used to be. It really, are inhaling the fumes going to do any damage at this point? <laughs> he's been smoking. That's okay can you look into this and see who these two were i'll look into it because i'm going for kidnap and i'm done playing games they kids they Would kept you please me. just fill out the statement we'll yeah. check it out the cop taking a story was not happy all right i'll just say one more thing sure. before we're done no i wonder why he's not happy he looks like he's off duty <laughs> a lot of times cops start playing games with butties of their buddies okay okay we're done talking about you know you accusing you just accuse law enforcement of playing butt tees right your complaint buddies i said you said butt tees. yeah well listen listen it's the truth complaint okay? fill it okay? out <laughs> <laughs> Look here, if you're gonna come in my building and, and you know accuse my fellow officers of doing butt stuff, you better have some goddamn evidence. Well, I've been accusing them of being baby rapers, and you never asked for proof then. Oh man, this guy just wanted to go the fuck home. <laughs> you can you, you almost can guarantee that a secretary, a dispatch, whatever. Got shoot out because don't you ever, 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 ever fucking call me out here to help take a goddamn statement when it's the end of the fucking day again, especially when there's some dude out here yelling baby raper. <laughs> I just want to go to fuck home, okay, Sharon? <laughs> So, um, can right. I get a second one of these? Nope. This cop <laughs> is Sheriff Combs, and Herc will spend the rest of the month baby we're stamping him for not caring <laughs> that cops literally kidnapped him. Herc then traveled around Colorado, 
generally wreaking havoc. Wow. Did you see them skanks? Mexicans spying on the Americans? Sand, <laughs> sand folks? Quick, why are you pulling on me so hard for, dude? Why would you do that? Come on. God. Like, people were legit not happy with Herc's presence in Colorado. Everyone he ran into had heard of him. He kept getting into fights outside his car. The Facebook moms were celebrating when he left town. For example, Sedgwick County celebrated on Facebook when he left on May 2nd. Herc continued to post much of the same till the end of April. I but love one of that. Herc's big bad. <laughs> Look at these cute cockatiels. By the way, the menace is gone. <laughs> What's really funny is my wife lived in Cedric for a bit. So this is like Wichita area. Battles starts mid-April. Herc is in Pagosa Springs at this time. And he began to believe the library of Pagosa Springs was now working with the police to not allow him to use Wi-Fi. I was wanting to see if it could be looked into to see if it was being shut off oh. for a discrimination case. Okay. I plan on filing if it was. Oh. So can you guys look into that? Okay. Who would you ask? Or, um, I, I mean, just would who, talk to the people. The what room. I'm asking is who's in charge of this office that is in charge of the Wi-Fi? Are you guys even in charge of the Wi-Fi? Uh, who is the head librarian, damn it? <laughs> well, I'm the manager here at the visitor center. Okay. So I'm constantly working on it. You are? Did, <laughs> so two days ago it was off for two days? Um, I'm not aware of that, I guess. This precedes multiple videos of Herc arguing with cops. Pagosa Springs was being fully investigated now, again, as he calls Nebraska in a video posted May 17th, where he briefs the Nebraska State Patrol. What do you got to say? You think they're gonna be their asses exposed off, brother? Well, I'd hope so. <laughs> I love how the Nebraska State Police now like just goes along with it and eggs him along. <laughs> like if you listen in the background, you hear the guy go, yeah, well, I hope so. <laughs> like he's he's their problem now <laughs> i wonder if he's they like, like have like pins in a map and they track where he's coming so they know when he's getting closer again <laughs> he's probably like sasquatch where they have like <laughs> like an evidence board where they have sightings yeah <laughs> Like, oh shit, he's tracking closer to us. <laughs> like he's like a he's like the a cryptid of the Midwest. <laughs> like when he's three hours out, the fucking tornado sirens go off. <laughs> <laughs> He was back on obsessing about Officer Martinez again. This thing has got to lose his badge there, Sheriff. He's got to lose it. What's he done to you? Well, he seems to want to hang out. He wants to go on record. What are you talking about? He was hanging out by my car. looking at your car? How I think many he has fantasies. Take a look at your car. I think he's one of them fantasy birds. I really do. I I, I don't break the law, brother. He's fantasizing. He watches yeah. all my YouTube stuff. Huh. And he's putting... YouTube business with his badge. That thing has to go to another job. I'm sorry. Can you help me fire him? Uh, no, Could you help me? I don't have anything to do with that. Okay, okay. On May 25th, Herc posted a video involving kids Look, calling Raging... Look, I just raging... called him a baby raper online. <laughs> it's totally YouTube drama. He should no longer be a cop. I said allegedly. Please, please fire him, please. <laughs> like, Look, you're the oldest man here. You can't fire him. <laughs> right. Rob, a file. Raging Rob's a baby. He's over there in those semis. Hey, those? Like, yeah. The what? kids that ride by in like mountain bikes and stuff, and he trips them on their mountain bikes and like puts them in the bed. These all may be uploaded out of order, as Raging Rob and the rest were more active the previous year. Herc was spending a lot of time in Colorado now. It was much of the same. His current obsession was people looking or being near his dog in a way he deemed not to be right. But on June 28th, a very iconic Fed Smoker video was posted to a new channel called Wit Boy. Here we go. We have arrived at dentistry. Napa. Be prepared for this. Wit Boys Napa is a business in Colorado Herc had some kind of problem with. Well, on June 28th, Herc posted a video that got 
65,000 views, which is a lot for him. What was in the video? Well, Herc took on the role of a dentist, as Herc is a man of 100 professions. In the video, he sat in his car, illegally parked in the middle of the road, and extracted his own tooth with a knife. Shit was metal. I'm going to play a large portion of this video. And warning, if you are squicked out by dental gore, you might want to skip to this timestamp on the screen. This is the... fucking harsh, but I love you know it. The... You know what the best part too is? <laughs> like yeah. Cecil mentions it that he stops in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, he just doesn't... Like parking. <laughs> He doesn't just do it <laughs> like a parking he lot, it, like a gas station. He does it in or the something. most obnoxious way possible, <laughs> where he can bother the most people. By the way, chat, if you're bugged out, stay away from the channel for approximately five minutes and then come back. Like, it, I would have strongly recommend it. <laughs> if you're, if you get bothered by a sight of like blood or any of that stuff, stay away. <laughs> I'll give you fair warning in about. Five seconds here. Or just don't be a baby raper and watch. Yeah. Well, I mean, I already guess like 99% of what's going to happen. So. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a harsh watch, let me tell you. There we First, go. First, you want to take yourself a hook knife. What the fuck? Like Hold this up. <laughs> a hook knife. I thought you said it was a pocket knife. I thought it was. I thought it was a pocket knife. <laughs> okay. Second, the fuck is with that wiring? Yeah. You wouldn't want to work on this car, let me tell you. The fucking spaghetti mess that you see at points is god awful. Yes. Jesus. Like he's got half the trainees to get the dog food off pulled it. out. And, um, pushed in some Pepsi, maybe. <laughs> He's sanitizing the night with Pepsi. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, yeah, you see those things where Coke dissolves rust. <laughs> you didn't even get the right cola. <laughs> and, um,. Pushed in some Pepsi, maybe. Are you digging out? The poor dog's gonna sit there. Now, uh, somewhere on a white lighty, folks. This is probably going to hurt just a little bit. A little bit? It's gonna hurt just a little bit, so bear with me. Oh, so good. You can hear it from there. <laughs> you can hear it cracking. Oh, so up. Ah. Uh, Great, great. I cut my lip. Okay, wait up. Good. We're parked illegally. Quit. Quit, quit, quit. <laughs> parked quit. illegally. Quit. <laughs> quit. Uh, the taste of blood to take it down. Uh, <laughs> what does he do? Cut his tongue? <laughs> No. And he's doing this in the middle of the road. <laughs> the, Dude, the amount of fu <laughs> He's just snorting. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, dude, you can hear that crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a snort through the pain. <laughs> yeah, snort through the pain. Jesus. I mean, that's not a lot of blood. Well, now there's the blood. Fuck. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, I'm sure you enjoyed it, buddy. <laughs> that Pepsi really knocked you. It really numbed the pain. <laughs> I think that tooth is ready to go. I think we did it. All these dentist problems on a white lighty. All these troubles when you have a tooth bothering you. 
just pull over and take care of it. Thank you. Now I have to get something to stop this bleeding because I'm drinking blood right now. <laughs> that was I the copper taste. He looks so <laughs> angry, but he did it himself. Yeah, I, I, I thought there was pliers involved when I recalled this because I didn't watch the last part again. I watched the first three parts. I've watched four times. I've watched this whole thing three times, but it's been a while since I watched this last portion. I mentioned the war with the library Wi-Fi. Well, that got <laughs> real important at the end of July. Herc began to post a lot of videos sitting in the library area inside and out of it. <laughs> I gotta go get something to stop this bleeding. I'm drinking a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Shit tastes like Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Pretty much going to war with said library. He began to believe the Mexicans were orchestrating this against him. It looks like right now you're working them. Um, so if you go back down, just let us know. No, it's going to go back down. It's a day in. It's a day in. Do you have cops in the... You, the Mexicans the are orchestrating the no Wi-Fi rule? <laughs> yes, at the library. <laughs> Billy doing this? Not at the moment. No, I don't. I have. Oh, I mean, members. at least make the Jews this time. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anybody in here right now, so no, I I can assure you, we're we're not doing anything. Well, I'm just a normal human sure. being Absolutely. of America trying Absolutely. to use your Wi-Fi, Miss Flannel. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I thought this was America. <laughs> okay. The library shenanigans were soon disrupted for a new battle. Herc versus. Officer Bryn of Bayfield, apparently a woman named Officer Bryn, a probation officer, reported Herc for letting his dog go onto her property. Um, that's what she came to talk to me about, was that she's concerned that you and your dog were going to She's a baby raper. <laughs> you know what, brother? I have no business going anywhere. I go in there and, and let him out the door sometimes and take him a little walk around the corner there. Herc then began to go to the police station to find out information on said Officer Bryn. This turned into Bryn <laughs> overstepping her jurisdiction, according to Herc. So what do you get out of that there, guys? Can I can a probation officer take your powers to other towns? Don't, that's over my I think head. that's way over her little ass. Okay, you guys, I got this pop and two, two hot dogs, miss. Which turned into Officer Bryn getting her Mexican friends to go after Herc. All right. Yeah, that's what they want to do. They Mexican want me to some garbage about her on the net and then get every Spanish guy that Even wants the dog's to like, come on, let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> just kidding. Probably, I wouldn't doubt nothing. August ends with Herc officially denouncing Donald Trump. Each Trump car now there, Joe. Yeah, Marshall Joe. And he spent the beginning of September oh, with more God. Yeah. <laughs> annoy about people in public around his dog and just other typical Fed smoker things. I'm kind of a real bad shape. I'm not going to come in because I, I actually smell like dog crap. But uh, <laughs> He's at <laughs> church. I'm not going to come in. I smell like dog shit. <laughs> I mean, at least he's polite. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it. I, I, yeah, I'm going to step back a little bit. I kind of smell like dogs. So. Thank you. Oh, God bless you. Thank you very much. He's been doing this for 12 years now, and it just escalates to new paranoias. But something really significant happens. September 21st, Herc got discovered by the famous podcast, Your Mom's House, starring comedian couple Tom Segura and Christina Pazinski. Pazin I forgot this whole arc. Oh my God. So this is kind of interesting. We're at the tail end of the story, obviously. But he starts to actually get picked up by, like, pretty popular YouTube channels. And, like, they are actually start following his story and looking into him. And they're just as into it as we are. Like, they cannot believe this fucking guy. Zitsky and Christina Pazitsky. The pair oh, had got stumbled across the Tata their retard clip right. and reacted to it on screen. He would have been perfect for it. <laughs> yeah. He didn't follow Proto, buddy. You're done. Tata their retard. Please tell me that's a drop. That's... Please tell me we have that ice. Okay. Uh... Tata their retard. <laughs> <laughs> I want that sound right. <laughs> right? <laughs> 
<laughs> the best. That's my favorite drop right now. Yeah. Ta ta there, Richard. One more time. Ta ta there, Richard. This will lead to Herc becoming a staple in the Your Mom's House podcast. The podcast would make Herc a meme to the general public. Every time a guest would come on the show, the host of the show would introduce this new person to the world of Herc. This is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Are you familiar, by the way, with a man named Fed Smoker? No. You don't know Fed Smoker? No. So you're educating me. Oh yeah, yeah. No yeah. Fed Smoker. He's like, yeah, I've got all this, this catalog. I mean, he over. could know him. He could know him. Yeah. So Fed Smoker is a guy who <laughs> he he was a bit of a tweaker. Uh -huh. um, he he smoked meth, but he he considered himself somebody who would smoke out bad cops, federal agents, oh, and, shit. and like put bad cops away. Hence and he was the on name. a he was on a mission. I love this. Guy. He's uh, insane. He man. would oh also, you know, give himself haircuts. Because the little ladies put a little pink on me. Um, we got something <laughs> amazing. Though. I didn't know if we would. I always wondered if this existed or not. Hmm. Um, it's Fed Smoker meeting a fan, somebody that actually recognizes Shut him. Shut the front door. It's fucking so cool because I was like, somebody had to be like, because I always go. People be like, what would you have been like? I would have been like, you're the greatest, you know? Like, yeah. Cause, especially because I'm kind of afraid of him. So I would yeah. have definitely been like, <laughs> yeah. no, dude, you're the man. Like, I know how confrontational he can be. <laughs> be like, I love the videos, dude. Keep them coming, you know? And legally, I, would, I wouldn't mind getting the cops down here and having a talk with him. These guys are trying to pick a fight. And so he, <laughs> they put those people in prison now. I would be such a shit starter if I ever met this guy. I'd be like, let me tell you a little story about, oh God, insert YouTuber, uh, fucking, uh, Steve Believe, Steve Believe, <laughs> fucking, <Yes. laughs> <laughs> Steve. I mean, we haven't had many like slugisms as of late. <laughs> <laughs> I just would be like, you've got to check this guy out. I think he's a baby raper. I do. I think you need to investigate the shit out of Barry, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck i just would feed into it non-stop and that's just who i am like i would just go like no you gotta do this like sell them on it <laughs> like it's the most important thing in the world <laughs> okay especially around me so i'm sorry yeah i'm illegal i have no paper yeah okay. i have illegal i have no paper good good I'm illegal. I'm i don't want to talk to you okay do you understand that you're on record there do you understand that Huh? Beat it. You're not gonna have any problems. No, we're not. Oh, this is the last revision of McDonald's before we went on grayscale. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you very much. I have to say, I'm really impressed with how long he got away with doing this, doing this horse yeah. shit. Oh, it's a long time. I mean, how the f is he not in jail or in a mental hospital? Don't know. You just ruined your life. I don't know. Dude, I mean, he just ran the streets like a maniac for a fucking what a decade a doing this horse shit. Time. Take it easy, kid. This exposure. Well, he wasn't violent. Was no, he wasn't. No, like he, that's the I mean, thing. He said a lot of shit, but it fell under freedom of speech. Like, so that's where like nobody could do shit. <laughs> he was just the most irritating person. He was like the Diogenes <laughs> of the modern world. Like, <laughs> he wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just. A prick. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh man. Cause many memes of Herc to become popular among their millions of fans. One of the memes that I forgot to mention previous from the security guard video I went through in the last part was touch my camera through the fence. Roll the clip. You're talking to me. I'm a fucking American, you fucking. You're the one touching my camera through the fence, you fat. I'm gonna talk to the sheriff's department about you, buddy, okay? Go get him. McDonald's uses human meat. Mm. Touch the camera through the fence. What does that even mean? Popular <laughs> internet head scientist, Dr. Drew, also eventually joined in to enjoy St. Herc. The best part, in my opinion, was the addition of Herc to the Your Mom's House soundboard. I don't think he was up walking the dog or getting his exercise in. You 
fucking piece of shit. I think he was called the sheriff's department. <laughs> yeah, I think he was up tweaking hard all night. He got all fired up and he made a theory in his head that this guy is the target and he needs to go straighten this guy out. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. You yeah. fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> It was her mania season. The Your Mom House Show fans will become some of the most dedicated Herc fans. His popularity will increase thanks to this podcast as time goes on. They continued to react to Herc's iconic moments. Meanwhile, Herc was posting a storm in the October of 2019. You know, it's actually kind of honorable, like, at the end of this. They actually do honor him. And, like, actually do a show on him saying, hey, he passed, like, here's the deal. And, like, they truly, as much as they me they memed on him, like, they actually, like, felt bad when he passed. They actually had a really touching memoriam. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like it... For the I mean, guy have... who was, like, just clinically insane, like, to have, like, such a touching moment at the end, it just really punctuated it. <laughs> It's funny. So many people are probably relieved that that you know they were they could walk outside without being accused of raping babies, and oh, this man. one podcast hold him up in this like insane <laughs> regard. Well, you know that's the thing. It's like the most insane of all cows, the ones that like end up like Fed Smoker or yeah. the guy who created Temple OS. Yep, they always get the best send offs. Oh yeah. Yeah, like people like fucking Coach Red Pill, Chris Chan, like <laughs> they, they, they they barely got you mean Chef, like a know. fucking send off. Yeah, I don't know of a coach that was Red Pill. I know Chef and Red Pill. <laughs> <laughs> well, every chef has a coach, so yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, man. like those guys, they never get like the good send off. No, right. no. Well, fuck, look at the Ricardo because. <laughs> yeah, because they're fucking competent to some degree, and yeah. they just fuck themselves. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like funny, though. these guys yeah. can't help but like fuck themselves, but just like in like you know minuscule ways. Yeah, right. I I, I remember, like when, um. I can't wait till Coach I go died. over uh the guy that fucking Jim sent me at one point that actually fucking Mister Medicker even featured on one of his streams. Like uh, we, we uh, have to go over him, the the lawyer. Oh yeah, what was his name? Oh, or the Francis E. Tech. Templo... Yeah, not Francis that, not e. that. The Temple yeah. OS guy. Oh, Terry was Davis. Terry Davis. Yeah, yeah Terry, Terry Davis. Davis. It's like, <laughs> regardless of what you think at the end, where like the fucking bullshit he preloads that phrase with. That's like... the thing. He was brilliant as a programmer. He made his. Yeah. He, he was a brilliant programmer. Yeah, like, he made a flight simulator for birds. Like, he programmed that shit. In the name of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, man. But, like, the, all the stupid shit, like, the meme that came out of it, the glow-in-the-darks and everything, yeah. it's... Like, you could forgive that because of how fucking schizophrenic he was. Yeah. He, even if he said it to, like, a black guy's face. <laughs> Yeah, because he wasn't like malicious either. Like he was, he was just mentally ill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is crazy. But yeah, like Nick Ricada is probably gonna get lambasted. Like the 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 worst ones, like the ones who are competent but fucking stupid, get roasted for all eternity. <laughs> and the ones that are just like fucking crazy, they get like the most honorable send offs. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's because like you know like terry a. davis or like this guy there was something wrong that they were was beyond his control yeah it's an uncontrollable thing like yeah it's okay to be it's okay to laugh at it like it's a sad in a way but like yeah we are going to laugh at this but yeah it's beyond yeah. their control like they they cannot change their circumstances i think to some extent you will see a similar send-off whenever something happens to chris chan yeah, mm, I doubt it. Yeah, there is such a fan base. Look no further than Dojangles. Yeah, to to indicate the fan base and the following of people for fucking Christian, fuck Gino. Yeah, like, mm, not nah, like especially after the whole motherfucking thing. I think that really tanked the Christian stock. I I see what you mean. Like Christian's 
out of all of them, probably the most polarizing because of his history of violence. Yep. Yeah, like he's like he's actually physically assaulted. Like Terry yeah. Davis, I don't think ever did. No. Uh, from what we're seeing, a Fed smoker it doesn't look like he has. No, no he's been a, assaulted. No, but there's a whole generation that have centered themselves around Chris Chan. Like that's yeah. the little cow they know. And oh yeah, did you see a what nostalgia thing that you're gonna see it? Well, nostalgia, yes, but like I don't know, reverence, but. <laughs> fucking did you see what mudahar posted recently no he actually put on the sonichu medallion oh wow. man he took a picture wow. of it and posted it <laughs> yeah because doe has an actual like legit one that yeah. like she sought out so oh god i hope it doesn't end badly for him <laughs> well, we know if well, he has it, drama and gets one of two in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> it's one of two things. Either Doe actually turns into a Nazi like all the fucking leftists were bitching about. I was literally thinking that. <laughs> or it ends in a divorce. <laughs> I'm waiting for something darker to come out about Mudahar. <laughs> a freak hurricane hits Canada. <laughs> oh, man. It just makes like, a beeline from Africa straight to that point in Canada. We're done. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's already tempting fate. Like, he already put a, out a video where he was talking about the MIG switch and how it's illegal to even own one of those. So, all, yeah. all it would take is for Nintendo to make that come full circle. Oh, man. <laughs> it just oh, sue him no. into oblivion for even owning that. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, Muda, no. I'm just saying, like, that's the most, like, fucking optimal route. <laughs> this makes me think of Teddy with the Wolfie, no! With the coat hanger. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, fuck. Most of the videos made little sense, with Herc going on rants about Mexicans, Trump, Obama, and more. It seemed <laughs> like with Herc's sanity everybody. declining, so did the quality of his videos, as he sat in his car and ranted about baby rippers over distorted footage. At my dear car, they're starting to look stupid, and then there's kind of people looking at baby rippers. He's recording all this with Google Glass, correct? <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know. I'm wondering if it's something like that. Because I, I, I remember like around this those, time, like... that was the tech that came out. Like, it was the eyeglasses that record everything. I think this is one of those, like, really low-tech spy cameras. And, like, just with his aggressiveness, he's probably abused it. Or this is his phone. I, yeah. It could be his phone at this point on these ones. And then he just abuses the shit out of all technology that is just literally dying. Like, it has yeah, no I, choice. Well, I mean, I look at the date on that. Can, no, look. Look at the date there. Well, the date's wrong. Is, the date's wrong. Yeah, two, uh, 2001-01-03, so it's January 3rd well, or March 1st, I think 2001. I think it's actually closer to, like, fucking August or some shit. Well, yeah, but, like, we were talking about the old tech. Like, Yeah, I guess I get what you mean. I was okay, theorizing. I the, the pre-programmed dating. And all that, okay. Yeah, like, when it resets, like, it'll yep. go to, like, when it was factory made. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so it is old tech. It ain't Google Glass. <laughs> it's just dying technology. Just like him. <laughs> how starstruck they look. They start to be starstruck at my vehicle. And then... <laughs> they get a baby ripper stamp on their face. Herc's videos were becoming more. More words, more accusations, more caps lock, more slurs. During this time, he was also heavy. But see, okay, like right here, he's he's flexing. He's not using his hands, but he's recording. More accusations, more caps so lock. it's gotta be those. I'm thinking maybe yeah. he got one like, of those Spy it's... Kids playsets. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of almost like that. I just like, think it's the older school version of like where they recorded in like 480p, like Spyglass. Yeah. Like when the well, this is 144. <laughs> this is just 44 at this point. <laughs> well, it, it started out as 
uh, 280p, but then, you know, those <laughs> damn discriminatory cops lowered the, the quality even further. 240p. Those dirty, 240p. <laughs> those dirty beaners, they took the other 200. <laughs> yeah. They just left him with 40p. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the baby rapers. More slurs. During this time, he was also heavily dependent on the help of churches. Churches helped him pay for food and gas on occasion. God had always been a major aspect in Herc's motivation. Herc's literally on a mission from God. He also oh, yeah, attempted to make his own holy vehicle. Water. <laughs> <laughs> I would have shit myself if I was in a church and this fucking guy comes in and just starts washing his ass and balls. <laughs> fucking holy it, it, water. It's like, who is this? Who is this fucking reject Hulk Hogan wannabe fucking Jesus doing Christ. dipping his nuts back in our okay. holy water? I was joking about the whole fucking Blues Brothers thing, but when you mention a mission from God, <laughs> like a line from the movie, <laughs> attribute it to this We're dude. On a, We're on a mission. A mission from God. <laughs> it's like, we're on a mission. A mission from God. <laughs> oh, fuck. He definitely has uh... some of that Belushi attitude to him. Motivation. <laughs> Herc's literally on a mission from God. And he also attempted to make his own vehicle a church. <laughs> well, he was posting a lot to his previously made you wanna, filthy You want to know a funny story about John Belushi that I heard? What's that? Um... This is, like, from my days, like, doing, like, the whole Blues Brother impersonation thing out of high school. Okay. I met up, I met up with some other impersonators that do the same thing. Okay. And they were filling me in on, like, John Belushi lore. <laughs> and during the filming of the Blues Brothers, he was getting, like, so, like, impatient with the director and everything that during, like, a three-hour, like, shooting scene at night, um, when they're having technical issues, he goes to like one of the houses in the neighborhood, knocks on the door, and just like <laughs> basically hangs out in the dude's house, like raids his fridge, and then falls asleep <laughs> on his couch. <laughs> like he has a sandwich and a couple oh of beers. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Dan Aykroyd finds him later because <laughs> they finally get the technical issue resolved. So he really is one and the same with Fed Smoker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's that like fate. Fucking, that's fucking if nuts. only if only he was still here, we he could be the the lead in the, the Fed Smoker documentary on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> he could call it smoked oh. the <laughs> just call it smoked. <laughs> I just, I think he's crashed probably about as many YouTube channels as they did in that fucking movie. Jesus Christ. Uh, what is it? They crashed 174 cars, I believe, in that movie. It's like the record for the most cars in a movie. That's yeah, they the shut thing. down like, like they shut down like almost all of Chicago for that scene. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was like fucking insane, dude. <laughs> Talk about shit you'll never get away with today. Like cinematography like that is just it it's funny to me, but interesting at the same time. It's like completely dead because <laughs> of modern economics. Yep. I mean, unless if you're a fed smoker and you just pull over to like extract the tooth. Well, here's the one. Here's the one that always got me. Okay, like talking car movies, because car movies is one of the big niches for me, right? All right, mm -hmm. the original Gone in sixty seconds. They had absolutely no filming permits for. Yeah, everything was done ad lib, actually in the city. So, like when people crash in that thing, it was real. Like it wasn't planned. <laughs> So there's a scene yeah. where somebody gets T-boned like a motherfucker in the background. They actually got <laughs> fucking T-boned. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> because all the shit that they were doing in that, which is absurd. Like, okay, again, you know, here's a director that does all this stuff, didn't get any permits, filmed all this shit, like ad lib, ad hoc, whatever you want to call it, like out of fucking thin air, like gorilla style. And now the heiress to that if you even call a car Eleanor, we'll take the fucking car. 
Like, how insane? Well, you know what? Here's the thing. She owns the copyright to a bunch of insurance claims. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so fuck her. <laughs> but yeah, it's... If it's... she wants money, she can, she can t- take it up with the people who got T-boned. Yeah. Uh, it's just one of those things that yeah it's just it was some guerrilla style filming and everything that went into that and like so there is actually a scene where a car gets totaled in the background it wasn't part of the scene but it's caused by the actor or the stunt driver in that scene they run through an intersection and it actually causes a fucking t-bone Church's channel during this time, accusing various churches of harboring baby rapers and not following Proto. October 26th, oh my Christina. God. Are you fucking kidding me? He finally he finally turns it on the church. <laughs> it was a church after all. P from your mom's house showed Dr. Drew a clip of Connell Peterson. So Dr. Drew knows about Fed Smoker. In a highlight posted to the Your Mom House Clips channel, Dr. Drew predicts Connell may not be schizophrenic, but may be bipolar. Like, it's delusional. Like, you didn't follow pro. There's no, you know, he just walks up to this guy and he's like, I'm a former blah, blah, blah. You didn't follow protocol. You're fired. You're done. There's delusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there more about him? How do you get a job here? This is all just bipolar. It's all bipolar. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Any drugs too? Or well, I want I want more. I want I want to oh. see if this. His background knowledge of Herc was minimal, though, and he was only judging by one clip. The next day, Herc started yeah, a Connell Peterson. I don't know if Peter- you can make a full diagnosis from a clip like that. Yeah, yeah, especially like, like well, he's going in there with a a in an intent and a bias already. Like <laughs> the guy's a cop, <laughs> given the history of the channel and the name. He don't like right. cops. <laughs> right? Well, not just that, but like, if you're gonna like seriously diagnose him, you have to actually talk with the patient. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, like you, over you a period of time. Through, yeah. You know, because it, it's a pain in the ass to get a diagnosis. <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of see what he, uh, I kind of see what he means, because I mean, think about it. The whole paranoia, how people were approaching his dog, only for it to go away the next day. Yeah. That kind of that kind of screams bipolar. Yeah, like a manic yeah, but, episode almost. Well, well bipolar yeah, is more but, mood swings. That would be more like uh, rapid cycling schizophrenia. Well, yeah. it could be. Well, actually, with the drug use, it could prolong the manic episode. Yeah, very true. I just I don't know enough about this shit to even like begin to say, but like, yeah, I I know with the with bipolar you get the, like the manic episodes and shit like that, so like it, it kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, but usually like like a lot of bi- manic episodes too, though are more euphoria. Okay. So I would say like him talking about God to the dog would be more of a a manic episode. Okay. What about prying your tooth out with a jackknife? <laughs> Fucking sure insanity. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's just I mean... that's, that's just him. That's just him. <laughs> There's no mental illness there. That's just bad smoker as as a person. <laughs> I mean, don't you think it's a bit bipolar? He just dips the blade in Pepsi. The sterilization process there is so on point. <laughs> <laughs> and it's for me it's the little swirl of the cup that you can hear the little <laughs> <of the> fucking <laughs> liquid <laughs> i don't know it, it would depend like if he would have bipolar he would have something like uh with psychotic features like during mania having hallucinations yeah that's possible but like i i wouldn't say like you know just him uh doing that well, that's not really ind- indicative of of a well i mean he's he's loose enough to play jokes like with the cops you know, in that one clip you know where he's like i'm just feeling you out to which couch i'm gonna crash on tonight or whatever yeah, yeah. you know well, that yeah, that kind of i mean I, I hardly see like cases where schizophrenics have that kind of moment well, I've, I I have a friend that that has schizophrenia, and it comes in like waves. Like he has episodes of hallucinations. I've heard that not... because of somebody I, I was a coworker. 
So I, I can concur with that one. You know, hmm. like I he could have just schizophrenia just because that comes in waves. Like especially during like stress. Like if he has a lot of stressors, that yeah. could trigger Yeah, that. and he's and clearly then, putting himself through the stress. Well yeah, and if you're if you're paranoid, you think that cops are out to get you and you're yeah. doing drugs, that would be enough to trigger multiple potential schizophrenic breaks. Yep. So we're in twenty. We're in October of twenty nineteen. So when are we going to get to the part where he calls all of China baby rapers <laughs> for COVID? Oh, COVID <laughs> is coming up. <laughs> Remember, he he lived through COVID. <laughs> <laughs> There wasn't much of a narrative to follow Herc in the last months of 2019. He traveled around the country and made videos in his car, speaking to people. The videos were nonsensical and full of him making accusations of great conspiracies against him, per usual. It all began to run together. His videos seemed to go between Oklahoma, Arizona, and Colorado. He was back in another hospital. He got into a lot of drama over Wi-Fi in public places. Oh, and he touched some lady's butt. December 20th, Dr. Drew what did a podcast fuck? episode on Herc. Excuse he and his co host tried to harass you for a second. <laughs> Thank I you. decipher the Herc lore. <laughs> and the year ends with Herc uploading a bunch of videos that are part of a Christmas movie. That's right. Herc made a Fed Smoker Christmas movie. It's interesting. Oh, just, 2020. Just in time for the holidays, ends, folks. And Herc starts 2020. <laughs> a baby believe... raper's Christmas, Carol. <laughs> Santa Claus is a baby raper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at, look at that. He sticks his pussy. <laughs> he comes down those kids' chimneys, and he's... Bottling their gifts under the tree. He's a goddamn baby. Uh, I was, I was kind of going with like the fucking Scrooge one, where it's like oh. the ghost of, of child rape past or child molestation. <laughs> oh man. Leave Florida. He posted a large amount of videos of him getting nonstop pulled over by cops. After being stopped by police several times, Herc made his way to Texas. Sometimes towards the end. He made his way back to Arizona, where he was trying to investigate a hospital he stayed at for treating a woman poorly. Apparently, when Herc went to the emergency room for asthma, he saw a woman get stripped in front of him. He believes this is not only against morals for a hospital, but he also believed that this was part of some kind of conspiracy against him. They allowed to rip the clothes off of a woman and uh, allow other patients to observe her breast hanging out at least and grossing the hell out of me. Not much is solved in this department. <laughs> February brings a more peaceful her. He posted several Hall. videos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Pez? Glad to have you back. Videos on February 3rd of him discussing God, religion, his work, etc. He talks of how he had died before and was told by God to return, and that he believes we all go to heaven. To tell you what, when people die, you've never died before. I have died before, and something told me to get up. Who do you think told me to get up? Do you think it was my something dad? Get up. get up when I was dead. Something said, get up, and I was on my feet stumbling out the door. No, it was not me. I was dead. He uploaded some more videos. Side note, I died at one point, and I saw some fucking freaky shit. Like, really? I don't know if it was some, like, you know, the, the DMT in the mind and all that stuff. So I was getting surgery, right? And uh, it was abdominal surgery. They are doing a hernia repair. Well, something happened, and I didn't find this out until, like, well after, okay? I Something happened with the anesthesia, and they brought me out too quickly. And I started, like, fighting everything because I saw the tubes down my throat and everything else. So then they tried to put me back under really quick. And it caused issues. Well, I started seeing shit. Mind you, they, like, either A, tape, or B, glue your eyes shut. So there's no way I can see things. And if you know anything about anesthesia, you don't dream on anesthesia. So I cannot explain the shit that I saw, which was a petite... Asian or Mexican woman mopping up my blood in the operating room and like having a conversation with her asking her what the hell is going on 
Sounds like you met her Grim Reaper. Yeah. And like <laughs> Making like the very supernatural esque like You met Consuela, Patrick. <laughs> yes, I met Consuela of the Netherworld. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine all Grim Reapers are just Mexican maids? Like, okay, time for you to go now. We can clean no. up now, yeah? No, time no. for you to go now. I, 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 want, I want to live. I have so much to live for. No. no you go. You go. No. No. <laughs> no. What about all my loved ones? No. No. But, like, it's the weirdest shit. I ended up in the ICU because of this. I actually had a pulmonary embolism, which will kill you. But yeah, just because of the the rapid stuff with the fucking anesthesia, it caused me to have a pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in your lungs. Which is How why long my ago was this? um probably about seven years ago. Okay, I was trying to wonder. I was like, maybe <laughs> she was a CIA <laughs> agent coming after you because of the Timothy McVeigh shit. <laughs> They're like, we need to take him out before he gets too close. Well, needless to say, that's why I'm not really keen, but know I need to go and probably have surgery for this gallbladder issue shit. But I don't want to meet Consuela again. <laughs> This time, like, requesting an Asian. It's like, if I'm going to die, give me, like, you know. Can I have a translator in the room just in case of my death? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Interacting with people, but then suddenly he posted the very last video he'd ever upload. His last video was uploaded February 3rd, 2020, to the Filthy Church's channel, titled... Jules is in jail here like fed prison folks. Jules thought I said we're done with you, beggar. And his very last YouTube video description read. This is the native here that desires fed prison. Her punk mouth folks. Tweaker chicks all need to be hung in my spec. As for these native tweakers, well, every law dog in Arizona is now coming for our dear Jules. J as in jail. These native punk women, they are like a bottle of puke. Minds and souls are shot out. Jules, huh? Miss Punk Gangsta Twit, huh? Born in a prison, now headed to die in a prison. Jules, Arizona has never put you in prison the way I already should have, Jules, huh? You still ripping off tickets in the casino like a dear little mouse, huh? Lord Fed Smoker. Pay attention, Jules. Every law dog in town will know you now. You will never deal dope in that casino again. Nor beg, nor thieve, Lord Fed Smoker. The contents of the video were highly distorted. The point of it looking like a college student's experimental film. It's Mama Is that Max. Your tweaker. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call a fucking fed smoker Mama Max? Yes. yes. He, he watched the Mama Max video. I was like, I need to do that for these damn pedophiles. <laughs> to touch base on my comment in chat. Okay, yes, I assaulted a nurse when I was coming out of the whole anesthesia arc. But because it was a, a fight for my life, there was kind of a mutual understanding, given I went to the ICU. <laughs> like, look, I don't normally beat women. When I do it, it's only when I have anesthesia and I'm going through surgery. <laughs> Other than that, I don't hit women. <laughs> like... Well, she was trying to put the breathing tube down my throat, and at that point, the breathing tube was not breathing enough for me, and I'm trying to pull it out. But yeah, I like cut up the whole inside of my mouth and everything because those are barbs on them. Yeah, it was it was bad. <laughs> Damn. This is her mouth. Hey, it's skank. Begging for cigarettes and pop at the Walmart. She's got herself a mouth. She's with dope dealer Jules, huh? On February 11th, there began to be whispers of Herc being dead on the Your Mom's House subreddit. In a Reddit post, there was a link to a forum called River Dave's Place. Upon further research, the location of River Dave's is centered around Arizona. The post on the website forum read, Title, 
crime scene on 95 cattail turnoff. Crazy deal on the 95 today around 2.30 near the cattail turnoff. Looked like a dead body covered on the ground on the shoulder and two cars pulled over. Trooper was stringing crime tape around it all. One car kind of this is the shit that starts to get sad. And of a junker with yeah. spray painted writing or art all over it. On the ground next to the driver's door was a yellow tarp covering what may have been a person. The other vehicle involved, an older minivan. Anyone know what was up? There was a picture posted below. In the photo was a black car that was vaguely familiar with a yellow tarp covering a body out front on the side of a desert highway. People in the thread started to speculate this was Connold. The news went to Facebook. A page that kept notes on Herc announced that they have news that Connold may have died in Lake Havasu, Arizona on February 11th. It was confirmed two days later that it was Herc found on the side of the road by Havasunews.com. The car I thought it was 2021 that he passed, not 2020. Oh, I got my really yeah okay I, so so I, we didn't get to the china being child rapers arc <laughs> cause of death atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease the kiwi yeah, farmers mourned. Correct. not only that a few online fans left comments on the news article one person writes this article mentions him as a youtube personality while also mentioning possible drug use but it forgets to mention the fact that this man was the owner of multiple small businesses, a woman's rights activist, a dog lover, and most importantly, an American hero. He spent his life being a double agent before he retired to focus on more <laughs> local issues. Rest in peace, Fed you Smoker. Know, like, it, part of me hopes that Fed Smoker is just out there, like he pulled a revolver ocelot and faked his death. And then he's gonna come, he's gonna come back as like, Liquid fed smoker. <laughs> Liquid fed smoker. Oh fuck! Like he has the arm, like or like the heart of like one of his like targets, like of Officer Martinez. <laughs> like... Another writes: One less member of the cool guy club. Heaven has a new protector. Feather it forever, brother. Another person writes, This is the most unwelcome news, low and loose as can possibly be. Everybody keep your jeans high and tight as you can get them all week long in honor of Fed Smoker. And when you're feathering it, brother, keep Judge the Dog in your thoughts because I'm sure those cops cremated him ASAP. And some people rejoiced at his passing. Also, on February 12th, an email detailing the finding of Herc was released. This email read, On Sunday, February 9th, 2020, a DPS trooper responded to a call from a motorist, discovered a black vehicle parked off-right with an adult male lying next to the vehicle. The vehicle was discovered off-right of the northbound lanes of State Route 95 near Lake Havasu City. Motorists had observed the body slumped over the wheel and were attempting to render assistance when our trooper arrived. Medical personnel arrived on scene and pronounced the subject deceased. The Mohave County Medical Examiner took possession of the remains. It will be up to the ME to determine cause of death and identify the victim. I don't believe a dog was found on scene, but I will check. Then came an update. The dog was turned over to Mohave County Animal Control. A Reddit post also gave more details. Herc was seen vomiting on the side of the road. The poster writes, Police were called because people drove past and saw him vomiting outside his car. He never let his dog out of the car without his leash tied up. So the fact that his dog got away tells me that he wasn't doing well when it happened. Shaking my damn head, poor guy. Meanwhile, his fans from Kiwi Farms and your mom's house began posting tributes to him. There were songs celebrating his catchphrases like Feathering It and Proto. It was interesting how he only started to really collect any notoriety in his last months of life thanks to the Your Mom's House podcast. November 3rd, 2021, a Fed Smoker movie was announced for 2022. The trailer was posted by Bones McKenzie. It was a humorous trailer depicting Connold as a retired CIA double agent <laughs> I love how it's put on by Chomo Studios on an adventure uh, I did watch this it's pretty hi good. there hey how's it going hi uh can you tell me the speed limit out here my dear brother uh the trailer was a joke and most likely <laughs> not going to be a real movie. But I do hope a movie is made. A Facebook page for Fed Smoker was created in December of 2021. The Facebook
And to to touch on something because it doesn't get touched on here, and I I know you would probably appreciate this. There's actually like a group of people who are actively trying to recreate Fed Smoker cars, like actively. Really? Yes. Like spray tag and all. Yes. <laughs> I want one page that says Officer still... Martinez, that fucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> actively celebrating Fed the life smoker. of Fed Smoker to this day. After Herc's death, Joshua Connor Moon, the owner of Kiwi Farms, did a dedicated stream to his life. He shared his favorite Fed Smoker moments. All right, one more of my baby baby Raper collection. This is my favorite baby Raper video. Baby Raper um, collection. <laughs> this, I Imagine this saying that unironically. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Announced his death. It's, it's the video. It's the video I remember him the most by because it's very funny. Oh, oh, wait a minute, I remember this stream. I've been shopping here for about- You remember this stream, you said? Yes, I remember when this stream happened. <laughs> about three months, they haven't been being very kind to me here in Council Bluffs. Do me like that cold inbred f***ing feeling my shopping now. I'll be putting everybody you know on the net funny? baby rapers. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the Mad Max version of Randy Quaid. <laughs> Baby Raper Road. Come soon. The he's, 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 like reminds... cousin, he's like Cousin Eddie and the guy from Independence Day. <laughs> to me, it reminds me that if Macho Man Randy Savage would have lived longer and would have went with like a Mad Max gimmick, <laughs> like if he would have like lived longer and not oh, have died from the heart and shit, yeah, <laughs> like oh shit. Just from now on, if I can see a flinch around me in this town, yeah, just that, just that look of him right there, yeah, it reminds me of fucking Randy Quaid for some reason. <laughs> Come here, they feel. Like they can get away with that with me. I put your fucking cheese on the nails, baby. Gap, no way. <laughs> the the gap between his top time teeth. Out of the store. Yep. You watch and see, bitches. I'm gonna put this dog this on the nails, the baby best. for two. <laughs> you fucking baby raper. <laughs> you fucking baby raper. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, you would think it's, like, scripted. I'm just standing there yelling at a dog, but no. Plenty of moments not mentioned in this video. <laughs> this stream's still up. You can get it. Still. Worthy. I was gonna go over it for the end, but uh, I figured four, five hours, four and a half hours of content is enough. These wires, I'm not for hire. I just smoke dirty pigs all alone. I'm not for hire. They call me a gigolo. <laughs> I love that. And generally celebrated what made him so interesting to onlookers. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the crowd. He's just playing the well, I'm glad the I saw that one. It's like, a, it's like a moment of zen. You got the other side. When he's not in the police's face, labeling the baby rapers, stamping the whole town with baby raper stamps. He's with his dog, playing the piano. What, what, what more is there to life? What more could you possibly want? February 14th, 2020, the Your Mom's House podcast paid their this final good. goodbyes to Fed Smoker. The video only had Tom Seguro in it, and he seems upset as he says this is an emergency announcement. Oh man, this is uh, an emergency um, session that we called. Uh, we try to want to do this the right way. There's an empty chair next to me for a reason. It's a symbolic gesture. Uh, if you have not... <laughs> If you have not yet heard, um, it appears that one Conald Eugene Peterson, a.k.a. Lord Fedsmoker, has passed away. That is what people are saying. That's, um, that's the rumor, if you will. They really celebrated his life in this. I don't know, man. This looks like foul play. I think he's trying to fuck with us. 
<laughs> well, let's let's for those of you. This that, is that, even him. If for those of you that don't know, we're talking about. Uh, you, you you know him as Fessmoker, a retired double agent. Um, okay, what car innovator. is that again? The Crown Vic. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a it's a police Crown Vic, I believe. I don't know from the side profile. I mean, I don't know why I've been getting like Dodge Charger vibes, like yeah. the early versions. It's it's a it's like an '09 Crown Vic, and it's had a side molding ripped off of it. Still has the bars in the back window. Added this bullshit on top. But then he's got this fucking big ass fucking. He's got like the teardrop style, like uh, hood th- scoop. like Ford Thunderbolt, like hood scoop to it. And I don't know. It looks like the fucking rumbling six pack from like the old Hemi's. Kind of. Yeah, you know, that would that would protrude through the hood and shake. Kind of. Yeah. This one's more. It's kind of like a cowl hood, but reverse, but not even that. Like it's. I I don't know. Like. I'm trying to try and find a. It's like the last Fed smoker reveal. Just to see, you'll see how many people are like trying to recreate this car. They've That's actually really built bad. scale models of it. Wait, they've got die cast models of this shit. <laughs> Somebody yeah. built one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels comes out with the Fed smoker cover. <laughs> There's stickers and everything. <laughs> now that one kind of looks like a fucking skyline. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ford, I mean, there are four-door models of them, but... <laughs> oh, man. But uh, there's... If you go into, like, here and then here, I think is what I had to do. But there's, like, people, like, actively trying to recreate the Fed smoker car look. But you can tell it's kind of different. But like, yeah. there's the OG one from the from the car lot. And wow. then there's yeah, there's all sorts of people like. That Damn! Been... <laughs> Wait, go back to that one with the shark mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look like it's a World War II fighter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, here's a good picture of. Fed Smoker's car. You can kind of see the hood scoop. Yeah. Damn, that is a really ugly hood scoop. Right? Come on. I thought it would go. Because there's... There he is. But yeah, like, it's weird. Jesus. Where did he get that from anyway? (laughs) I have no idea. I mean, it looks like it's made for the Crown Vic, but... Yeah. I just... I, I don't know if it's for, like, a supercharged, like, the uh, fucking Marauder, or what. Maybe. I mean, that would have a Whipple charge. Yeah. So, so... I don't know if it's meant for being, like, a power bump for a larger supercharger, or what. Probably. I mean, <laughs> if anything, it's... I don't know. It looks like it should be like one of those forced uh, air intakes rather than like yeah. a cooling vent. Yeah. You know, where air just goes over the motor to cool it. Yep. Yeah. I, and I think that might be why he used it. It's because so many of these things probably overheated on him because he's running through the fucking desert. And you see all you've seen how he treated it at one point. But yeah, there's a lot of people trying to recreate versions of the Fed Smoker car because there was like three iterations of it at least. And, like, a lot Jeez. of people really love the... They're really faithful. I saw a whole fucking group to it. To where, like, they were really trying to recreate the this last to final version. With, like, the metal roof rack and everything. Like, it's, it's fucking funny. Jeez, I, I don't know. <laughs> as far as, like, making model cars, I don't think I could deal with, like, the spaghetti wires in the console. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh that, that's, like... That's just asking to get electrocuted. <laughs> or have a short that you'll never be able to fucking find. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. An entrepreneur. This guy owned Falcon Car Wash. He uh, he started a, a, a dentistry practice. Barber. <laughs> massage therapist. I wish we had had a video of that. I want to see him giving a massage. Um... <laughs> 
just you know he is a renaissance man well look <laughs> i think i think he has he's gone and i just wanted to say that you know that's yeah, a real guy you know it's connell eugene peterson I, he's fed smoker to to us but to he is he led a wild life by all accounts and he was documenting it 20 seconds at a time for us uh, in most of these videos. And uh, look, he he brought a lot of entertainment, a lot of joy, a lot of laugh, a lot of laughter. Um, you know, uh, I don't know what the real story was, but a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, rest in proto and uh, feather in peace, FIP. <laughs> Um, keep feathering in heaven. And the hosts were making up conspiracies in hopes the news was not true. They had spent a decent amount of time in the past few months watching Herc's best moments for their podcast and getting to know this quirky man. Sadly, the news was true. Fed Smoker died on the side of the road in Arizona with a piss jug clutched in his hand. He went down too soon. He lived a life too hard as a CIA double agent. And that's the fucking end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a shame that he passed before he could have gotten on that podcast for an episode. Oh God, that'd have been fucking great. There's a good that picture of the glasses. That's what I'm talking about. It's like old time. Yeah, the cameras. Glass. Yeah, the cameras. You can, you like can see the lens up there, actually. What was that? I yeah, think. some of it. If you look up at the top, right above like his nose, you can see the curve of where like it looks like the lenses. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. 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 I've watched five hours of fucking Cecil yet again. I feel like I owe Cecil a All right, sorry for the outburst. I originally recorded everything in like three sittings that each were like three hours long, like a couple months ago. Anyways, but that's the end. What did we learn from this journey? Well, not much. It was just a story of how one guy filmed his schizophrenic travels across America, how the internet found him and made memes about him and how he left us too soon before we could really watch him fulfill his meme status. Feather in peace, Conald. Rest in proto. You are probably one of my top five favorite internet weirdos. Roll the credits and cue the outro song. But yeah, so that's really about it. That's honestly all I had with Fed Smoker. I mean, there's, again, the Nick Nobody thing, but that's it's never going to touch everything you guys get to see and experience with this. It just there's she too still much. Does a great this guy. Job. Yeah, yeah, she did. I mean, like fucking fantastic. It, I'm not kidding when I said I watched this three or four times on my own in private before I ever thought of bringing this on stream. It's just such. It's I've never seen somebody succinctly because you can say, look, Gino, Gino's documented the shit out of Chris Chan, but it's like over a hundred fucking parts at this point. Like, yeah, because I, well, I mean, the way how Gino does it, it's digestible, but at the same time, it's like it seems like he's reading off of a spreadsheet to a yeah, certain extent. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of the shit wasn't documented just by him; it was all coalesced for years and just kept adding more chapters to it. Yeah. So it's like there's there's almost like a clinical coldness to Gino's method. Where with yeah, Cecil, Cecil well, I mean, covered a decade of this guy's life. Well, and... I mean, for Fed Smoker, it's not so much as clinical because it's like very sparse and given like the nature of how he was posting. Well, I, would say, I would say the Gino stuff is more clinical than what Cecil did. Cecil, I think, well, did yeah. a fantastic job given the material. The material is yeah. sporadic in this case. Yeah, she did a good job. Uh, the one with Gino, it's like it's not so much just clinical on his end, but just like how fucking distilled Christian is as a fucking lol cow on the internet. Yeah, true. Like how down to a fucking T everyone knows like his mannerisms. Yep. So to wrap up the Fed Smoker stuff, yeah, there is a smaller documentary out there on uh from nick nobody that's only like a couple weeks old that's a way more condensed version of everything we just watched but yeah i i had to share that fucking guy because i just genuinely fucking enjoy him um but yeah other than that that's honestly about it 